everyone, and welcome to DC Adventures. I am your GM, Tiffany, and today I'm going to be taking these three gentlemen on an adventure through the DC universe. How will it go? I don't know. <laughs> on my left, we have Sal. Hey. Next to him is Ben. And today is our guest player to my right, Peter. Uh, Peter's a longtime friend of ours and also creator of uh, several online comics. I'm gonna let you take away that sure. info. Well, it all started. <laughs> you can see some of my work online at zuzzleandthefox.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at pdons. You might have seen me in some, some Christmas special <laughs> videos yeah, from a while ago. Exactly. So old, I have hair in them. <laughs> Sal, why don't you take over? Who are you? Sure. What do you do? Uh, my alter ego and identity is Tom Billingsgate. Uh, I am... Uh, I look like I'm 30, but I'm far older than that. Uh, I actually grew up uh, during the time of King Arthur. Uh, I was a protege of Merlin the Wizard, uh, and I was very bad at protégéing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he cursed me with long life and uh, eternal youth until I could get it right. And after the first <laughs> hundred or so years, I just decided not to bother anymore, and so I've just been kind of hanging out for the last several long, long, many years. <laughs> so uh, I kept the name and just kind of like been moving around. I've learned a few languages as a result, but you know, I'm not very good at any of them. I just kind of moved to the one colony that had the same language I spoke when I was back then. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and oh, and I know a little magic. How about that? So, but not, not too much. <laughs> I'm, again, not a great student. So my character is uh, Aurora Cole. Uh, he is an alien, uh, goes by Rory for short. Uh, he's a Sartorian from the planet Sarta. Uh, looks very much like a normal human. He is very good at languages, uh, understanding them, speaking them, reading them. Came here because <laughs> it's one planet and uh, pretty much the same species, and yet you guys have all of these different languages flying around. <laughs> I am Batu Tokhtov, and I'm also from another planet. I'm not quite sure how I got here. Uh, I've been here for about four years. I woke up in the basement of the Saul Erdell Museum. And uh, I've been trying to integrate into human society ever since. It's a little difficult. I'm 400 pounds, six foot six. Um, I'm made of something that looks like dirt to humans. At least that's what they tell me. Um, I'm very strong, but um, I just want to make friends and kind of do a good job. So, you know, if I need to punch things to help out, I will. Um, but otherwise I just try to, you know, you know, uh, trying to fit in, fit in and, and get along <laughs> as best as I can. And aren't we all? <laughs> do you have a uh, alter ego? I do. I do. I'm, I'm known as the Clod. Um, that's <laughs> what they call me in news media on the Internet. Um, but, uh, you know, among friends, I am Batu. OK. All right. Same. Uh, well, not, not known as Claude. I, I am also known by an alter ego called Satellite. Mm. And uh, Tom? Nope. Nobody knows right. me. If they do, it's Tom, or Billingsgate, or Tom Billingsgate, or Thomas, if you prefer. Or, or some combination thereof. Yeah, you'd think or you'd Tom, have to. Or Tom, or Tom Marino, yeah. the Tomster. <laughs> yeah, a movie about those guys who can't die unless you cut their heads off. Like, apparently, it's not nearly as hard to integrate into society. You just use the same name, just move to a different place. They don't care. Yeah, most people don't notice. Yeah, mm. it, it's way less work than you think, <laughs> which is what I'm all about. So. All right. All right. Now, um, Batu also has the ability to morph as, as to some degree, right? To some degree, I can change into other 400 pounds, six foot six male humanoids. Um, it's, it's handy for trying to fit in, but also it it's allows me to deceive people on our adventures if necessary. All um, right. I can also use that as an attack and change the appearance of other objects. Oh, cool. Excellent, mm -hmm. oh, all right, very nice. So you guys live in Stone Crab Harbor. Um, which is in New Jersey. Um, fishing does help out, not quite as much as it used to, but now they do get a lot of tourism, obviously. Mm. They're, they've got small town charm. And you guys live in an apartment there. You live um, an apartment above a local business. It's the morning, whatever that is to you guys. Uh, like 11.30. <laughs> Your local newsman is on. Oh. Nice. Good morning, Stone Crab Harbor. This is Chipper Dale with your local news and weather. It's going to be another beautiful day with a high of 81 and a low of 65. Mm. Stay tuned for your high tide times. 
Don't forget, Recycling Pickup has moved to Thursday, so get those bottles and cans ready. If you're in the downtown area later this week, be sure to stop by D'Amico's for a free slice day. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of downtown businesses, today's Spyglass on Stone Crab spotlights Coffin Fish Coffee, our local roaster, who didn't actually want to participate in an interview with yours truly. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a good cup of coffee and a surly barista, head on down to Coffin Fish Coffee. <laughs> this is Chipper Dale, and I'll see you soon. Click. <laughs> I hate how he ends it with, I'll see you soon. I know, I'm not I don't like that. You, Chip. It's very ominous. Right. Well, you, mm. you know he's spelling C-S-E-A because you're in Ocean Town. Right. So, you know, Chipperdale has been desperate to, is desperately trying to get out of this area. <laughs> Some of the businesses I mentioned, clearly you guys are familiar with, um, in particular, Coffin Fish Coffee. It is a local hangout for you guys. Sweet. Um, you go there typically to actually get your cup of coffee because the coffee pot in your apartment hasn't worked there uh, forever. Yeah, you may want to change. Oh, good idea. <laughs> I'm going to use my morph power. Okay. And I'm going to appear as one of my most frequent... Um, Alter egos. Uh, his name is Bob. Okay. You head outside. It is a beautiful sunny day, just like Chipper said. It's a it's a very short walk, and you guys uh, enter on in. It's probably the coolest place in town. Oh. Um, it is owned by a younger person, obviously. Yep. <laughs> they do make exquisite coffee, so they are well patroned, and the place has a couple of folks, you know, you know milling about in there, having a, a an early afternoon coffee or morning coffee. If it's you guys, apparently. It's morning, mm. yeah. Um, it's first cup of the day. It's still morning. Right. Exactly. As you walk in, you hear uh, a voice ring out from behind the counter, talking to you guys, also dressing you, saying, hey, losers. The Service with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> the girl you see behind the counter is named uh, Kayla Klein. Kayla is a local. She's been there basically all of her life. She owns the coffee place, and she knows you guys well. She says that only with like caring in her heart and as a friend would. Okay. As a Jersey friend would. Right. <laughs> morning, Kay. <laughs> Good morning, loser. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Bob. Um, so you guys want your usual? Yeah. I will also have the usual. She's not really sure what that means, but she's... Just give him a black coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she, she gives a couple black coffees and a chai tea Ooh. gets those like working and then she just starts kind of chatting with you guys did you see that you see that that report this morning oh yeah i never miss it chipper dale oh yeah no no Solid. he he called up he just would not stop he was just like oh, i got, called? well yeah because he wanted to come by and do an interview right here. yeah I, I, don't, I don't need that everybody knows this place i, don't, I just don't need that oh well, yeah know. like they say that like no press is bad press but like you know no chip if you ever need me to punch a chippendale you can ask kayla where are you from detroit Detroit, yeah, no. Afghanistan. Wait, both? He no, there's a there's a Detroit, Afghanistan. Yeah, oh. it's a small town. Oh, all right. Thanks, guys. That's neat. While you guys are chatting, you see there's a young man. Um, he's worked there for a while. His name's Will. He's you know doing other various tasks, cleaning up after people who leave their their cups and such. Um, he kind of says hi to you. you know. Hello, Will. <laughs> you have not yet followed me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Will looks up. No, I don't really, I'm not really on um, Facebook. That's kind of more for my grandma. While you guys are hanging out, you hear like what sounds like thunder in the distance. All of a sudden, like outside, you see a couple of people hurriedly running down the street and going like, oh my God, and everyone has their phones out and they're looking at something. Ooh, something's happening. Kayla's like, oh man. And she opens the door and she peeks outside and off in the distance, she's like, I see smoke. Will looks outside and like the direction that the smoke is coming from, he's like, oh, Grandma! And he runs <laughs> out of oh, the coffee shop and down the street. What is it, Grandma and Arson? <laughs> <laughs> She's stuck again. <laughs> Grow it on. <laughs> well, uh, I've read many a story written by Joseph Campbell. I think uh, this is probably the call to action. Should we refuse it or should we accept it? I mean, I'm down to my coffee. Fire sounds like a fun time. Fire sounds like fun? Yeah. Are you guys saying any of this out loud? Yeah. No. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kayla's like, what are you talking about? Uh, we're just talking about uh, getting a good shot of the fire. Something a good is... shot? Well, it's exciting, right? Yeah, we're just going to check it out. We don't work very hard. So we have nothing much to do. <laughs> She's like, okay. Do you know where to go? 
I guess towards the smoke, right? Yeah, I would just head down towards Mrs. Harlow's house. Oh, I'm guessing it's somewhere in that area. That's good. Now we got a name to, <laughs> to put with the to tag. With Will. Will Harlow. Will Harlow. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Good call. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Off in the distance, you hear um, some sirens. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're clearly headed the same way. All right. So you guys are going to head on over? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Right? Uh, Bob? I'm, something is dawning on me. Something feels important. <laughs> Let's go. I'm catching up with you guys. Hold and that on. That would be <laughs> that where there is smoke. What's the human saying? Where there's smoke, there's sausages. I think that's the. Term. Yes. Let us go get the sausages. Kayla just kind of looks after you guys as you as you go. There um, is a crowd growing around a home. The house itself probably used to look very nice. As you guys are arriving, the uh, chief of police is arriving. A a fire truck is arriving. Um, are there a lot of sirens? Well, I mean, at this point, they've kind of turned them off because they've arrived. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, he is a. If they, if when the sirens were arriving, I look visibly perturbed. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Um, no, they, they, as they arrive, they they turn them off because they're, they're there. They're there. They're there. Yeah. They're, they're, they need to listen to this. They're, they're like there. right down the block. They're just excited they got to ride in the fire truck today. Let's be honest. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm just gonna use my investigation and, and look around and uh, try and investigate. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I'd like to see if I have any insights about what's happening okay. close nine. <laughs> He's going to investigate his investigating. Eight. <laughs> is that is that your total thing? That's my total. Okay. <laughs> um, well. Out of 20? Oh, I'm sorry. No. 12 then. Okay. Yeah, all, right. all right. It's a 12. That's not bad. There's a crowd that's starting to gather. Will is there. He's at the front. The chief of police is trying to hold him back. Like He wants to, to run in. The house itself is not completely on fire. Mm -hmm. It's more the front yard is on fire. Oh. And, like, you notice that the windows have been blown in. Uh, well, then let's let's investigate the blast site. Let's see what, what maybe something landed there. I'm sorry, investigate. They're right there. Oh, well, just looking. Investigation is simply just looking with your face. You know, it's not hard. Okay, okay. You know, they, they won't get involved. All right, the firemen are, have now gotten their hose going, and they're putting out the, the remnants of flames on, like, the fence. Yeah. The picket fence and various bushes and trying to make sure that nothing else catches in the in the neighborhood. Sure. Um, is there like an impact crater or anything like that? Are you investigating? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> with my eyes. Investigate with your eyes for me. All right. So yeah. that's a 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely yeah. notice that um, peering, I guess, around the crowd. Have you guys made your way to the front of the crowd at this point? Are you yeah, kind of definitely. Like pushing your oh. way? Oh, it's really easy with, yeah, he, he with Bob the there. Yeah, Bob helped move them out of the way. Yeah, we were like, oh, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hello, I am friendly. <laughs> 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 um, you definitely notice that at the, like, sort of center right part of the yard, there is a dark explosion looking pattern or like burn in the in what's left of the lawn which is nothing huh. <laughs> okay um, but like this is a this is a surface kind of explosion not like something smack nothing no no it's definitely a surface i mean like sure there's a little bit of an indent but it's not like something came out of space oh okay. <laughs> mm. you see the chief of police like trying to hold everybody back a little bit sure He's doing what he can. Okay. Deputy uh, I'll, show I'll up. approach the chief of police okay. and ask him what's up. All right. Now, you know him. You've lived here for I a have. while. Um, his name is uh, Chief Brian Murray. Okay. Hey, chief. What's going on, man? I don't know. I heard a big explosion or something. A lot and... of folk heard a big explosion. Well, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm one of them. And I'm asking, like, you know, did, you, did you notice anything? What? I just got here. Well, what, what's the, is, is the old lady okay? I, I, we, we, she's not at home. We don't know where she is. Oh, interesting. Will's, okay. like, going to go try and find her. Okay, I think good. she might be at the library. Oh, well, that probably makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think she went there to use the computer. Right. Well. Oh, that's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just, just keep back. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we, don't wanna, we don't want any other injuries or any injuries. Absolutely, yeah. Any other? I, he misspoke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean other? Uh, shut up. I mean this, punch him. <laughs> I Let's ask some questions. <laughs> Batu checks his cell phone to see if he is friends with Mrs. Harlow on Facebook. You are. <laughs> She's not updated her status. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was. That's but you were definitely friends. Good call, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> You do notice though on her Not page good friends, though. that her that her that her image for her page is a picture of a garden gnome. Uh, I gave that to her for her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> is the garden gnome still intact? 
Are you investigating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 24. Yeah, no, you notice in the neighboring yards, there is a lot of shrapnel from birdhouses, from statues, from garden gnomes, just everywhere. Some of it's in the streets, some of oh. it's like impaled into the house. If we want to investigate this house, we're not going to be able to get anywhere from the front. We should probably like sneak around back, see if we can, you know, check it out. What do you think? I mean, if we wanted to get inside the house, yeah. Don't we? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All the cool stuff's happening on the front, man. That's what Nothing's I'm there. It's it's gone. It's the windows are broken. Yeah, so, I uh, keep investigating. I'll go around the back. Bob, what do you want to do? You want to go? We in could there? ask Mrs. Harlow if we can come inside. No, she's not going to be allowed to go inside. No one's allowed inside. We got to we got to go around them. We got to go oh. past these guys. We can't we can't uh, we got to be a little more duplicitous than that. I could disguise myself as something very interesting. And distract the police. That's actually not a bad idea. You could just you could disguise yourself as like a firefighter. We could go in that way. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thank Intelli you for... Intellect zero. I need help with these things. <laughs> that's perfect. Good idea, Bob. I'll just go to the bathroom. Bye, everyone. That's Bob leaving. Yeah. yeah. Will's like he, he's easily distracted because his, his grandma just keeps like mumbling about things. Like it's it's clear that Will's pretty much the only person taking care of her. Right. Uh. I'm going to try and get a little bit of the shrapnel out of one of the side houses and a couple clippings of grass. Okay. It's pretty easy to do. Right now, the fire department is mainly focused on the main house, and the chief of police and the deputy are pretty much the only two on the scene for law enforcement, and they're just trying to keep the crowd in check as well as, like, taking care of the Harlows. Right. So you, right. you can totally do that. All right. Once I get that stuff, I'll, I'll join Tom around the back. Okay. Cool. Okay. I return as Bill... Firefighter. <laughs> One of the fire like fighters looks up and says, "Who the hell are you?" Uh, he's from the the, the the county fire department. Wow, the, the, the state did... county. Yeah. What? Were you on vacation here? Uh, I was passing through. All right. I mean, we'll take the help we can, like all help we can get. I mean, we're just a volunteer brigade, so that this is cool. Yeah. What, am, what do you recommend we do? I recommend you leave, and I will put the fire out. You know, I think he's got the situation well in hand. Uh, why Definitely. don't you guys check the perimeter and make sure there's no, like, none of the fire got around the neighboring houses. Yeah, check the houses, make sure they're not on fire. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, uh, guys. Well, uh, all right, if you're going to give me resistance, then just get out of my way then. Fine. Uh, Bill, oh, this is fascinating. <laughs> I love watching you guys work. <laughs> That's a 13 plus 3, 16 in deception. Any of these firefighters have strong will resistance, I might be in trouble. Just letting you know, GM. <laughs> okay, they they buy it well enough, but barely. <laughs> right. All right. Oh, all right. Excellent. I mean, they do kind of like acknowledge the fact that there isn't too much that's actually ablaze, yeah. and so they are a little concerned, and they know that the neighbors are definitely going to be um, upset with them if they don't start kind of watering down those areas to make sure the fire doesn't spread. Absolutely. So, all right, Fire Chief, we'll leave it to you. What did you say your name was again? Bill. Billerson. Chief Bill Billerson. Goodbye. <laughs> Lead the way, Bill. They Let's look go. clearly perplexed, but realize they have a job to do, and they go to, to perform their tasks. All right, let's, let's lead the way, Bill. Let's go through the front door. All right. The Chief going of Police to... looks over. You coming? Yeah. Can let's I go, go. in the hats? What? Fire Just hats. go in the house. Let's go. All right. Let's go in the house. I can use my morph attack to make it appear like <laughs> Rory is wearing a fire hat. All right. You look like you're wearing a fire hat. I guess that might help to some degree. What makes me look as official? You, as you guys are going through the gate, you hear the chief like yelling like, you know, Tom, Rory, where, where are you going? Oh, I'll run in first. You guys go ahead. Hey, chief. Listen, on, uh, the chief of the, the, the county came by. He's going to just make sure everything's okay. And uh, actually, um, Rory has... Uh, you, mean, you mean George? No, no. This is Bill Billerson. Don't you know he's from the he's from the neighboring county? No, I I know George. So, yeah, well, no, this is Bill Billerson. I don't know Bill Billerson. I think you do, <laughs> because I just rolled an eighteen, an 18 plus four <laughs> on deception. Oh, he buys that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. I, I, I guess I must have. I, I just thought it was George. I mean, is it I, another county? I think yeah, it's a neighboring county. It's like oh. not the next one, but the one over that. Oh, the do, you, do you know him? I know him personally. Yeah, we have him over. <laughs> Come on, Rory, put out these little fires with your hands like me. <laughs> Would you please 
handle this. <laughs> Bill, Bill, stamp him. Stamp what, what, him what is, oh. what is happening back there? Oh, What's he doing? He's, he's, a, a very, he's a holistic fireman. <laughs> I use natural phyropathy. <laughs> I've never, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I wouldn't try it. It's, it's an older. I'm not, I think I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, but not now. Oh, but, uh, well, yeah, anyway, okay. th so they're gonna go check it out. And Rory has experience in firefighting as well, so he's gonna, he's gonna aid him since See he his hat. Himself. Oh, oh, all, all right. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, I mean, like we're, we're short-handed here. I mean, yeah, it's exactly. over the summer. I mean, a lot of guys are on vacation. I so. hear it. Yeah. No, that's great. Right. That's all right. great. Oh, it looks like somebody's trying to get over the the perimeter line. Oh, and he turns. He's like, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you. Uh, is anything uh, inside interesting? Investigation of uh, 15? 15? All right. Um, so when you... 15? Um, <laughs> did you open the door? Yeah. Oh, we're inside. Did okay. As soon as you open the door, a cat escapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh -huh. You hear Mrs. Mrs. Harley yell, cops! Well, better outside <laughs> than in. No, cups the cat. Cups. Can I use... I'll use my mage hand to catch it. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh. Oh. That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> You kind of grab its tail. Wait, wait. Oh. Plus six. That's twelve. Okay. All right. You 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 slow it down. Yeah. Well enough. Uh, and it looks like I just catch it. Oh, okay. You know, like I, I scoop them up. All right. I scoop cups. You scoop cups. All right. You bring cups back. There you go. To Mrs. Harlow. Mrs. She's Harlow. like, oh, she's like my hero. Uh, what would I do it. without cups? How many more cats do you have? <laughs> <laughs> just two. Oh damn it! Close the door. <laughs> I give her the cat. I join them. All right, I, she's I just holding on him. to the cat. Wait, you you went with him? Yeah, we're going. Where are you going, Tom? Well, I'm going in. You're not going in. Wait, aren't you distracted by all? The no, he wrong? turned back around. The cat <laughs> escaped. Oh, well, right. I'm sorry. I just got so swept. He's up a fireman. He's got a natural affinity for cats. He yeah, knows I know. I was just. Oh, I'm sorry. I was worried there was another cat that was going to escape. Oh. Anyway, let's let's talk about stuff since you're not leaving me alone. <laughs> okay. Well, would you mind helping me keep some of these people back? Sure. Why not? All right. Um, uh, there's a lot of people here we don't know, so you know, a lot of yeah, tourists. Good point, good point. When you get in there and you're investigating, you definitely see that the bottom floor is just covered in glass. And that, um, some, like, she's got some of those, like, china cabinets, and some of them are opened. Opened? Like, broken open? No, like, opened opened. Opened opened? Yeah. Oh. The mess makes me nervous. I checked the room for salt. <laughs> okay, as long as you stay out of the kitchen, you'll be fine. I won't be going in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate these open cabinets. Okay. China thingies. Mm -hmm. Yay, hey, nineteen. Okay. Um, when you get over there, you see that a lot of it is a bunch of like tchotchkes, like a lot of like little gnomes and little cat figurines and like plates and stuff like that. Um, but there's a drawer that's pulled open, and it looks like it's been um, disturbed. Okay. What did you find, Rory? I found this cabinet. It's open. Grab drawer, just dump it out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the easiest way. The drawer contents are now all over the floor, and nobody can ever investigate them for <laughs> clues ever again. Oh, um, look at all these tchotchkes. A bunch of like handkerchiefs and like silverware fall out. Um, there was a there's a box that has like it's a clamshell box. It tumbles out. It's opened and it's empty. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna investigate the clamshell box. Okay. It looks like it held a pocket watch. Oh, it has that little arm inside that holds them up? Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything written on the outside or, or bottom of the box? No, it's blank. Clamshell box. Pocket watch holder. Which is weird. <laughs> this is quite a mystery. <laughs> the house on fire leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just scoop everything back into the drawer. <laughs> Put it back inside. Okay, I'm gonna go back out front to, to uh, keep up the illusion that oh. I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so you you go out front, and the chief of police is like, "Oh, uh, hi, Bill." Hello, chief. Tom told me uh, that you're from the another county. Yes. <laughs> so are we in hand now? Are we good? Yep, all taken care of. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll start an investigation a good into idea. this now. Um. Yeah, I think uh, that's a great idea, right? Yeah. Right, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess, uh, I, you know, Bill's probably got to get back to whatever he was doing before he oh, got yeah, here. Oh, yeah, goodbye. I have to uh, buy a new gnome for Miss Harlow. What? How do He's, you know about that? He was very thoughtful. He was right here earlier. There's I told gnomes him was everywhere. everywhere in that house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we right. discovered that's them very, while very... searching. <clears throat> 
for fire. Uh, for f you're searching for fire? It's a fire chief. That's what know? I do. I mean, I guess, uh, okay. All right, let's go. Well, thanks okay, for Chief Bill, come on. I'll, I'll make sure he gets, you know, it's clearly. You know. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll head back to the apartment. Okay. So we do. <laughs> yeah, you head back to the apartment. Most of the day has gone by at this point. I botched going home. You don't have to botch going home. You just, <laughs> you get lost. <laughs> you end up at the Stone Crab Harbor Whore Bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now that we're home, I guess you, you can turn your morph off. <laughs> is it like is it like tensing a muscle? Is that how it is? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, you know how you smile. <laughs> yeah, it's like a whole body smile. That's not comfortable. It's, I don't like that. Wait, are you back as well? <laughs> oh, I've I've been there for ten minutes already. Oh, okay. I'm what? analyzing grass clippings and oh, you're and analyzing. Fragments. Oh, okay. I thought you were analyzing it at their house. Oh no, I don't have a lab there. Did you see anything there while you were going through the back? I mean, they probably got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Stone Crab Harbor is in good hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right, they were either robbed or, you know, there was a watch missing. Uh, it could be an heirloom. Uh, Will might have it. It could be a, given to him, passed down. Mm. It's weird that they kept the box if that was the case, though. Well, no. If, if, they, if she kept the box, the watch is probably, well, I don't even know. if Maybe she lost the watch. Who knows? It doesn't tell us anything. She's an old lady. Yeah. I could check her Facebook marketplace. Maybe she sold it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what type of explosion caused this kind of stuff. Okay, all right. Give me something. Give me a number. What are you using? I am using uh, investigation for that. Okay. So it's going to be a twenty. Okay. Not a natural, just a twenty. Okay, just a twenty. Not a natural. You, you don't know every molecular strand that is you know a part of this gnome. Um, on the gnome, you definitely get the sense that uh, dynamite or TNT was used. Mm. All right. So this was on purpose. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, this is normally an actual police case kind of situation, so I'm not <laughs> equipped to know anything about how that <laughs> works. Either the place was heavily fortified, which being an old grandmother, I doubt it was, uh, or they were trying to send some kind of message, you know, using some kind of show of force. Uh, any other reason I could think of is because that's like their MO, like they're the dynamiter and they like to blow things up by stealing watches. I don't know, it's really weird. I probably should have gotten you that box, huh? Yeah, you probably should have brought the box. Mm. Mm. Anyway, if you want to go back for it, you can. Oh, great, cool, yeah, no. All right, I'll go do that. I could uh, hack the police computer system and see if they have it in evidence. Can you? I'm pretty good with machines, with technology. Really? And whatnot. Yeah. Wow. When did that come up? <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I, I was in uh, polytechnical school on my planet for 12 years before I got stranded here. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, why not? Go for it, man. Bashi, you are a treasure trove. Yeah, we are lucky to have you. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Well, you, never, you never asked me for whether I was good at technology. I just assumed you were with your Facebook page. I never asked if you were good at croquet either. Well, you make a good point. Are you? No. Oh, well, why would you ask? Precisely. <laughs> just just <laughs> thing. <laughs> I rolled like a 13 plus 8. Okay. Yeah, it's more like this. <laughs> <laughs> and yet somehow, miraculously, it ends up there. You get in. I'm in. <laughs> wow, great. I lean over his shoulder like in one of those movies where you're watching the kid who is really good at computers. Okay. <laughs> really good at computers. Um, you pull up the I feel great about this. <laughs> <laughs> you pull up the police report. Um, it's a pretty standard looking report. It does mention each of you. Oh, great. <gasps> well, except it mentions- We're in the report. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not like the newspaper. Yeah. Oh. This is like a, a secret newspaper that people who can get us in trouble read. <laughs> Um, there is definitely, um, like, eyewitness accounts. Nobody really saw anything. Damn. Um, Mrs. Harlow doesn't know if anything was missing, but she's a little older, so they're not sure if she doesn't actually know if anything's missing, or she mm -hmm. just doesn't remember if anything is missing. Um, like, maybe she doesn't know what she had. Yeah. Because mm. of the fact that the drawer was pushed in, nobody checked it. Great. So the box is still there. All right. Now we know there's no... Um, they don't have it in evidence. Do you look at anything else? Um, no. You, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now maybe we should. <laughs> I already closed the window. <laughs> uh, well, all right. It's gone. 
I'll you go. Don't worry, I buffed up their security system. <laughs> <laughs> it was way too easy to penetrate. All right, I'm going. I'll, I'll head over house. Yeah. You're gonna go? Yeah. You're casually walking down the yeah, street. Yeah, walking down. Um, when you get there, you see it's like cordoned off by police tape. Right. Um, there are no lights on at home, but cool. there are lights on in the neighboring houses. Okay. People are there. All right. Uh, I make my way casually along to the back door of the establishment. Are you being stealthy at all? Yeah, of course. I don't know totally. if I have stealth, but. <laughs> Nope. I mean, you could use your agility to be stealthy. Just I use agility. I use my sleight of hand all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's an entirely different kind of scenario. <laughs> I will. Here I go. Okay. Stealth it is. Four. <laughs> Plus one. Okay. It's five. It's five. <laughs> so you're not really stealthy at all? No, I just all. wander in. You just kind of bumble your way into the back. <laughs> yep. You break one of the final gnomes as you're going. Yep. That was back there because you didn't see it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> when you do that, a light in like a, 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 the window next door goes on. <gasps> I freeze like a raccoon. Okay. No, that's the wrong move. It's and I create mystic shield over myself. That do it doesn't hide you from anybody. Damn it. <laughs> I can't throw anything Damn. at you. Oh, I know what I'll do. You're a terrible wizard. Okay. Uh, I conjure birds. Okay. <laughs> I can conjure yes. birds. Okay. I will conjure a flock of pigeons. <laughs> Fly by their window. Wouldn't it be seagulls? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not from here. Okay. No, you it's just, magic array. That's rank just, seven. Yeah, you so. just you conjure. I make them happen. You conjure birds. <laughs> A flock of birds bursts out. And I run under the birds. As, <laughs> as that happens, like a woman was like peeking out the window, and she's like, "Ah!" Oh! <laughs> she immediately recoils as like the birds. And you, yes. And hear her screaming, like you know, to her husband. Yeah. It's Burn. just like a Hitchcock movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I make. I. I, uh, I enter the. I check the door to see if it's locked. The back door. Okay. It's not. I open the door and walk in. Okay. <laughs> I enter the kitchen and I check the drawer uh, for that. Uh, the box. The, carefully. <laughs> or again. <laughs> With a three dexterity. Okay. That's a seven. Yeah, you avoid the glass. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to root around for the box a little bit, so yeah. you do have to be careful in there. Uh -huh. And you find the box. Yay! I take the box. Okay. See if there's any inscriptions or any like kind of like watermarks or like you know there's like the brandings on them. No, there's no branding on it. Okay. Huh. Well, this this stumps the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> he said in the empty domicile. Yeah. I look around the rest of the kitchen to see if there's anything else of, of note. Okay. Three. I can go over there. <laughs> but I hang on to the box. I check the upstairs. Okay. I go upstairs. Okay. I'm not going to roll. I'm just going to go there. Yeah, you, you are upstairs. <laughs> I don't need to roll to walk. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I do, I'll fall. So. <laughs> I go upstairs. I check around. Uh, I, I'm trying to see if there's any rooms. What, what? How many rooms do I see? Um, There are at least... Uh, Two bedrooms and one bathroom. All right, I check the uh, the bedrooms. The bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one of the bedrooms is obviously Mrs. Harlow's yep. bedroom. The other is a guest bedroom. Uh -huh. Um, it hasn't been touched in probably seven years. <laughs> yeah, there's like a, a healthy coating of dust on everything. Excellent. Um, it's made up exactly as you okay, could imagine so it would be. There's doilies everywhere. There's <laughs> seashells. <laughs> there's seashells. Not too many seashells. There's a lot of patterned quilts. Places yeah. they shouldn't be patterned quilts. Mm -hmm. Especially for the summertime. Yeah, exactly. But she's cold. <laughs> a ship's wheel that's made into a mirror. <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, I, I ignore this room. This room's caught. Okay. No, one's been, no one's been in here. I check her bedroom. All right, her bedroom. Um, clearly you see that... Um, you know the the bed is on is is made. Um, yeah. She didn't stay here this evening. Right. Um, you gather that more than likely some of her stuff was taken. Mm -hmm. um, you, there's medicine on the bedside um, nightstand, uh -huh. and then there's also like a like bureau with with her clothing and like various like boxes on top. Okay, I'm gonna check out those boxes. Okay, um, it, one of them is a jewelry box. Okay. Um, I'm gonna open it up and look inside. Okay. Um, when you open it up, you see a lot of like plasticky costume jewelry in there. It's mostly costume jewelry. Uh -huh. um, all of like, she has a bunch of rings and they're all like lined up and like there's like two places where there are holes. Oh, I use my magic senses on the, the, the jewelry. Okay. <laughs> 18. Okay, that was a really great roll. And you know that 100%. There's no magic. There's in not all. been magic in this room. <laughs> Ever. For at least. <laughs> <laughs> Not even oh when God. Mr. Harlow was alive. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. On the way home, you get stopped by someone oh, who geez. bumps into you. Hey. And gives you a really hard time. He's like, hey. What? What are you doing? I'm walking. What are you doing? You're in my way. You're keeping me from what I need to do. What do you need to do? And as you're like looking at him, you recognize him as a townsfolk. Yeah. It's a, it's a town folk. Yeah, what do you want? Martin? It's Randy. It's, <laughs> it's Dr. Randy Hoffman. Dr. Hoffman, what do you want? Be like, Tom? Yes? Get the hell out of my way. Okay. And like, as he's passing you, he nudges you really like aggressively. Oh. Uh, I check myself to see if he stole anything. Okay. Oh, I use my sleight of hand on him when he nudges me. And grab something off it out of his pocket. Okay. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh, you d- oh. <laughs> you stole his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he took his wallet. <laughs> but he didn't take anything of yours. He just wanted to hit you. Oh, what a dick. Okay. I'm going to keep walking. Okay. I'm going to look behind me and see where he's going. He just continues down the block and makes a left. Okay. Mm. I'll go back to the apartment. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Here's your box. I throw that on the table. <laughs> Ooh, I also got a wallet. <laughs> Mrs. Harlow has a wallet? No. It's Dr. Randy Hoffman. Hoffman's wallet. Dr. Hoffman's wallet was in her house? No, it was in his pocket. I took it off him. He had a real problem, real chip on his shoulder, if you will. And he checked me. Did you believe that? Huh. Yeah. So I took his wallet to see if he had anything else on him. Nothing. Just the wallet. So I figured we'd check it out. It's not a bad idea. Let's yeah. open up the wallet. All right. I'm gonna, let's let's take out all the contents and uh, sp- splay them out on the kitchen table. Okay. We're not going to dump it on the floor? No, we're not going <laughs> to dump it on the floor. <laughs> all right. When you open up the wallet, you see his license, his credit cards are in there, and there is a ridiculous amount of cash. Like, an obscene amount of cash. That's an obscene amount of cash. <laughs> like, there is, there is easily, I don't know, $4,500, $5,000 floating around in there. Wow. This is a big wallet. It was. <laughs> it's good to be a doctor. Yeah, apparently. It's good to be us. All right, take the money, put that in the box that we keep now. That's our box. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to analyze this box. Oh, fine. And I'll, do, do, your, do your work on the box. I'll keep the money and uh, put everything. Uh, 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 Bob. What, I'm sorry, no. Uh, Call me Batu. Batu, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you have so many names. It's hard they to start with all track. B's. And they all start with B's. <laughs> Batu is not good at names. That's fair. No, 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 Batu. No, that's all me. That's my hang-up. Uh, would you assemble his wallet back together, put all this crap in there while I uh, put this money in the... Do I notice bridge? anything odd about his credit cards? In what way? Um, <laughs> technologically. Okay. And that is his name on all of them. That's a good question. <laughs> it's not. <gasps> and technologically speaking, if you could give me like a technology role and possibly say that you have some sort of like machine that would... 21. Okay. Uh, minus 5, I don't have the proper tools. Okay. Um, I would say that you definitely recognize that like these haven't been used in a bit, mm. which is sort of strange. Yes, it is. These haven't been used in a while. That's weird. Do you notice anything else weird about them? Uh, his name's not on these. Mm. Let me... Bob, do I need to do that? No, 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 no. <laughs> you just recognize it as other townsfolk. This is a... Cards. Movie. Oh, these are all different cards that are under different names. Huh. How many cards are in there? Good question. Well, there's like there's like six or seven different so credit there's cards. Six or seven there's different way cards. too many credit cards for a wallet. Okay, this wallet is clearly well, it's like this thing. Yeah, yeah. this is a fat wallet. <laughs> this is gonna be really bad for his back. Yes. <laughs> Thankfully, we did help him out by alleviating him of it. Um, analyzing the box, I just want to see like roughly when it was made. Okay, the box itself, like the the pocket watch, fit into it, so you definitely see the impression of the round part of the pocket watch. And then there's at the top of it where like there would be that button to open the thing. Mm-hmm. It looks like there is definitely some sort of like angular shapes to that section. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, essentially do a impression of the top. Okay. Um, with some putty and see what we can get off of that. Okay. I rolled a 19. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need to. I think you're just you're just putting putty into yeah, it. You I'm did. not gonna make you roll for that. It was a roll though. I, I could just use my clod like body. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just four in, see what you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So when you pull your fist back out, you have obviously the like the pocket watch shape, and the top of it looks like a gemstone. Hmm. Look hmm. familiar. He's well, a he's a language guy. Let's put it in a 
put it in the mirror, see if there's anything written on it, see what the shape is. Is it like a diamond cut or a oval? No, yeah. it, it it looks like a it is like a diamond, like a drawing of a diamond. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what it looks like on the top. Got it. Yeah. But well, it's it's definitely a little larger than you would expect it to be. There's a knock at the door. <gasps> Hide the wall! <laughs> Morph. <laughs> yeah. It turned into Bob. Uh, I'll take the wallet. I put it in a drawer in the kitchen. Okay. Along with the box. And the box, the box. as well. Yeah, good call. Good call. The box goes in the microwave. <laughs> put it in the drawer! Fine. No, I don't. No time. I get to the door. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Are you answering the door? Yeah. Okay. Hello! Do you just open it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always invite We don't have a peephole, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's very cheap. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Mundy from the Stone Crab Gazette. Oh, good. Hey, Joe, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Tom. Rory? It's Bob. me, Bob. Oh, Bob. Hey, Bob, how, how are you? I heard you guys were at the uh, at the fire today over at uh, Mrs. Harlow's. Yeah, uh, I'm, look, I'm looking for, uh, my, you know, some eyewitness reports. Uh, I'm getting the big scoop. Chief Police said that you went in. Yeah, no, or... I went in with, uh, with Bill Billerson. Yeah, not with me. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You're so totally broke. <laughs> Rory, what was what was it like inside? Yes, Rory, tell them. Was, what was it a like fiery inside? blaze? There were no fires inside. Glass everywhere. Oh, okay, glass. That's dangerous. That's newsworthy. I'd say. Is it? Well, the fact that uh, <laughs> the uh, the glass was inside just means that the fire was outside. Right. Also, there was an explosion. Oh, which caused we don't the fire. know about oh, the like explosion. foul play. We don't know that. All we know is what we saw when we got there, which Cause, is nothing. Because because Chief Murray wouldn't tell me anything. Well, that makes you sense. you guys it's are a, helping me out a lot it here. Is an ongoing Can I quote you? You cannot. You yeah, you're allowed to quote me on this. You. Oh. There was an explosion from outside. It's fine. You don't know if there was an explosion. You don't want to just. Go I'm on quoting record. it. Well, there he goes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna kind of try and get some insight on true intentions. Okay. Of this. Okay. Character. That's a twenty. Okay, <laughs> that's a you. This 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 guy is thirsty for news. <laughs> like he's got a real nose for it. He like, really hates Chip. Like he uh, <laughs> he does, and he also like he's just like no. Chip isn't a real news like man. newsman or you know chipper. <laughs> yeah, chipper. chipper isn't a real newsman, and like he doesn't want the like print media to die, mm. and so Aww. like he's always desperate to to try to get something Over in on like them. Yeah. yeah, and like to get something into the paper that like, get people to read it, but like at times it borderlines on like sensationalism mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. like he's mm -hmm. trying so hard to get people in there. So like right now he'll take anything you guys say and make it bigger. So right. I might watch out for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, guys, watch what you say to this guy. Oh, I said that out loud. Whoa, 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 what, what is what is that? What does that mean, uh, Bob? Just, Bob, it's Bob. A, just that you know, it's an open investigation. You want to be careful. Well, you guys know a lot about this. Well, we only know we volunteer saw firemen. What many people saw. I didn't know you were on our brigade. Not on yours. A uh, long time ago, I had to get off. <laughs> saw so, too many. so you're not on it? <laughs> no, no, but I had experience. Yeah, write that down. He's like writing things <laughs> down. Yeah. As he, he goes. Yeah. Keep talking. He, his chief will never believe any of the things. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't catch any like eyewitness accounts that took place before, like when. No, he... I, I, look, I talked to the neighbors. They said they heard an explosion and some commotion out the back of the house, and that was it. Out Wait, the back of the house. Out the back of the house? Yeah. yeah. What was your name again? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Mundy. Well, Joe, thanks a lot for coming by. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, shut. <laughs> Can I get a picture? No! <laughs> you can take door. a picture of me! No, Bob, don't. Oh. Don't engage this man. All right. You hear him, like, leave, and you can probably see out your window that yeah. he does actually go. Batu goes on Facebook and friends Joe Mundy. <laughs> Joe immediately accepts <laughs> Something took place at the back of the place. We got the box, which has a jewel, or had a jewel in it. This is not coming together. <laughs> we are not detectives. I mean... <laughs> One would assume it's a robbery. Definitely robbery, yeah. And somebody took that watch. The watch clearly was more than a watch. I think it was more than a watch. Where's Dr. Kaufman? Oh, Hoffman? Uh, Hoffman? Uh, Hoffman? Uh, Kaufman. Kaufman. Was it Kaufman? Hoffman? Hoffman. <laughs> Is this a Mel Brooks Kaufman. bit? No, it's Hoffman. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, he went towards the house when he made a left, if I recall. What's down that way? I don't know. And I've lived here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so what's down the way like we would know yeah where which direction did he go towards? that goes down uh, towards downtown Ooh, gentlemen yeah. where all the lights are bright sounds like we're going downtown uh let's take a quick stop at the back of the house real quick all right 
You're going back to the house? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <Exactly. laughs> you go back to the house. Back to the house. Oh, you're the sneaking? Nosy neighbors. Because now it's dark out. I went back there. I'll let you check it out this time. I'm I'll gonna, run interference with I'm birds. I'm going to fly over. I'm going to be kind of indiscreet. Okay. Does it make sound? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, they're percussion boots. <laughs> so they might make a little bit of sound, but they're not loud. What kind of sound? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm gonna fly just over the house and try and like touch down and back. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna look around the uh, the ground, and see if I can find prints, footprints from the feet of people. Right. Twenty two. You see what looks like part of a, fo- a footprint as it walks down from the like back porch area into the dirt, but then it goes off into the grass and it's there's nothing more to follow. I'll take a quick picture of it. Okay. The user flash. Yes. <laughs> the neighbor's light next door goes on again. <laughs> Who's Delf? <laughs> uh, is that agility? Yeah. Um, 12? Okay. Where, where are you stealthing? What I'm just you... like tucking up against the house. Okay. All right. <laughs> Are your boots still on or are they off? Oh, they're off. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not flying. All right, you, you hear a woman's... You, <laughs> you hear a woman's... <laughs> chimney. You hear a woman's voice go, I told you I heard something. I heard so, some sort of... It sounded like someone had, like, an electric razor on outside or something. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with birds. And then, and then there was a flash of light. Come here. I'm going to hit it with birds. Okay. <laughs> 17 <laughs> plus birds. There's, like, more birds this time. <laughs> 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 Run! I used that time to get the hell out of there. Okay. <laughs> these birds. I'm really glad we got these birds. I'm glad you got these birds. Yeah. Are you are you with them, by the way? No, I'm just waiting at the street He's corner. Just <laughs> like, I know I cannot sneak. <laughs> I have a zero in stealth. There's like a little kid in a window behind you who's like... <laughs> All right, we meet up with, with Bob. Okay. What did you f- do? Or, I forget. Why are we here? Yeah. Oh, uh, checking in the back. Just oh. seeing, like, you know, who might have been leaving. I found a footprint. You it's did? a woman's. I have no idea whose. Oh. Mm. Great. Yeah, I'm not really good with footprints. No. <laughs> well, all right. It was worth a shot. I mean, I've got it. Yeah. on my phone. You do have it at your phone. Great. All right, let's head towards... Where, let's, let's go downtown. Downtown. Downtown! All right. Downtown! To downtown. Uh, all right, so you guys head downtown. Most of it's closed at this point. It is well after 9.30. <laughs> yeah. Um, How many bars are there downtown? Just one. Just one? Wow. Yeah. Downtown sucks. Yeah, the Typhoon <laughs> Tap Room is open right now. <laughs> Let's check it out. I wave to everyone in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of people who are, are well into their evening wave back. Hey. <laughs> I keep an eye out for Randy. Okay. Do I see him? You don't see Randy. Damn it. All right. I go up to the bartender. Uh huh. And I grab a stool and I say hello. Hey, Tom. Howdy. What's up? I'm looking for Randy. Yeah. Oh, and I'll have a a stout. A stout? Yeah. All right. I'm looking for Randy. (laughs) Oh, Doctor Hoffman? Yeah. Yeah, he came in while uh, a little while ago. It seemed like he was, uh, you know, already feeling pretty good about himself over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, gave some folk a hard time, and then he just got out of here, which Mm. is probably for the best because. Did he say anything when he came in? No, not much. I mean, he, he was pretty incoherent. Mm. Here you go, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I drink it, and I pay the... Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, of course. I mean, I could put it on your tab. Nah, no. Let's just actually pay for it today. Okay. Just today's, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, We're not settling up to the bank. Did he talk to anybody when he was here? Yeah, he yelled at a couple of guys. What guys? Uh, one here. of the guys over there. The other guys, I don't know where he is. All right. Uh, let's go over to the guy. Well, go get her, Tom. Let's go get him. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to come too? Yeah. No. Stand by the door, just in case he like makes a run for it. If he does, just grab him. I'm very good at grabbing. I know. <laughs> You're excellent at grabbing. That's why I want you at the door. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I can do that. All right. What about you, Rory? You, you got me? Oh, no. No? Wonderful. All right. I go to the guy. <laughs> I kind of like accidentally bump into him. Do one of those like little like, oh, excuse me. He goes, hey. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I was dancing here. What are you? What are you? Wait, were you dancing in my space? I moved. I didn't I'm not. I wasn't inviting space. you to dance with me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Why don't you, you know? back off? I will once I. You God, my what is wrong with this place? I don't know. It's crazy, right? You come here a lot. 
<laughs> no, I'm just in town for a little bit. Oh, okay. Hey, I heard you had a, you had a run in with one of my you friends. You heard? Yeah, yeah. From that, who? I don't know. Somebody. Why know, are you asking about me? Because <laughs> who are you, Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just genuinely curious. What are you interested? I, well, it, uh, it depends. I'm interested more in who you were talking to and why. I don't have to talk to you. No, you don't have to talk to me, but I thought, you know, maybe you could. I don't like the cut of your jib. You don't like the cut of my jib, <laughs> huh? You don't. You're weird. I am weird. I'm a weird guy. I'm going to go back to my drink now. Well, uh, before you do that, I'm going to intimidate you into telling me what I want to know. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens that I rolled a 16, sir. And uh, so uh, with that plus my two, it gives me an 18 against your... Uh, Defensiveness. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what you have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just picturing this in an actual <laughs> bar. I really well, I've rolled a 16. Well, I rolled a 16, so <laughs> you're <laughs> compelled to, <laughs> to acquiesce. Your DC doesn't look so high to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I got well, you it. make a compelling argument, sir. <laughs> I will say, before I abruptly end this conversation, Dr. Randy and I had an altercation, let's say. He's, he's not too intimidated. What? Of you. Bob, come over here for a second. I can't believe you won't listen to me, man. I just wanted to ask you one question. <laughs> what do you so need, he Bob? Turns, he's to turned do? his back to you. He just doesn't. Yeah, let, what, I, I tap him on the shoulder gently. Yeah, listen. Oh, you again? Yeah, my friend Bob here has a question or two for you. If you wouldn't mind just answering his questions, then we can move on. Bob. He's a, you, uh... Yeah, we were just wondering what Dr. Hoffman. Oh. Is that what his name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted to know what Dr. Hoffman wanted with you, that's all. I don't know. He wanted my friend. What friend? The friend I was here with. Where'd he go? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? He left. How old is he your friend and you don't know? Do you keep track of where your, all your friends are? They're all right here. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <sad>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, I feel blessed. <laughs> do I have any Ooh. insight into this guy's deal? Yeah. yeah. What are his true intentions? That's a twin. D1? Mm-hmm. Um, he is clearly not looking to chat with you guys. He probably doesn't know much more than mm. who he actually is letting on. He his seemingly his plans were ruined. Right. By whatever mm. occurred. Yeah. So like okay. he's seemingly just trying to get on with his evening mm -hmm. and like, you know. All right. You're not helping it. Um listening to these guys, I'm gonna see if there's a car parked outside from mm -hmm. uh, New York. Oh, okay. I guess that's investigation. <laughs> yeah. You, you can just look. All right, I'll look. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, Any cars around for New York? Are you asking the DM that? Or yes. You, or the yes, there is. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. It's a nice one, too. I'm going to come back in. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, do you know where he went? No. Uh, Hoffman. Or the guy, that guy came in. Yeah. What did you say his name was? Hoffman. Yeah, he came in. He gave us a hard time. He yelled at a bunch of stuff. And then he left. My pal went after him. Oh, okay. Okay. Did they seem to know each other? No. What kind of stuff were they yelling? They were talking about cars. Cars. All right. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. What'd you find? There's a New York car outside. Matches the uh, accent from the guy from Staten Island. Oh. That's right. You, you're good with languages and a dialect. <laughs> <laughs> um, the streets are fairly empty. Most folk who are in the bar are kind of in for the evening in the bar. Yep. Until such a time as they get kicked out of said bar. Um, so you, you're looking at the car. Yeah, let's check it out. We investigate it. It is a luxury vehicle. Whatever luxury vehicles exist in the DC universe, it is <laughs> the luxury type of that. The Wayne Tech. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a Wayne uh, hybrid <laughs> luxury pricey McPricerson car. Yeah. It only has two seats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's that kind of luxury car. Oh. But it's got a trunk. Yeah. It's got a trunk that we can look inside. Mm. But it's got a trunk that will probably alert people that we're looking inside of it. True. So how do we do that? You want Batu to break the car? I mean, break the electronics of the car. Yeah, oh. sure. Do you have any specific tools with you that Batu could use? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let me rummage around my stuff. Got a screwdriver. Well, I'll do my best to make the alarm not be very loud. I would appreciate that. I, I do. I did pretty good. Oh, yeah, you did. 18 plus 8. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, so you managed to disable the alarm where it's it's clearly going off, but like it's not making any sound. Sweet. Is that good? That's perfect. 
All right. Good work, Latu. Okay. Now we gotta open the trunk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Latu? That I can do with the screwdriver. Ka-chunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you wedge it on in there. You nick some of the paint, as you do. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that can buff out. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the trunk pops open a little bit. All right, let's crack it open. What's inside? I don't know. I open it. It, it's filled with beach gear. God damn it. <laughs> Possibly, you know, some, some, you know, horrible beers that have been sitting in the sun for too long. Ugh. Well, Nancy Drew, what's next? Inside the car? We broke it into this person's As vehicle. you guys are, are chatting, you hear some commotion coming from the, like, alleyway next to the bar. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Something else is happening over there. Something good as a distraction. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> to keep us from this grand larceny. Let's go. We abandon this car and go over to the alley. I tried to close the trunk, but it won't close. Okay. But do it. It's okay. Okay. Um. All right. Um, so you head over to the alleyway. Down the alleyway, you see Dr. Hoffman mm. and the guy. <gasps> There's the guys. Hey. You say Call. hey? Yeah. Call. Hoffman's like, damn it. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And when you when he turns around, he has like a knife, and like he's brandishing it at the guy, and he kind of grabs him. Oh, and he, and he and he indicates that like, he's like, I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I use my magic hand, mage hand. <laughs> well, I guess it's a magic hand. <laughs> it's a magic hand called mage hand. Yeah, yeah. I use my mage hand <clears throat> and grab him to like separate him. Like I kind of pin Hoffman against the wall with like my mage hand. Well, we're gonna need to roll for this one. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to. 20. Natural. That's pretty good. <laughs> Plus six. So. That's, that's pretty you good. You lucky bastard. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. So you're grabbing him? Yeah, just whoo, against the wall. Him, you're just pushing him away. Yeah, well I'm, I'm pinning him against the wall. He's, he's, he's got doing, a knife. Yeah, he's doing no, it against his throat. Yeah, but it pushes him out of the way. Right, as he's pushing him. Oh. So as you as you push him away, he's still holding on to the knife, and it slices the guy from here to like his shoulder. Okay, it's like he didn't hold it quite in the right, right. way. Right. Okay. The guy's like, ah! <laughs> Ten to that guy. I'll go talk and deal with Hoffman. Ten to the guy. Ten to the. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> I'm following him. Okay. I'm like, I'll what are you doing, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Bob's going with Rory. The guy's like, ah! Bob's he's not sure what this guy's deal is. Hang on. His insights are telling him that he's rolling a natural 20 right now. Oh, though. that's pretty good, though. <laughs> um, this guy is clearly, he's like a shady kind of dude. Mm. Um, and he's also terrified mm. right now. Hey, we really got him scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up terrified. Well, I mean, he's also bleeding kind of profusely, so oh. let's tend to that. Uh, do you uh, have any yeah. skills that can make him not do that anymore? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm going to take my shirt off and probably just push it against the wound. Oh, okay. All right, cool. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take his shirt off and push it against the wound. Because I like my shirt. Fair, fair enough. Better idea. You're taking it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, sorry, wait, 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 wait. No, hang on, hang on. I'll just grab his shirt, press against the wound. Heels ow. The wound. He's, I know, he's I starting know. to yell a little bit. People are starting to like, hey, don't yeah, be mill afraid. around in front of the bar trying to figure out what's happening. Oh, jeez. Hold on, I'm just going to step into the men's room. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bob leaves. Police officer Brent <laughs> comes out. <laughs> Nothing to see here, everyone. They're like, the police have it under control. I'm the police. Uh, <laughs> most of them are inebriated, so they're just like, oh. okay. <laughs> Sweet. Good thinking, Bob. Or Brent. <laughs> nice work. Yes, Brent. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, Brent. All right. Damn. So anyway, just, work. just right. keep this pressed against your shoulder, uh -huh. uh, apply pressure, you should probably lay down. Yeah. <clears throat> Hoffman, what the hell are you doing, man? I have to, I have to complete my task. I have to do it. Wait, what, what, what kind of task? What are you doing? Do you, do you owe money? I have to, I have to get money. Well, well, for what? I have to get money. I have to bring it back. To where? I can't tell you that. Why? Because I can't. I'm intimidating you. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm intimidating you. But I'm intimidating you. So tell me. <laughs> you have to tell me. <laughs> Don't make me burn you. <laughs> I demand that he tells me what uh, what I want to know. Okay. His, your intimidation tactics should normally work on a man of this stature. Yeah. They're not today. Interesting. Hmm. 
I use my magical sense, my mystic senses to see if he is controlled by an otherworldly force. Okay. I rolled a four. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with four. Okay. Um, you're not certain, but you you don't think there's magic. I don't. Think I, I, but it's it feels hard to like tell. you're being compelled by something, but it's probably not magic. Right. Like most things in the world, exactly. by the way. Exactly. Um, as you guys are chatting, you hear a police siren off in the distance. Oh shit! All right. Uh, oh, didn't they get the message? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta. They we, did. We gotta wrap this up. Um, ask your guy some more information. See if we can get, and then we gotta bail. Yeah. Oh, but you better tell me what the hell's going on. Here. <laughs> Uh, I can't. I'll try and reason with the guy. Okay. Just be like, look, I'm sorry that everything's going on. We're, Hoffman's not going to be a problem for you, but you got to tell me why he was here. I don't know why he was here, man. Like, he came up to me. He asked who was driving the car outside. I said, me. It's a nice car. I own that car. I love that car. Did he come in the bar to talk to you? Yeah. About your car? Well, I mean, I started out with the car, and then he demanded I give him money. I wasn't giving him money. Look at him. That's a smart move. Why? Right? Then he tried to push me a little bit. He ended up leaving. I wasn't having that. I'll tell you that right now. Well, of course not. But so why are you guys here? We're on vacation. In Stone Crab Harbor? Well, I mean, it's a it's a stop on the way. To where? The seaside. <laughs> it's a smarter move. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, just get yourself to the hospital. Get yourself some stitches. Get there myself to the hospital? Yeah, get well, yourself to the hospital. Why don't you help me get to the hospital? The police will be here any second. What, do you want me to call you an Uber? Well, I mean, that would be nice. I'm not calling... Hospital, four blocks down. Make a right. Make a second left at the uh, at the light. You'll be fine. The cops are gonna drive him there. Isn't that a cop right there? No. Ah, yes. I could will... drive you there. No, but I'm sorry, you're very I, busy. <laughs> I could drive you in your car. What? Is okay. <laughs> it's a police escort. How's that? Yeah. Um, I take Hoffman and I shake him around a little bit with my man, with his dick hand. Like, <laughs> come on, just tell me what's going on, man. I can't. I won't tell you anything. Fine. Ah! <laughs> Wait, I, 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 since he's held there with my mystic hand, uh -huh. I use my regular hands and check his body for like. <laughs> okay. All right, you find another or a couple of wallets. Ooh, more wallets. Yeah. Oh my god. So I check them all out. Uh huh. I look through them all. Right. I just find money in them, I assume. Uh huh. And other people's credit cards. Yep. <laughs> Hoffman, what are you Hoffman, doing? what the hell's the matter with you? I leave them all like heat in a pile uh -huh. for the police to collect. The police sirens are getting increasingly closer. You can start. You're seeing the lights. Okay. Uh, we gotta we gotta get all the information we can before we leave. Are you mm -hmm. driving this guy? No. <laughs> yeah. You're not driving to? him. We gotta leave. Okay. Uh, unless Sorry. We, unless we want information from this guy. By what the way, <laughs> you may need to buff out the scratch on your trunk. Don't tell him about the sorry. trunk. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! Batu is a good guy. <laughs> yeah, Batu is a very. I thought good you guy. were Brent. I didn't say Brent did any damage to the car. I don't think we're going to get any more information from these people. I'm, a, I'm really worried about this. From this guy, absolutely not. From Hoffman, we got to be able to get something. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm holding Literally, him here. Literally, the what cops are pulling up. And oh, crap. Okay. I'm I will carry him. We will anxiety. take him with us. Okay, yeah, good idea. I'll use my mystic hand. Let's all grab onto you, and you'll use your flight boots to get us out of here. Well, I can't lift us all out of here. Really? Really. Are you sure? Roll. We'll see what happens. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've got... Two other people. One I, could I could carry you all, but pounds. I'm not very no, fast. No, 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 no. You're not, I'm, you're not grabbing onto me. You're driving this guy to the hospital, apparently. <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. I thought he had Hoffman. Yeah, no, I have he's Hoffman. got Hoffman. In my mystic hand. Magic hand. <laughs> yeah. 14? <laughs> um. <laughs> maybe we can hover? What's your total? <laughs> the boots give me flight four. My agility is five. So that would be a plus nine. So 23. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you, just, you just hear a hum and I'm like shaking a little bit. I'm like, this is not working, man. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right. So we run away. Should I, should I carry the doctor? Back in the alley. Yeah. You bring the doctor with you. No. Yeah, the doctor. Yeah, carry the doctor here. You, you grab him. I, I can I, lift I, I release him from my mystic hand. 400 tons. Yeah. <laughs> I release him from his stick hand. I let Batu grab him. Okay, he's huh? flailing. Cheese it. All right, no one's on me now. Nope. <laughs> you fly away. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you guys going? Uh, we'll go to the park. <laughs> to the park. Around the corner. Okay, you go around the corner. <laughs> go to the docks. The docks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, the docks. It's a good, good place for the uh, docks. Shake down. The docks <laughs> yeah. are pretty far from where you are. And we'll go to the park then, okay. which is much closer than the docks. Yeah. Well, no, it is. <laughs> so you go to Amity Park. Oh. Because Amity, as you know, means friendship. 
<laughs> Great. This is a perfect place for this to take place. Exactly. So you guys head to the park. Um, the cops arrived. They found the guy. Mm -hmm. The guy told them everything. Yeah. But he didn't know our names, or except for his, but only one of the pseudonyms. Right, but he, he was able to give them descriptions, and he knows that Hoffman, or the guy who attacked him, is missing, and his name is Hoffman. Okay. So, just as a heads up, yeah. you are now probably... Part of an investigation. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, so you're at the park. All You've right. You've got Hoffman. <clears throat> He's still wild-eyed and, and not coherent. Okay. Um, could you use your... Uh... You're pretty good at reading people. Let's see if he's addled by anything. If he's on drugs or if he's like being mind controlled. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Thirteen. Um, you know he's not in his right mind, but you don't know for what reason. Hmm. He's a little messed up. I could shake him for you. I shook him before. It didn't really mm -hmm. help. Rah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Often, what bastard do you Rah! serve? Not you. Let me go. Hmm. <laughs> Well, there is a master. I say we let him go. Yes. That is a great idea. <laughs> let him go. Really? Yeah. Yeah, let him go. Okay. All right. If he runs away, should I grab him again? No, no, no. no. Just let him Just let him, Let him. him be. I drop him. Okay. He thuds to the ground. He scrambles back to his feet. He, like, looks at you angrily. Shoves you a little bit. Then he makes a run for it out of the park. Okay. Follow him. I'll trail him. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Batu and I go back to our apartment to establish an alibi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you watch as the doctor runs back through town, but he goes past the bar. Okay. Where the cops immediately <clears throat> grab him. Damn it. Okay. And so they take him into custody. Okay. All right, so he gets arrested. Mm hmm. Shit. No, that's fine. Yeah. Well, but he might have led us to something we wanted to know about. I was hoping that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but at least he's not just roaming the streets. Well, it's not like he eluded us. Yeah, that's true. All right. It's a win. Yeah, it is a win. And they recover that. the wallets. That's bigger fish to fry. They don't need us. Anyway, we go back to the apartment. Okay. I guess, unless you guys have any other plans you want to go out. I mean, what is it? After 11, so. <laughs> yeah, it's easily midnight. Everything's closed. Yeah. You guys want to go back to the backyard? I'm kidding. We could have a <laughs> may be in some stuff, mm -hmm. but there's no way the shoe prints in the backyard were made by him. No, no, we know that. That's true. Hmm. But we also don't know if it's not just the old lady. I mean, we could try and talk to her in the morning. Yeah, I don't think she... Well, all right. Well, let's see what happens tomorrow. So. Okay. It's the next day. Um, there's a knock at the door. You get it this time. <laughs> How early is it? Uh, it's about, it's like 9 a.m. Oh. I half-heartedly morph. <laughs> you're like mostly yeah. a person. You're, you're under the blankets like half of you is not. <laughs> it's just me in the morning and it's just real life. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's just the top half is yeah. human. <laughs> I open the door. Yeah. Deputy Harris, Stone Crab PD. Yeah. Can I come in? What's this about? Uh, it's about last night. Can I come in? Can I talk to you in the hallway? It's pretty early. Uh, I need to talk to you and all of your roommates. Yeah, I'll grab them. Hang on a sec. Tom, Bob. What? PD's here. Oh. Uh, should I get Brent? No, don't. <laughs> just just come along as uh, Bob. All right. I fully morph. <clears throat> <laughs> we go We go meet him in the, like in, uh, around the door. It's a woman. Her in, around the door. <laughs> oh. I reevaluate my gender identity. <laughs> <laughs> Meet them at the door. A uh, gentleman who is now in the hospital um, gave descriptions for you two as being um, at the Typhoon Tap Room last night and uh, that you were involved in some sort of altercation in an alleyway. Hmm. Is that what he said? I mean, we were there. I didn't say it was he. Is that what they said? <laughs> <laughs> we were there. There was an altercation in the alleyway that we heard. We tried to step in. Uh, apparently, Dr. Hoffman went nuts or something, was holding a knife to somebody. That's what it looked like. Yeah, he says that uh, one of you somehow pushed him away without actually touching him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I would say so, but I need to investigate all avenues here. Sure, okay. Well, also, that there was an Officer Brent nearby. Well, I, I, I can't speak to that. I I'm, mean, did, yeah, <clears throat> there was an officer, but... We don't have an officer, Brent. 
not one that matches a large description such as yourselves. Mm. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Can't help you there. <laughs> That's it? Sorry. What do we know? Uh, one of them was attacking the other person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we step in to help? Oh, so you were there. I said we were there. The bartender at the Typhoon Tavern Room also established that you were there, and you had interest in the gentleman's friend. Well, I can't speak to that, but uh, all I can tell you is that it's a good thing that three people matching our description were there. Otherwise, the situation could have gotten a lot worse. Listen, you guys better stick around, all right? Because here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if either of them are going to sue, and if so, it's going to be your asses, not ours. Mm. Well, enough to take us sue alive. each other? No, no, sue, sue the, the town, because the guy got hurt, and really he got hurt because of you guys. Uh, yeah, Hoffman probably tripped. He was yeah. inebriated. Exactly, please. We weren't even close to them. It's true. I wasn't even there. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob was here the entire time. Also, whoever was, you know, impersonating a police officer, hmm, mm. that's not okay either. Okay, well. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Listen, Chief Murray might be cool with you guys, but, uh, I don't like you. <laughs> All right, well, oh. duly noted. All right. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she leaves. Back in the, back in the apartment. <laughs> Let me shoot, we're cool, we're cool. <laughs> Stay we're cool. We're not cracking over the suitcase, we gotta move down. So we're no closer to cracking this mystery, but we do have the law on our hands now. Exactly. So that's great. No, we have the law on our side. No, not really. No, Harrison may be against us, but what did we do? Nothing, mostly hearsay. Precisely. Come on, magic? Yeah, nope. Exactly. Batu could see if the police computer can tell us anything new. Good idea. Okay. Herp. Hack on in. That's a 16 plus 8. Yeah. <laughs> it's like math. Yep. Perfect. All right, you're in. Um, What are you looking at? Uh, I am looking at Hoffman's arrest. Our names. Yeah. Why? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. No, this is great. All right. Um, you see your, your names come up in the report for both the Harlow fire slash explosion and also with this more recent occurrence. Excellent. Um, you know, it was Harris that filled it out, and so she mentioned that you were, like, you know, people of, of interest, okay. essentially. Uh, Delete being those. Being part of that. 18 again. Yeah, you, you delete them. You're, you're good. Right. Um, are you doing anything else in there? What else, guys? Yeah, well, we, need, we need to know what they know, and maybe uh, they have a statement from Hoffman. I look for Hoffman's okay. statement. Hoffman has been, um, he's, he's actually at the hospital in the psych ward right now, because uh, he was acting so violently mm. and out of character that they just put him in there until mm. they figure out what the hell's wrong with him. Okay. Well. Oh, and he was also not inebriated. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Should I delete that too? No, 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 delete that. <laughs> okay. that's, that's, that's okay. Uh, all right, I guess you can log out. I don't um, want to screw anything up. Unless you have anything else that Bachi might be able to um, do. Check the names on all the credit cards. Oh. See if there's any connection in the police records, in the town records. Do we have the credit cards? Yeah, we kept those. We still have the wallet. <laughs> well, we did that. That's the first original one? wallet. Okay. Yeah. yeah, good thing you didn't let her in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should get rid of those, by the way. Cross-reference then. Okay. Uh, most of the names uh, come up as folk from town. Um, not most of them are like they've had a ticket here or there, that kind of thing. But no real criminal record. Mm. Okay. Well, that was it was worth a shot. You can leave those. Uh, all right. Let's log out. Uh, can you log out? Can you use, <laughs> log out of hack? Yeah. <laughs> can, you use, can you use your your um, your, your, your body to kind of like wipe any fingerprints off of those uh, credit cards for me? I can only make them more dirty. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a thing. I'm just going to cut them up. <laughs> All right. Look up uh, Hoffman's address. Where? <laughs> On the World Wide Web, I guess. <laughs> Yellow pages, man. <laughs> I could just see on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're probably friends with him on Facebook. I am. Anyway. There we go. All right. So you have his address. All right. We could. Sh okay. So here's. We have two courses of action here. We could go to his house and ransack the place. No, we, we just stake it out. I was going to say, or we could have Batu impersonate a member of the uh, police. No, of the <laughs> psych, the, the psych <laughs> ward people. Like he could be a doctor. Go in there and see if uh, there's any information about there. 
I mean, I, I can do that. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. You, 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 and you, you blend right in. Bossy, you blend well. Yeah, he's a good blend. Yeah. That means so much coming from the both of you. <laughs> but, um... I know you don't know what stop. irony is, Batu, so I appreciate it. <laughs> do you want to chaperone him? Or do you... <laughs> what does chaperone mean? Uh, it means to come along. <laughs> all right, I'll stake out the place you go with Batu. Great, all right. Batu, we're going to the psych ward. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. We make our way. So you go to the hospital? Morph into a... Uh, Oh, oh, um, uh, a doctor from out of town. Just any doctor. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. Very cool. Okay, perfect. There is a, um, a an officer stationed outside his room. Of course, yeah. Uh, well, we don't need to go into his room, I don't think. Unless okay. we need to get... Oh. All right. Batu, here's... <laughs> We're going to go we can do a, into an un... Into a broom closet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah into the... All right, Batu. Let's okay, see. you're like crammed in there. <laughs> like, Be very careful here, man. Like... There's no room. Need. <laughs> I need you to ask Hoffman what his mission is. We need some kind of lead from this guy. Uh, I can't go with you past the, the cop because I'm too suspicious. Mm. So I need you to walk in, just say you're a, his doctor, and you need to talk to Hoffman for a few... Or, uh, <laughs> I was going to say you should talk to him, but maybe, maybe something more simple, something more rudimentary. Like you need to... Take his vitals or grab something mm. that's his. Like you, you left doctor there. things. Doctor things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. That'll hold up. I've been to a doctor. Okay. A human doctor? No. I'm gonna roll the dice on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. Yeah, Batu, I trust you. I'll get it done. I know you will. I like working on this team, one way or another. <laughs> it's great to have you. <laughs> We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> but when you when you get the information, just leave. Don't draw attention to yourself, but get out of there and meet me around the back of the hospital. And then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll find you. Yeah, just just no. Meet me in the back of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel good about this plan. Yeah, it's a good plan. Right? I'm excited to be part of it. Here we go. I'll go back there now. No, I'll wait here, and if I hear commotion, I will come and get you. Okay, fair enough. All right. All right, so uh, I squeeze out of the broom closet, <laughs> dressed in scrubs. I have a clipboard. Okay. Ooh. I'm 400 pounds, yeah. six foot six. Uh-huh. And I uh, go to the police officer at Dr. Hoffman's door. Uh-huh. And I say, hello, officer. I am a new doctor assigned to this patient, and I need to do, I need to check his organs but his I need to check him out uh, I'm gonna have to clear this with the attending physician I think before you go in there you're really big for a doctor yes I um, went to big doctor school oh like 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 you know yes yeah. what's that over there morph attack I make a uh, a cart down the hallway appear uh -huh. to be on fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks like it requires attention. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh my God. While he's distracted, I slip in. Okay, yeah, and you hear him like run down the <clears throat> hall, like, you know, trying to like call somebody, noticing the fact that the um, sprinkler systems aren't going off, right? Yeah. It's not real fire or right. is it? Okay. It just appears to be okay. fire. Okay, so he's like trying to figure out what's going on there. And like a couple of nurses have also gone on there. So you go right. in. Okay, I go in. Um, I start just randomly kind of like prodding him okay. like I've seen a doctor do okay. while, while I'm asking him, Hoffman, Dr. Randy Hoffman, can you hear me? He, he like indicates like he's just like, uh, yeah. Hoffman, it's me, your doctor. You should wake up and talk to me now. <laughs> going really well he, he like kind of opens his eyes like have him on some sort of drip that's like you know trying mm. to calm him a bit so like he's about as aware and awake as he's gonna be okay and he's definitely a little terrified don't be afraid <laughs> <laughs> don't be afraid now i've got you in my care can you tell me can you tell me who made you do these bad things he he's like i i i i oh, oh. The, the gun 
Gun, tell me more about this gun. The gun, he, he, he shot me with the gun. Can you be more specific? Be quickly, please. <laughs> <laughs> Time is a factor. I, I, I pat him urgently <laughs> on He's the like, chest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened after that. I still feel like I have to, I have to go. Go and where? he starts to get a little agitated. Go where? He's like, I can't. Stay calm. <laughs> 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 Each time you do that, like it's like all the air comes out of him for a second. <laughs> hands. Why? Stay calm. Don't hurt me. I won't. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I took the hippopotamus oath. <laughs> Don't worry. No, I can't tell you. He'll, he'll hurt me. Who'll hurt you? I can't tell you. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me some things. <laughs> From behind you, a nurse comes in. She's like, I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? I'm a nurse. Yeah, I'm a doctor. Didn't you see my clothes? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> She's like, wow, what a jerk. Yep. He could have just helped me. That's fine. <laughs> All right, I go around to yeah. back so, of the so hospital. So you come back out, possible. though, right? But yes. the cop is there. Yes, he is. Yep. And he's just like, this isn't a fire at all. That's weird. Hey! What? What were you doing in there? You wouldn't understand you're not a doctor. Wow, that's mean. That hurts. Well, that's not very nice. I, I'm sorry. Not everyone can go to medical school. I'm a hero my own way. I, uh, that's true. <laughs> Look, I've got to go now and fill out papers. Oh, don't, don't I know that feeling. I get, I get that job a lot at the office. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's like really only three of us down at the station, so I end up having to fill out most of the paperwork. You seem like a nice guy. You do too, you know? You're, you're just Are you on Facebook? I am. Okay, find me. I'm Dr. O. <laughs> you're Dr. O? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look you yes. up. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, do that later. i got to go now. <laughs> <laughs> and he will leave. He looks that up, and he feels like he got ghosted because he can't <laughs> find the Dr. O. He's just like, oh man. This is going to bother Batu for a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna give Batu a, an extra hero point. You all Sweet. have one hero point, but that was exceptionally yeah. well done and within character, so Nicely you done. got a hero point. Woo! <laughs> all right, I meet up with Batu at the back. Okay. How'd it go? So he told me things. Excellent. Let's yeah. hear him. And oh. there's a cop who's sad now. Oh. All right. Well, we'll. Uh, we'll answer that later. Uh, for now, <laughs> let the change back to Bob. We'll get out of here. Okay. All right, let's go. And we, we go, uh, I guess, meet up with, with uh, whatever you're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> There's a pet store, right? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> All right. I buy a leash. I say I want to test out the dogs. They don't, what? We don't do that here. I want to take them for a walk. You can't so. test, no, you can't <laughs> test out a, what? No pet store in the history of anything has ever let you <laughs> test out the dog. You can go into the room and hang out with them. You're not allowed to take them for a walk? No. You don't have to take them for walks? I need you to leave some money, though, in case you don't come back. Fine. <laughs> How much for the dollars. smaller one? Well, uh, 300. What can I get for $17? You can have a fish. <laughs> I'll take the fish. Okay, here you go. Taking the fish for a walk. And she puts it in a little bag. <laughs> Testing it out. Walking around the block, trying to be inconspicuous. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying hi to people. Yeah. As they walk their pets, uh -huh. hold up the fish. <laughs> okay, they're like... Morning. But I'm like circling Hoffman's house like every 10 minutes. Okay. The missus is probably in, in the house. Okay. I, there's no way I'm talking to Mrs. Hoffman. <laughs> Okay, so it's Mr. and Mrs. Hoffman. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're maybe kids, but they're probably older. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you on? The, are, <laughs> are you? Are you like going you. on the street <laughs> in front of them, or are you like on the other side? Oh, uh, it's just like circling. Just, just patterns. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Do you ever walk right past the house? Yeah, probably once. Okay. No, only one time. Do you? And you're chatting to people as you're, as you're walking on the street. I mean, if they have a pet, sure. If not, no, they don't right. understand it. Well, the postman's there. Okay. Are you saying hi to them? Does he have a pet? Well, I mean, he has mail. Then no. Well, he says hi to you. Well, then I say hi. Hi. How are you doing today? What's that? You got a fish? Oh, I love fish. You love fish? Yeah, I love fish. I got a whole aquarium at home. It's great. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, what is it? Freshwater? I mean, freshwater's not bad. But, like, saltwater, that's where it's at. You think yeah. about a saltwater tank? I'm not thinking about a saltwater tank. Oh, 
You don't know the beauty of fish until you try a saltwater tank. They're expensive, right? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you got to be committed if you get a nice one. You want to get, like, the Cadillac of them. I mean, you can start small. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. I forgot to take them for a walk, see how it goes. What? <laughs> I forgot to take it for a walk, see how it goes. You're going to take it for a walk? It's a fish. Yeah. How's it going? The bag. It, like, jostles around <laughs> in the bag a little bit. So what do you think? That's not bad. All right. I mean, look, here's the thing, man. You need any tips about aquariums, though? You just you just find me. I'll, I'll hook you up. As you're, as you're chatting, Mrs. Hoffman comes out of the house to get the mail. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to break up this conversation with she's this guy. Like, she's like, oh. I don't think it's working. She's like, morning, George. How you doing, Karen? How's your husband? She's like, he's not well. He's over in the, in the psych ward. I'm Slowly sorry, do you have a fish? On. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice day. <laughs> I mean, I guess. You know who loves fish? My husband. And George. <laughs> and George, yeah. No, they used to talk about fish all the time. About aquariums, how calming they are. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Randy was into it. He could help you out. I mean, if he wasn't in the psych ward right now. I'm sorry. Um, do you think maybe if I stopped by with the fish, it might calm him down? I don't think anything's going to calm him down right now. Would it be okay if my fish met your fish? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'm trying to get them to be social. Like, you know, I can't really have a whole lot of pets in the apartment, but, like, I want something that's a little interactive. And, like, so far, Goldie here is not doing a ton. I'm wondering if, like, maybe it's lonely. Maybe it would be better with other fish. But, like, you know, I don't want to suddenly introduce new fish, like, bam, right in the water right away. I'm figuring, you know, a little distance. See if there's recognition there. See if she's, you know... Test the water. All right. Active. George the mailman's like, hey, he's got a point, though. You can't just throw two fish into a tank together. It's sometimes they got to have a little introductory period. She's like, I mean, if you want to come in and see the tank, I guess. All right. So she goes. Get up there. I'm slowly so. cursing under my feet. <laughs> doing this. She <laughs> goes inside and she brings you into the study where he has a big saltwater looking tank. Batu and I catch up just as you go in. <laughs> You're like, George is like, <laughs> hello, George. <laughs> hey, Bob. How's it going? That's good. It's good. Fish are doing good. That that's great. You got you guys gonna get some fish? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he goes. All right. What's Rory so, doing? So um, I don't know. I guess as I'm looking around the house and mm -hmm. looking at the fish, I'm just trying to spot anything <laughs> out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, investigation. Okay. Uh, that's not great. Um, what did you get? 14. Okay. Um, you're in his study. You see on his desk a whole bunch of papers and stuff like that, obviously from, you know, just from work in general. Um, and then there's also, like, a cup of coffee that, like, it's done that thing where it's, like, it, it's evaporated so much that there's just a little bit of it left, but it's clearly been there for days. So I'm, you know, holding the fish up to the tank and uh -huh. pretending to care. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, how long have you guys had the had the tank? Oh, um, he got it a couple of years ago, I guess. He used to have just a little bowl, and you know, he and George got talking, and all of a sudden we have this tank now. He's got one in the office too. Have they uh, have they been fed recently? Because um, I assume I assume Randy takes care of him. Yeah, no, he does. Actually, come to think of it, I guess they have it. Not in a while. When was the last time he was here? <laughs> oh. Um, well, that's kind of personal. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, you know, Who's it's summertime. Who's been talking? Uh, Blair. <laughs> no, it's just, it's summertime. You get a lot of cases of sun. Is it my neighbor? Me. Did she tell you that he hasn't been home in several days? I mean, look, you can't stop her from talking. No, <laughs> I can't. Nobody can. It's none of her business. Yeah. I don't think he's having an affair. And I'm sorry. It's not. And I, and I didn't mean to bring it up. It's, it's entirely, I, I apologize. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> is there anything? Make her leave and get the food. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> I'm not. I'm wondering what the hell's taking so long outside. We, we, you want to go back to the apartment? Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Is there anything you know particular about the fish? Like, do they need special food? Yeah, he's got something in the fridge that he gives them every once in a while. I don't know what the schedule is, honestly. I don't really care for them. To be fun, to be honest, like Goldie's grown on me, but like you know. It's, 
Not much. You can't do anything with them. What's the point? You just look at them. Yeah. Can't even really take them for walks. It's I, not like they're interactive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, apparently you're trying to. I'm trying. <laughs> it's not going that great. <laughs> <sighs> do you know how to feed them? Like, I, if I get the food for you, can you... Oh, yeah. No, that'd be fine. Um... I, I, I really hate to ask, would you be able to change out her water real quick while you're in the kitchen? Because, like, oh. fresh water and, like... I really don't I want think, to. Hang on, I open it up. I smell <laughs> I, really I assume to. it's fresh water and not salt water? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what George told you. It's a fresh water? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's, he knows pretty... He's, he knows he's, fish. He's pretty smart. I mean, like, I hate to impose, but, like, you know... I, just, I don't like I, touching I don't know the if fish. She's, okay. I mean, I could do it. Is there a bathroom nearby? Yeah, it's just around... Over the, all yeah. right, you get the food. I'll okay. swap out her water. All right, so she goes into the kitchen. Oh, I'm going right to that cup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Checking the papers, looking at the desk. Uh huh. Investigating. <laughs> that was a one. <laughs> That's not in the thing. There we go. Six, Sixteen. I, I accidentally spilled the fish all over the desk. <laughs> <laughs> goes right in the cup. Yeah, you're basically you're basically investigating with one hand yeah. because you have to hold the fish. Yeah. It's got a knot in the top, right? Yeah. You, you opened it. How good did you tie it? I'm going to hold on to the fish. Hang on to the fish. Um, so the papers on the desk really are mostly just things about the office, uh, whether it be um, insurance claims. Just There's nothing negative there. Um, but you do definitely notice that the cup, like, it's been there for easily four or five days, give or take. Right. What's on the cup? What? Like, is there anything written on it? Is there anything, like... No. Like, is it in a mug or? Yeah, it's a mug. Okay. It doesn't say like you know, world's greatest doctor or something like that. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Okay. Um, it has a fish on it. Has a fish on it. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Just old coffee. Yeah. It has that like horrible old coffee smell. It's not. It's not pleasant, but mm. you don't sense anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, any of the drawers locked in the desk? Uh, most of the drawers are locked. All right. Uh, here you go. Is it like flakes? No. Is this like, is this like food food? Yeah. There's like stuff? Yeah, there's like, stuff. Is it gritty? Uh, or is it like chum? It's like, it's like a little bit, like, she gives you two things. One okay. is the gritty and one is the, the gross stuff. Okay. So I'm just like reading it, being like. I thought you knew what you were doing. No, no, I mean like, I know that you feed them. I just don't know like how much. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, just pour some in. I got to get going. I got to get to the hospital. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, here, hold Goldie. She holds the fish. She's like holding it like out here. Like, yeah. I, just, I don't like this. Just dumping some in. Okay. Dumping some The fish are in. ravenously attacking the, the food. Well, I, I thank her for her time and, uh, uh -huh. you know, take Goldie on the way. <laughs> you can take that. Thank you. Well, thanks for feeding the fish. You're welcome. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't spread what you heard from. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. She probably told everyone. I took the fish back. I don't want this. You paid for it. No, I didn't. No, you did. You gave me $17 for it. Yeah, to test out. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You can't. You can't test out a fish. You bought a fish. I'm returning this fish. You can't return the fish. <laughs> it's the same fish. She points to the sign that says "No returns." <laughs> <laughs> Especially that fish. <laughs> you said I could test out a dog. Yeah, if you had three hundred dollars and you didn't. Yeah. So you bought a fish. fish. No, I tested out. So a fish. You bought a fish. All right, I'll, fine. I'll give you store credit. Okay. Cool. All right. See. So all right, and you get your seventeen dollars store credit to the pet store. <laughs> Yeah. You'll never return to again. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seventeen dollars in store credit. Yeah, great. You can get a fish with it. What we're we gonna do with the fish? So I go back. Okay. I explain to them what happened. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad I did not go in that house. Yes, <laughs> I am also glad I did not go in that house. I'm glad I did not go in the hospital. Way to go, Batman. <laughs> you really sleuthed it up. Well, guys, crazy Can I chalk fish. this up for do anything other than a total disaster? <laughs> <laughs> we know he's crazy about fish. Okay. They calm him. Uh, you're, you're suggesting we... You gave away the fish, by the way. We can't use it to calm him down. What? Bajo, tell him what you found out. So there's, like, this gun, and there's a, a man who there's has... a gun? Uh, a man has a gun, and he sh shot Dr... Kaufman. Hoffman. 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 <laughs> Hoffman. And uh, sounds like the the gun obviously was not like a bullet gun. It was like a kind of like it agitated him. It must have had some kind of like serum in it or something. Yeah, and he wasn't drunk or anything. No, yeah, they said they didn't find any uh, alcohol in the system. So okay, looks like he was drugged by something. That's and, interesting. And the cop is sad. 
Yeah, the, the, that's a long story. Let's not get into it. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> well, let me tell you this. George knows a lot about fish. Who the fuck is George? Postman. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> he brings okay. our mail every day. Right. Oh. George. Yeah, George. Right. George knows a lot about fish. He and Randy Hoffman. Yes. Apparently talk a lot about fish. Okay. Fish calms them. They know a lot about, like, saltwater uh, tanks, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. There's salt the in lot. their tanks? Yeah. There's salt in their tanks. Don't oh. like the ocean. Yeah, I stay away from that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's a good. By the way, you live here. Go. That's all I'm saying. I don't go near the water. Apparently, something's going on with Dr. Hoffman, mm -hmm. and like maybe an affair. The neighbor's talking a lot. Oh, the neighbor, huh? I wonder if maybe we should get a loquacious type to speak to the neighbor. I see. I see. Okay. So we want to get Batu to talk to the neighbor. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I am loquacious. You are. No, I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> For that whole interaction, everybody gets another hero point because... I didn't do anything. No, I you did. You acted it. in character, in my opinion. So that, that's all you have to do. Okay. We know the pet store is a freaking sham. Yeah, we're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we know Mrs. Harlow's gnome exploded. Yes. That's From right. Dynamite. Dynamite blow up Harlow's house. We know there's a female that left the back entrance of her home. We know Which could be Mrs. Harlow, we're not positive. Exactly, so let's just put a pin in that. Mm. We assume a pocket watch was stolen. Uh-huh, and it had some kind of jewel on it. We know that Hoffman has been stealing wallets. Yep. Getting a lot of cash. Yeah, and that he was drugged, presumably, by some kind of dart gun. Some kind of dun gun. Yeah, a gun, <laughs> yeah. I mean, could be an emotional gun. Not right. Not something like that exists. I... There are many kinds of guns. <laughs> We don't have any clear connections at the moment. No, no, nothing seems to be drawing a, a straight line. No, but anything. the police probably think we're involved. Oh, definitely. Well, no, not anymore, thanks to your efforts. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, you go talk to the neighbor. All right. <clears throat> I say, we go talk to George. Mm. The mailman? The mailman. I'm going. <laughs> what's, our, what's our rendezvous point? Park? Yeah, all right. We'll go back to the park. Okay. Friendship Park. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really going to work <laughs> out with Batu. Anyway, uh, I'll head out. <clears throat> I'm heading over to the neighbor's house. Okay. I walk no fish. I just go there. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> keep an eye on the house when you go. See if anyone weird comes back. Right, right. Oh, how many cars are in the driveway? There's just one. It was Mrs. Hoffman's. Okay. Does she have any kids? Nope. Great. All right. All right, I head over there. Uh, I hoof it over there. I'm, and I, I wind up there. Mm -hmm. I walk by her house slowly and mm -hmm. just have a quick look over my shoulder to see if there's anything going on. Do I notice anybody's home? No, it looks, it looks totally normal. All right. I uh, go over to her neighbor's house, mm -hmm. the one that uh, uh, Rory pointed out. Mm -hmm. It was the, belonged to the loudmouth neighbor. Oh, I have no idea which one, if it's left or right. Well, I assume she indicated. But all right, I'll, I'll, check, she didn't. I'll check the one immediately to its right. OK. <clears throat> and then knock on the door. Roll okay. a D2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> Oh, 13. I don't know what I was rolling against, though. You weren't rolling against anything. You were just <laughs> knocking out the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A D2. <laughs> okay. An, an older woman comes to the door. Uh -huh. Hello? Hi. I'm Tom. Oh, Tom. How are you? I'm good. You never good. come into my store. Of course. I should, though. You should. Yes. I have so many antiques to sell. Yes, that's right. And I remember going to your store when we first moved in. Yes. And I was very impressed by your selection. And uh, then you never came back. <coughs> no, I've been very busy. Neither did that young man, Rory. No. And who is that big guy you're hanging out with? Oh, that's Bob. That's Bob. I've heard a lot about Bob. Oh, have you? I have. What have you heard about Bob? Well, he just seems so friendly. He is friendly. He friended me on Facebook. Are you friends with him on Facebook? He's so great. <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about what happened <clears throat> next door? Yes. I wanted to know more about it. I <gasps> thought you might be able to want to tell me. Well, I mean, I can't say for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I promise to come by a little more. <gasps> that would be lovely. It really would. Do you, do you, do you remember what her name is? Or? No. You, okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well, Tom, you see, a few nights ago, and by a few, I mean like five nights ago, Mr. Hoffman left in uh, quite a half. He didn't see him himself. And then, uh, you know, he didn't come back. Mm. No, no, I heard he's an excited. And then, oh. oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously you know everything. You know, oh, you know I don't know that. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, what, what led him there. Was it an argument, do you think? I don't know. Did you hear anything funny coming from the house? Well, I mean, he was actually, he was yelling as he was leaving, but like, that's not like him. He's such a kind man. Gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've noticed that. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what sort of things were he yelling before it, when he was leaving the house? Uh, he was yelling something about it. everyone had to get out of his way and that he 
and that he had to ha he had to return, but first he had to get some things. From his office, you think? Or? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. He just took off down the street. Just took off down the street. Well, this was how many nights ago? Five? Like five nights ago. Yeah. That was like, hmm. that's like, but that wasn't yesterday. Yesterday he bumped into me. Hmm. That was really <gasps> you bumped into him? I did bump into him, actually. I was walking uh, away from the, remember the commotion over at uh, Mrs. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> over Harlow? at Mrs. Harlow's house? Harlow's house, yeah. The, what a gaudy place. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We uh, we actually contributed a couple of those gnomes uh, to, their, to our lawn. You gave her some of those gnomes? Between the gnomes and the picket fence that was just, you know, always had too many tchotchkes and signs on it, and the birdhouses and those big, ridiculous, shiny metal balls that she always had out there? Yeah, I think it's <laughs> Just tchotchkes. a garbage pile. Wow. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I can't. I mean, everyone it. says it, not just me. <laughs> no, probably not, I'm sure. Uh, she never did any of those things at my place, anyway. No, no, you have a really lovely home. Of course. It's furnished by the, some of the, like, some really incredible it's things. I, I furnished it myself with I things would... that I acquired at my antique store. Would you have to come in? Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. She invites you in. Okay. I take a quick casual look on like the uh, in the area to see if I can find her mail. Okay. I'm trying to see her name. Okay. It, her mail is sitting on like a little like <coughs> in a little silver tray. I pretend to admire a piece on her wall and I glance down to see her name. Okay, it's uh, Beatrice Moore. Beatrice Moore. Beatrice, you have a lovely home. Well, oh, thank you, thank you. John thinks so too. Yes, I'm sure, Mr. Moore. Yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes. Of course. Right. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen any strange cars pulling into the driveway lately? No. No. Okay. No, he's too smart for that. Oh. Oh, you think he's really he's more covert? Obviously. Do you know any of his other haunts? Maybe he goes to other, like maybe he meets her in another hotel. I mean, his, his 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 office. Yeah, his office. Any other places you think? No. All right. Just just curious. Just putting it all together. Often, like the other room, you hear like a TV on with like some sort of like soap opera. Sure. On. She looks anxious to get back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm probably taking you away from your... Uh... My stories. Yes, your stories. <laughs> did, did, uh, did Mr. Moore hear anything, you think? Or was it just... Uh... Oh, he never hears anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, Beach, it's always great to see you. I want to thank you so much for having me in your home. And I will... Uh, well, I hope to see you soon, Tom. I will absolutely see you in your store probably in the next week or two. I hope so. Yeah. I, I'm I better. Me. You with? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. If she doesn't send you off with a taffy, I'm going to be amazed. Right. <laughs> taffy. Don't forget my a roll of taffy. <laughs> no, in your pocket, there's a butterscotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so George is delivering mail still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll walk back. Okay. And uh, I offer him the $17 credit at the pet store. He's like, I can have this? Yeah, man. Uh, turns out me and Goldie, it wasn't really a connection there. Oh, and you can't return him. Uh, yeah, I found that out. <laughs> All I can get was store well, credit. Well, there's a sign. Okay, George. <laughs> I was just wondering if you knew more information about what was going on with, like, the tank. Because, like, when I was in there, things were not looking great. Felt oh, my God. Is he not up. taking care of it? Doesn't look like they were probably fed in days, man. Oh, my God. I'll take care of it. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Um, was, was anything, like, wrong with them recently? No. Nothing? No. No, Any he's, reason he's why good. he would neglect them for, like, you know, days, man? I only, if he wasn't, like him. only if he wasn't there, I guess. If he wasn't there. Hmm. All right. Hey, Bob, I saw that new post on Facebook. Yeah, which one? The one you made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was you giving a thumbs up. Yeah, I like a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just a nice picture of you. I just, you know. Oh, can I see? Y your own post? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he knows you don't know much about fish. You yeah. know, I honestly so seem really interested. To talk about so he's just like, oh, yeah. I'm going to go. All right. I got anyway, a lot of mail uh, to deliver. Enjoy that. Enjoy that credit. That, I will. I go to. The, I'm at the park. You're at the park. Yeah. The cops are there. What? The cops are at the park. Why? Because something has happened at Why the park. Why are the police there? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, I go over to the police. Okay. <clears throat> are you guys there too? Oh yeah, yeah. we're on there. Here we are. All right, you're on there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. In like, fact, hey. we probably got there first. Yeah. <laughs> with our it was right over there. Yeah. Yeah. The cops are there. It's the it's the deputy and the chief of police are there. Great. And uh, they have the area kind of cordoned off mm. because the playground is in shambles. Oh. I guess I go over to my buddy, the chief of police. Oh. Hey, Tom. Hey, man. What's going on? I don't know, man. I don't know. We've I, I, in all my years of being chief of police here, I've never seen anything quite like this. What what the hell happened? I don't know. It looks like a tornado hit here. 
literally what you see before you is that all of the playground equipment is either like crushed and destroyed or thrown about anywhere where it shouldn't be. Hmm. Don't look at me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's bizarre. Who, who, do you know who saw what happened? It, ha- it must have happened late last night. Hmm. There was uh, one person heading home. <clears throat> oh, she well, didn't see much. Well, well, what did, who was it? You know little Heather Dugan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, she's, uh, she was on her way home, and uh, she saw and heard a huge clattering. She saw one of the pieces fly up in the air. Hmm. She saw a, a large shadowed figure, and then they were gone. Hmm. She obviously wasn't going to go in there. That's weird. Why would somebody destroy a playground? You, you got me. Hmm. You got me. I, I don't know. Is there anything of note in the area? Like maybe there's a bank nearby or something? I don't know what's going on here. Bizarre. Hmm. Well, good luck. <laughs> Cop- a crazy couple of days. Yeah. yeah. I know. You're telling me. Yeah, what a weird week. Right? As you guys are chatting in town, well, off in the distance, you hear another explosion. Whoa. And he's like, Oh shit! Let's make it. Let's let's move a little. Let's hoof it. Uh, we run. Maybe you want to like find a secret place to hoof it. <laughs> yeah, we have a car. We've been running around this whole damn path. <laughs> yeah, we run around. We can have a good parking spot. What? We have a car. You talking about that? We big, have a the, car? No. Do we? <laughs> it's not my inventory. I don't know. Car. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> All I have is a cell phone. <laughs> the chief of police and the deputy jump into their vehicles and they drive off, leaving this scene behind because they're on. They're, they don't have a whole lot of yeah. manpower right now. Yeah, we're not going to beat them there. We might as well. The fire department is on its way. Great. Uh, who's got the most investigation? You. You. I have none. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's check out this playground. Let's see what the hell's going on. All we got, we right. need some. We need some puzzle pieces for this freaking mystery. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Footprints on the ground. I'm looking for the same one that I found behind uh, Mrs. Halloway's. It's only a uh, 13. Okay, you don't need that much investigation to see the giant footprints that are in the middle of this place. Huh. Giant? Oversized footprints. Like shoes or feet? Shoes. Okay. How big? <clears throat> big huh. shoes. Big. Yeah. Shoes to fill. All right. Yeah. Boots? But, yeah. Is there like a heel? No. Hmm. Just sort of like a like massive a footprint. Thump. Huh. Maybe something landed here? Someone landed here? I mean, that would be if like there were there was one set. There's footprints all over the place. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. It's like a it's like a tantrum. Yeah. Like a big baby. <laughs> like a big <laughs> like a beshuid baby <laughs> stamped this whole playground flat. Weird. All right, let's take a look, see see some more stuff. Do I have investigation? Where do they go? Yeah, where do they lead? Check it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, you tell me. <gasps> crit. Okay. Well, I mean, you can't crit an investigation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Solve the case. I know everything. <laughs> 28, though. Um, you see them head off into, like, a wooded area towards the water. All right. Let's check it out. I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> I will go last. Yeah, idea. hang back a little bit. I will hang back. I just head into the woods. Okay. You following the footprints? Yep. Okay. Uh, you follow the footprints, and um, they end up leading you to the edge of the water where you lose them. Okay. Uh, I, they're, going, they're going straight. Mm-hmm. I use my kind of mystic pretty, blast like, on the water to see if it reveals anything under the water. Okay. And 16 for eight damage. <laughs> Damaging the water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're Damn using it, surf. your mystic blast to push something <laughs> out of the way? Yeah, just to push the water out of the way to clear, mm-hmm. see if they, they walked along the surface of the water or if like. Yeah, he's trying to be Moses and part of the sea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. I guess you push it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and you reveal that there are there is definitely like at least one set of two footprints that are a little deeper than the others. Hmm. While you guys are, are doing this and working on that, a nearby like fisherman kind of guy comes up to Bob. Oh, hello! And says like, "Give me your wallet." I I do not have a wallet. Give me your wallet. Give me your money. Give me your money. Wait, we don't need to fight. Give me your money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do we hear this? I, I assume not. How far away are you? Do I hear this? Are He's you pretty w- far away from the water, but it's like, I wouldn't. I would hear him if he yelled, but I I don't. 
I probably the don't guy? Care. Yeah. Yeah, no, the I guy. Don't. Well, yeah, the guy's raising his voice. Okay. That's it. Okay, I, 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 I gently shove him. Okay, your gentle shove definitely like makes him stagger backwards, and like he. He's into. He's in for a fight. He he's gonna he's gonna okay. fight you. He's looking. He's looking for you to give him something. I cannot give you anything, <laughs> and I do not want to hurt you. He is gonna take a swing at you. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> With my impervious toughness, ten. Okay. Yeah. I just kind of. He just dunk. Okay. <laughs> I grab him. Okay. <laughs> Resist with strength or dodge. Yep. There you go. Whichever All right, is higher. 13 plus my 12 strength. It's 25. It's yep. 25. He got a 20, so I mean, not bad, but like he still grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Put him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, odds him in the water, evens I heard it. Yeah. No and I still have a free arm because I have yeah. improved. Yeah. Got it. So he's, he's, he's flailing around. Right, I head over. Please and... stop flailing. <laughs> Give me your money. This. <laughs> He doesn't know what he's beat. What the hell's going on over here? Give it to me. <laughs> hmm. It's pretty addled. Reminds me, look familiar? Kind of. Remind Batu. <laughs> he seems like he's acting like Dr. Hoffman. Oh, that's yeah. true. Like he's affected by the same people. Maybe uh -huh. he was shot by that gun. Yes, maybe. Were you shot by a gun, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me intimidate you. <laughs> I made, you know what? I'm going to. 13. I told him very nicely not Plus to hit two. me. 15. I don't know. And he's not listening to you. I, know. I don't know if he'll listen to you. Maybe he will. I doubt it. You seem pretty intimidating all by yourself. But Thank you. 15. Yeah, no, he's, he's, the reason that the other guy was able to talk to you was because he was, had calmed down. He had been down. called, yeah. yeah. No, this guy is just, he's Ugh. just trying to break away. He's, he's just thrashing. thrashing. Okay. Okay, this guy's going to be a danger to himself and others. I think since the cops are distracted, we should probably do something with this guy. He's not going to help us out. Well, you science, and you're under the water, unfortunately. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we could we could like test his blood, see if like what see what kind of compound is in there. You know, like, like what's being mm, used on him. Well, he's like, like doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 just a second. Have a conversation here. While he's uh, having a tantrum. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, this is while you're thinking about Ooh. that. What are you doing underwater? Uh, I'm trying to follow the footprints. Okay. <laughs> so you see, like, those two set, like, that set of two, and then you don't see anything for a while. At all. You don't see anymore. Okay. You don't. Coming back. <laughs> the water's dead. He comes out. We should probably knock him out. I would prefer you knock him out. I don't want to hurt him. That's fair. All right. Cool. I'm just going to punch him in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to watch this, Batu. I'll close my eyes. Yeah. Six. <laughs> Six. I want. I want to. I want to see this happen. I'm walking up right when he's about to sock. I have three toughness though, so it's That's, plus two. No, it's, it's oh, your. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, by fighting three. Okay. So yeah, that's not nothing. Nine. So, nine. nine. Yeah. There you go. Nine. Okay. That sucks. I'm gonna go with he's vulnerable or impaired. Oh, you hit him. Woohoo! All right. Well, he's dazed, probably. <laughs> okay. You might have to hit him again to knock him out. <laughs> Just bonk him a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. All you right. knock him out. <laughs> All right, he's out. We won't deal with the moral quandaries of possibly killing this, goo this yeah. dude. So you All knock right. him out. Look at him. Does he have any marks on him? Well, good idea. Let's check Other him than, out. Other than, you know, being punched in the face. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, we investigate his body. Okay, he doesn't have any marks on him. Okay, let's do a magical sense on him. Mystic sense. Four. <laughs> Eight. You're probably, you're, sure, you're, you're pretty sure there probably is no magic. I'm pretty there. sure there's no magic. <laughs> you can't be certain, though. But I can't be certain. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like it. What do you do exactly? I'm not good at it, I told you. <laughs> I live forever. All right. And I learn nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I refuse to learn anything. I don't want to. But I want to, I'll be fine. <laughs> then I can die. Pigeons. <laughs> Pigeons. Oh, I'll turn hey. into dust and blow away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I did something. I found magic. <laughs> oh. Let's call, uh, I'm going to call the cops. Uh, you should, have a cell phone. Should we search his body? Yes. Let's do it. 
Okay. You search him. You search his body? Yep. All right. Um, you see, uh, you found a wallet. Of mm -hmm. course, it has his information in there. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Ronald Hammond. He works down at the docks. He has um, various, like, you know, receipts and other such things in there. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of sandwich so shops and a lot of D'Amico's pizza. Oh. <laughs> I like D'Amico's. Okay. Today free slice day? <gasps> no, I think that's Thursday. What day is today? Feels like Tuesday. It feels like Tuesday. <laughs> the free slice day was this weekend. Oh. According to Chipper. Oh, right, yeah. Either way, no. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, let's call the cops on this guy. Of course we can't. I mean, uh, let's see what happened downtown. Explosion. Yeah, well, we got this guy now. Drop him off there. Just bring him with us? All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so you load this guy up. I guess you're carrying <laughs> yeah, him through the streets. Him. Nobody's really paying attention to you guys, honestly, yeah. because like one of the businesses downtown is like the front of its store is now ablaze. Oh, all right. So we make our way to the to the building. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume the cops are there. Uh, discreetly, just put him like on the ground. Put him on a bench. Yeah, yeah just put him on a bench. Just lean him against one of the cop cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. You Excellent. you leave him there. All right. You leave him there. Good work. Um, you recognize the store as the uh, Salty Spoon, the antique shop. Oh no, it's Beatrice's antique shop. Yeah. <gasps> Beatrice? <laughs> that's the neighbor lady, remember? Oh yeah, the neighbor lady. Yeah. Oh, that's her shop? Yeah. Oh. Are the spoons really salty? No, I think you're, I think it's a metaphor. <laughs> Bacha does not understand metaphor. I know, that's all right. I'll explain it to you later. Um, you hear from behind a woman going, oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> Beatrice, I came as soon as I heard. Tom, Tom, oh, my no. store. At least you came to it one more time. <laughs> I probably, you, you fulfilled I, your promise. I would let you down. <laughs> um, we just we just gotten in a whole new shipment of of crystal chandelier pieces. Oh. I had I had out in the front. Oh, they're gone now. Yeah, they're not there now. They glinted in the sun. It was so beautiful. They oh. were so shiny and lovely. Are any of those scattered about? Wait, did you say crystal? Yeah, like chandelier pieces. I shine them up so beautifully. Like the crystal thing in the pocket watch? Possibly, but like... How big were they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were chandelier pieces. They so ranged they like, all different t sizes. Yeah, small pieces, big pieces, yeah, but uh, like, I, I assume like there's glass around, around, but like, are, is there shards of crystal around? Are you too? asking Beatrice or you're asking me? I'm asking you. <laughs> oh, I think you need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 26? Um, yeah, you definitely see at least one of them, like, shot underneath, like, where one of the cop cars are, are parked. Okay. It's one of the car. Check it out. Uh, don't you care about my livelihood? Batu well, will check it out. <laughs> Thank you. And go over to the cop car. I'm ruined. I mean, I did have insurance on the place, though, so, you know. Well, that's not bad. I guess that might pay out. Are the cops here? Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. what, what about the fire department? They're here too. They're trying to put it out. We are like 10 steps behind these people. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where they're going to attack. No. We are bad. Well, hang on. Okay. Let's. You know Maybe what? there is a pattern. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, what was the last building? It was an old lady's house. It's old people. It's old women's homes or businesses. So they're trying to find, like, old people stuff. What is this guy's problem? It's a problem? rival antique shop. Right? No. It, it's got to be like they're looking for something old. Well, they also wrecked a playground. How does that fit in? I don't know. Well, you see a lot of like glass everywhere as though it, the windows blew out. Glass? Mm-hmm. From the windows. Okay. You got the uh, crystal? My arms are too big. I can't return to the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll get it. I go over to the cop Just car. <laughs> yeah. I could lift the car, but I don't want anyone to know how strong <laughs> I am. That's a good idea. It's a smart move. I don't know what I rolled for. I just felt like <laughs> just the roll. That's okay, Batu. <laughs> you rolled a stained character. You yeah. succeeded. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'll grab the little crystal. Okay. Tuck it into a pocket. All right. Cool. Um, I check out the glass. I don't really see much. Okay, Chief Chief Murray is like, can you believe this? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. My, the, my town is falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, what am I gonna do? I two explosions know, in two days. Two explosions. But uh, an old lady's house and a and a, and a a playground. An old lady's house. I, I don't see the connection. I don't either. 
Well, naturally, you wouldn't. You're not a detective. I'm a cop. I'm That's, supposed to know. You should know. I, you know, <laughs> Thanks, I'm giving Tom. myself no, a No, thank you. Pass. No, you really helped me out here. Well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I really make me feel good here. I'm sorry, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. We're going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we leave. Let's go back to the apartment, take inventory of what we have. Let's analyze the crystal. Yeah. Okay. Investigate. <clears throat> Uh, 20. Okay, um, you uh, analyze it. The crystal um, is probably from the like 50s, so it's not super duper antique but it worked well enough for her. Um, residue on it? Um, the You find that it also has dynamite. Freaking dynamite again. Damn it. Okay, so now we know, all right, dynamite, right? Not supernatural. No, but not also even really science fiction or whatever you got. Alien, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were, I was, there was a long time between aliens when I was around. An old woman's house. <laughs> yeah. An antique store. Yep. And a playground. Yeah. The playground didn't Let's have skip a playground. Skip the playground. Right. Right. No, that's true. But like these are all old places. Yes. That have old things inside old them. Old things inside them, and yep. they're blown up with an old device. Well, dynamite isn't really old, but like dynamite's not exactly a new. No, it's true. So it's like either Wile E. Coyote is breaking into these places, or <laughs> <laughs> I want to those properties, so it's okay to say. Uh huh. Why are they blowing up? Like you see, an old lady's house. It doesn't take much to break into it. You know, we did twice. I don't understand why it's so hard. Like, why would they use dynamite? It's like okay. Let's see if we can send some kind of pattern. Let's let's look at the map of the town. Okay. Thankfully, I have one. Sure. Is it one of those maps where it's like the fun one? Yeah. Where it's like yeah. really colorful and it's got all the big exactly. shops like on the it. McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. It's it like out. a CISA, uh, Six Flags map. Exactly. Yeah. Roll it out. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's pinpoint where all these places, all these attacks took place, right? Okay. We've got the playground, we've got the old lady's house, and we have now the antique store. It forms a triangle! Well, any three points on a map would probably form a triangle unless they were in a straight line. Rory makes a good point. <laughs> But maybe you're on to something. Let's trace this triangle and see if we got anything else in here. Uh, three points. Do we uh, use your investigation on this uh, on this map and see if we put if we find any patterns? Well, I mean, the <coughs> what's, in, what's within first? this radius? Uh, are they all close to each other? You know, well, where's Doctor Hoffman's house on this? Right. Good question. I got a seven. Yes, I got a seven. Seventeen. Eight. Were you guys working together? Yeah. Team bonus. <laughs> I think he negates some of your bonus. <laughs> the no. No, you already said yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. You know, most of the, uh, the most of the activity is happening near the downtown area. Right. I, I mean, the town is consider. small, so it's like yeah, everything's kind of near there. But like, I'd say it was mostly in that region. Mm -hmm. All right. Break-ins with dynamite. Randos being controlled to steal money. Right. What? <laughs> I mean, and Mr. and Mrs. Hoffman have been having arguments. Yes, but only because Hoffman was acting weird. I think their arguments were stemming from Hoffman being controlled. Yeah, but she said she was gonna cut off accounts, you said. Yes, but that's because Hoffman was like already money hungry, right? Like that guy, but. M money hungry? Like, yeah, well, desperate for money. Like, he's like, not gonna be robbing his wife. Well, he was tapping into their accounts. I remember the other guy that Batu knocked out. Sorry. He, uh, okay. he was also desperate for cash. Yeah, but Dr. Hoffman had other people's credit cards on him, along with $5,000 in cash. Uh-huh. And I'm sure that other guy would have gotten the same amount. I wish we'd gotten that guy's name. Or, like, he would have robbed somebody. <gasps> right. We did. Good call. Yeah. It's Ron Hammond. Yep. I sense a pattern. Do you? Yeah. What do you got? They both are R-H. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Batu, that's really good. Batu did good. You did great, Batu. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's keep going there. Pull up your Facebook friends list and see other names that have R-H in them. That's a great idea. Okay, who do I find? <laughs> <laughs> who do you find indeed? I'm not rolling. Why for that. would you roll for that? <laughs> I'm sure you find several other RH uh, friends. Some of them are in the area, and some of them are friends that you've made elsewhere. In your travels. In in your many many travels. All right, let's let's write down who uh, is in this area that we know have have RH in them. 
since we have nothing else to go on, I say we go with the name thing. Okay, um, Harlow, what was that boy's name? Will. Will. Yeah, Will Harlow. Is that short for Rillium? No. no. Oh. I'm going to the antique store. Yeah, maybe we should go to the antique store. All right. I feel like... The cops are still there. Mm. Okay. They're still, like, investigating. Okay. There's an active investigation going on. Right. right. That makes sense. Are you there? Yeah. You see the cops questioning a woman. Oh. Uh, do we know who she is? Um, she is a local. Loretta Gomez. All I'm saying is... Loretta starts with an L, and all the other people are starting with an R. So it's like left and right, two sides of a coin. <laughs> she seems like pretty um, annoyed that I. She's clearly been there for a while, I guess, right. being questioned and chatted with. Okay. <clears throat> um, they wrap up. Yeah, it's kind of like. And, they, and the cops start like kind of breaking down things. They're putting caution tape up, that yeah. kind of stuff. <clears throat> the fire is out. <clears throat> okay. Do I have any insights about her? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Having rolled a one. Uh, I approach Loretta after the cops leave. Uh -huh. I'm as gone as... You're gravy drunk. <laughs> oh, hey, you're... Uh, Tom. 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 Yeah, yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the only person who, who apparently heard anything. I'm the only person that can get any answers from right now. I've had it up to here with questions. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, police can really, really be intrusive. I right? know, I right? know. They, they came to our house actually the other day, and they were bugging us about all kinds of stuff. They said that we were the only ones who saw something. And that's just that. I guess that's their mo. They, right. they, they get one thing, and then that's it. <laughs> exactly. They, just, they, they don't, they don't follow anything else. Stuck up in their craw. Ah, I know. It's crazy, it down. right? Yeah. Oh hey. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> crazy, right? It's like, oh hey. Uh, uh, um. We were going to go over to the Typhoon uh, if you want to drink after all of this. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all wrapped up here. I mean, you know, right. obviously I'm not going to be going out on my boat in the morning, so, you know. Mm. We go to the Typhoon. <laughs> we sit down with her. Okay. Order a drink. Yep. Make all kinds of random conversations. Sure. Uh, and then I segue into, uh, a, 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 I organically segue into a natural discussion <laughs> where we talk about the craziness that has been going on. Intimidator. Yeah. <laughs> With birds. You know, ma'am. <laughs> Why don't you tell me? Why you know, you should tell me right away. No. Uh, so, yeah, the cops came yes, to our the place. the cops came to our place. They, they started badgering us about, you know, everything that had gone on with Mrs. Harlow's. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, yeah. And I heard about that. Yeah. That's Not nice. about you being talked to, but. No, no. Well, it was very covert. But so, oh, yeah, uh, very covert when they just knock on your door at oh, 9 a.m. and wake nuts. you up. Nuts. What did they bug you about? Oh, just what I heard tonight. Yeah, I assume it's the same old stuff that they told us, like uh, what was it, thunder and fire and stuff like that. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was so different. I, so. Well, I mean, obviously I heard the explosion. It was, pff, my ears are still ringing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody heard that. Right, right. Oh, but you heard something different? Yeah. What'd you hear? I heard, like, someone laughing. Wow, that's, that's new. That I did not hear. Well, naturally you wouldn't hear that. I just told them that. I'm just saying we ne we didn't hear anything about that in any other or circumstance. That's like the first time we've heard of anything about laughter. Are you investigating this? No, no. I'm just genuinely curious. I oh. care about this town. No, it's just bizarre. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's weird. Was yeah. it? A, uh, do, do you have a notice if it was a woman's laugh or a male laugh? No, it was a woman's laugh. Oh. That's hmm. bizarre. Why would anyone find that funny? I, it was before the explosion. Oof. That's even more weird. Wait, was it close? <clears throat> Or was it like someone like laughing like around the corner? Or like, like I guess it, it was close. I mean, I was across the street. And then you could hear from there. Yeah. Wow, that's nuts. It was like a full-on almost cackle. Wow, like a witch. I guess. I'm just likening it to things like <laughs> pop culture. I mean, what do you want? From Fair enough. Huh. Was there anyone there? I I didn't see it. It was dark. Bob, what do you uh, what do you what do you perceive from all of this? Well, from her conversation. <laughs> Uh, sure, that's like a 25. Okay. Um, she definitely did hear what she said she heard, and there might be something more. Keep her talking. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, don't worry about him. He's... That's my favorite song, Keep Her Talking. We were talking about, like, the weirdness of this town, like, all the stuff that was happening over the last couple of days, and, uh... And we heard about like thunder, explosions, fire, and a couple of places didn't even catch fire. Did you notice that? Like, I know the, pl the, the did you hear about the playground attack? Uh, the playground attack. Well, well, the the destruction. Destruction of the playground. No. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, the playground was wrecked, 
and uh, vandalism, really. Yeah. But like, you know, major vandalism. We're talking like wow, this place is going downhill really right. fast. That, uh, you know, and I would like to try and prevent it personally. I like the living here, despite the fact that I live in a two-bedroom apartment with three giant men. But okay, <laughs> <laughs> I am not a giant man. I'm a small man. And I'm only one man. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anything like that before. The laugh was weird, or like, was the voice weird? I guess both. Yeah, you said it was like a straight-on cackle. Yeah. Almost a cackle. Almost a cackle. Yeah, that's bizarre. And then the explosion happened. Was it like, <laughs> <laughs> No. No? No. Well, well, if you had to liken it, what would you say? It was, it was, it was much more, uh, I guess, like, uh, joyous. Like, oh, they were... like uproarious. Like, they, like, something told them something funny. Right, or like they were excited about something. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. That's more like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think you're getting closer. So there was the laugh. Mm -hmm. like, just, just so I could... Get it straight in my head. It's the laugh, then the explosion. Yeah. That is so weird. Anything else? I mean, else? there's definitely some more time in between the two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just like immediate. It was like laughter and then boom. No, not quite that. Oh, well, well like 10, 15 seconds? I don't know. Maybe like, maybe like a minute or so? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, anything else between that time? Like it was laugh, something else, and then boom? Or just, just I, laugh? You know, I almost wanted to tell the cops that I heard her say something, but I don't really know because I really couldn't make it out oh well if you had to guess what it sounded like what do you think it was i don't know can we get a long island iced tea over here i don't like that no i, I was ordering for myself oh, okay. what would you like <laughs> all the beer oh got it <laughs> oh i don't know i guess it, it sounded like something Strong. <laughs> 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 good great <laughs> Refreshing. I'm Superman now. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, he's great. Who doesn't love dreamy <laughs> giant men draped in the American flag? <laughs> so I'm sorry, you were saying? Oh, I it just I swear it sounded like something about like mine and, and something about shiny. Hmm. Shiny. You're paying for this drink. Um my <laughs> shiny. Huh. I, I don't know. Like, like I said, it wasn't enough for me to right. say, so I wasn't going to tell them that because that's crazy. No, I hear you. That makes sense. Yeah, don't. don't it, they probably wouldn't even know what to, how, how to follow up with that it, anyway. As you guys are chatting, you hear from behind you a voice that you recognize. Oh, no. As Joe Mundy <laughs> blinking his way through the bar. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I conjure birds. Is <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gomez! Miss Gomez! Thirteen plus one, fourteen birds. Where you're gonna you're gonna conjure <laughs> birds? Well, I don't look like I, I just I do like a kind he, of like I do you like wing. He's got his hand. Yeah, but where do they go? They go like up from like in front of it, just <laughs> like birds just fly up <laughs> from the in, ground into Joe. Yeah, like from a belfry right. of the. Ground. Joe's like blah. And then we we make our way out. We just leave. You guys leave her? Yeah. Oh, she gets no. she gets interviewed. <laughs> no, 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 we, we take her with No, no, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying she just didn't probably want that. Yeah, no, probably <laughs> She's not. She's had a terrible evening. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's going to round it out. Oh, great. <laughs> well, but we're not part of the story anymore. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Do these birds stay after your... Uh... No, they disappear. Oh, okay. There's no, there's no evidence of these birds. Yeah. It's just be amazing. I know. Just pigeons everywhere. Just all over the place. <laughs> well, that went well. We're walking back to the apartment. Okay. All right, we are doing way better... Cackle. Yeah. My shiny things. Yep. Explosion. She's definitely this this okay. The aggressor's a woman. They're targeting places with shiny antiques. Like Oh my god. How does the playground fit into this? I let's go back to the playground. <laughs> We're going back to the playground. Just just trust me. We investigate the playground. I check it out too. Okay. Four. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> On our way there, we stop by Taco Bell. What do you guys want? Brown meat. They, they got that in spades. <laughs> <laughs> we get... Wait, no, you don't go to Taco Bell. You go to Burrito Chimes. Right. Mm, burrito <laughs> Chimes. <laughs> we hit a Burrito Chimes. We load up. I love their uh, crunch tortilla <laughs> extreme. Yeah. <laughs> their stony crab. Yeah. <laughs> Good old stony their crab. Their crab -a -lupa. They're the only one with it, you know. It's a franchise, yeah, the, but the this one. The Crunch Crab Supreme. The Crunch Crab. <laughs> what other shops around 
have valuables. We get up in the morning, we look at the map, we ask that question. Before. No, no. All let's right, fine. All right. Ruminate on this before I'm we I'm tired. Out. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. What, what, let's look at the map. Okay. There is a jewelry store. All right. Jewelry store. Okay. Um, there's an electronics store. Electronics. Shiny stuff. We're looking for shiny stuff. So anything that sells shiny stuff. We got the antique store. We got the old lady's house. Oh, yeah. She did say shiny things. Right? I think jewelry store is probably the way to go. I mean, yeah, but these are all old things that were taken, right? Yeah, yeah, old Antiques. stuff. Yeah, old but shiny. What was taken be besides the watch? We know that the crystals were taken, right? The old, the uh, the new crystal that lady. Well, we got. found one. They were exploded. They were exploded. Well, yeah. Well, uh, no, they were. One was recovered. I'd like by to go us. before we pass out. Yeah. We should make one more trip over to the antique store. Oh. All right, <sighs> all right let's go. <laughs> Put my pants back on. Let's get out. <laughs> it's late at night. It's a good time to go. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't even bother morphing. <laughs> <laughs> Too tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just this hulking alien. Nice. Hulk. Okay. All right, we make it back to the to the uh, antique store. Okay. It is empty, I assume. Yeah. No, it's the, there's nobody there. We just go in. Carefully. Crunch, yes. crunch, crunch. Yeah. We stealthily go in. Okay, you two stealthily go in. Batsu, could you do me a favor? Just mm -hmm. could you could you morph into like the officer Bill? Brent. 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 Yeah, we don't, we don't want Bill Billerson. He's the fire chief. Thank you, Bill. The fire county chief. fire chief. That's right. Good point. Of Good Somerset. Point. Yeah, could you be Officer Brent for us? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> All right. There. You're going to leave him outside? Yeah, I think okay. that's probably I'm going to just stand watch. Yeah. Nice. All right. <clears throat> let's check it out. All, All right. right. You got anything? Investigate. Yeah, we're going to investigate. All right, let's do it. <laughs> we're investigating. What do you say, let's? I mean, you, you mean me. Naturally. Okay. I don't have investigation. <laughs> <laughs> there, I don't know. <laughs> Eleven. Well, you know that there was an explosion. <laughs> um, you know that it came from inside the store, and you're probably guessing that it was like it started more towards the front of the store. Okay. Huh. I investigate too. Okay. Five. I don't know anything. <laughs> you, you're pretty much on the same page. Yeah. You guys know it came from the front of the store. Um, okay. Let's look around. Are there, are there more crystals around? No. Is so the, the one I found is pretty much the last one. Yep. Right? That is weird. Yeah. Old crystal stuff. Like old stuff. That is also kind of valuable. <gasps> this person's a hippie. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's stop by the jewelry store on the way home. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry about you. Let's go. We head over to the jewelry store. Okay. We uh, is anyone around? No. We look inside. Okay. I look inside. Okay. You just want to see if there's any interesting cases, perhaps with some old things in them, like rings, <laughs> like heirloom jewelry or there, crystals. There are. I mean, there's lots of things. The front um, doesn't have a display right now because they would take that out of the window. Why sure. Does the jewelry store have old things. Jewelry stores do sell old things. They sell heirloom jewelry in fact, and other things like that. Most of the stuff isn't in there because I think they take most of it out and put it in the safe at night. Damn it! I think I think that's how jewelry stores work. But there is like costume they jewelry stuff. They do have safes there. Oh, <clears> so there's a lot of like. Pretty good at technology. Yeah, well, that, we're not breaking in. <laughs> 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 we wait in the safe. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Nice the, try. It's just the jeweler the next morning. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Birds. Happy birthday birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Dies of a heart Happy attack. Happy yeah. birthday to Jeweler. Anyone know his name? Uh, Sorry, anyway, <laughs> we make our way. It's like convenient that he died on his birthday. Yeah. We head home. It's a nice round number. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're home. Okay, you're home. Yeah, let's go to bed. Let's just let's okay. do it. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to set an alarm, and we're going to get up early. Okay? Okay. Okay. What does Great. that mean? Like, like, like 10 a.m. Like 10. <laughs> <laughs> like 6. That means we probably sleep until about 1 in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right on. Nice. Because, like, an alarm was set, but, like, no. no. Yeah. Okay, no. good. We're sleeping through that. Ugh. Get up, get dressed, turn coffee. on, turn on, uh, coffee. Our fan, our friend on TV. Coffee. Oh, Chipperdale. Yeah, Chipperdale. What's going on, Chip? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, you come in in the middle of this newscast. Um, Chipper is having a great day. He's just like, downtown Stone, Cro uh, Stone Crab Harbor is in shambles. Because <laughs> it's local heroes slept in. <laughs> they don't know that. No, I know. Um, you know, with the destruction of the playground, where are our poor kids play now? Where will they play? In the Chipper streets. doesn't know. In the water. <laughs> Chipper's sad about this. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the old Salty Spoon. Oh. Beloved antique store. Yeah. has been decimated. We hope that um, they'll be able to somehow find the funds to bring it back in order to bring the charm and compassion that Stone Crab Harbor has. <sighs> How much money do we have left from that, that we stole from that guy? I mean, we have $4,900 plus Minus whatever changes left over from and uh, <clears throat> Burrito Shine. <laughs> Give me it. In other news, Ronald Hammond was was arrested when he tried to fight off local law enforcers when he woke up. Late <laughs> <laughs> after being uh, propped up against a patrol car, he later escaped their custody. What? <laughs> How's that possible? We just left him with them. Beatrice's store was insured. Yes, that's right. We don't need to give her any money. Okay, she's fine. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. That's what you were gonna do? Yeah, I was gonna give her the money to yeah. fix her store. Beatrice, the woman you have never had a conversation it's with not, before. It's not our money. It's the right thing to do. And, but but Baja makes a good point. I mean, like, if it was insured, then why does she have the funds to pay for it? Doesn't make any I mean, sense. She doesn't have the funds to pay for that's it. What, that's what the radio, that's what the TV guy said. I didn't hear that. Well, well perk up. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't had his coffee Can yet. Can we please go get coffee? Yeah. All right, so you're going to go over to the to Coffin Fish Coffee? Yes, yes. we go to Heck visit yes, our friend Kayla. Kayla? Hey, hey jerks! Hey, what's hey, up? We are jerks. Hello, also jerk. Good morning. Bob, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're just great. So, can you believe what's going on? Yeah, it's nuts, right? I, it's insane. I'm like, I'm a little concerned. Yeah, right. You don't have any shiny old things in this place, do you? What? It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a try. All right. She makes everybody's usuals. Yeah. She makes the usuals. Um, Cup of grounds for you. <laughs> Cup of coffee grounds, please. Yeah, Will is there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, we ask him how his grandma's doing. Oh, you know, she's she's doing all right. They're starting repairs on the house. Good, good. So, um, did she notice anything missing in mm. the house? Yeah. Yeah, she swears a couple of her rings are gone. Yeah, that's weird. But like, I I can't tell what is misplaced, what is actually gone. Right. I, but like, it is strange. It is strange. It is strange. I mean, she's going through her belongings now, trying to. Figure it out. Piece oh. it all together. Yeah. I hope they find it. And she's ordering more gnomes. Good. We'll make sure she gets one. Oh, that, that, that's nice. Thanks, guys. Sorry I was so, like, mean to you. Dude. It's just a huge stressful situation. We get it. All right. Is she staying with you? Yeah. Yeah, no, she is. That's okay. great, by the way. That's, oh, uh, sure. It's, it's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nice you got to take care of your family. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh, no, I know, I know. I just, I like to, being here is great right now. So, just happy to see everybody. Shall we? All right. Jewelry store. Let's go. We go there. Okay. Is it open? It is open. We go in. All right. clock observations? I assume. All right. You go in. I'm going to check out the neighboring uh, stores. Okay. okay. All right, I go in. Hello. Hi. So have you had any um, old, more... Uh, Antique? Yeah. Vintage pieces? If you would, yes. We do have a couple of vintage pieces. Oh, can I take a look at them? Oh, my, sure. Uh, my, my, my brother's getting married. Something. I am. Wow, you guys are related. Yeah. Wow. Can't you tell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make a sale. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We've been to a jewelry store. <laughs> it is exactly like that. Oh, we have a couple of brooches, and uh, here are some marcasite pieces, mm. and uh, these are these are lovely. Uh, would you give me give me a minute? I need to talk to my brother, see if we, you know. What he's what he can afford. Oh, oh, sure, okay. Did you get any insight into the vibe here right now? Just maybe see how we're feeling, because I feel like this is definitely a spot where our mysterious antagonist might be striking. Twenty-four. That's the vibe. He is, seems unnecessarily stressed. Hmm. Hmm. He's kind of. Highstrung. Well, he does work in a jewelry store. Mm. But uh, also, what's Marcusite? 
The what? What? Marcasite. <laughs> Marcasite? Yeah, that's what yeah. I said before. What did you? What did you say before? Marcasite. What is Marcasite? It's a type of jewelry. Oh, it's an old timey. I have no idea, <laughs> but I should because I'm very old. <laughs> yeah, it was a very popular way to put together jewelry in a long time ago. Black, more silver Whoa. kind of stuff. Yeah. Just vintage. Vintage, very. Yeah. You said vintage, so he brought out the vintage stuff. Right. Well, that's great. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm gonna check out the neighboring businesses. Um, just seeing what is across the street on either side. Okay, across the street is a laundry, a laundromat. Okay. Um, next door is a like cafe, and then on the other side is a boutique. A boutique. A boutique. Okay. <laughs> um, they sell boutiquey things. It's a twenty-four hour, twenty-four hour laundry. Um, like coin up kind no, of thing. Not really. No. Is no. it like a place you drop it off and you pick it up? Yeah. Mm. Like a like a dry cleaner. It's a dry cleaner. Okay. That's the word. Mm. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a seat at the cafe. Okay. And I'm gonna hang out. <clears throat> okay. Um, Order a coffee. I'm oh. Gonna, okay. I'm gonna meander <laughs> around the store and just take inventory of who's around, take a look and see what people look like when oh. they're here. Okay. Uh, you guys are really the only two in the store at this moment. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's make. I'm gonna make my way towards the the vault. Okay, where are you going? What do you mean? I'm being the guy. Oh, I'm just I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna help your brother out. Oh, here we talked a little bit. Something. I'm just giving him some space. Okay. I'm just looking around. Bob needs to think. That's right. You, Bob. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's just the day for weird customers. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you have any other weird people coming in? Yeah. Weirder than me? Or Bob rather? I have your your you're volleying for uh I mean no, I mean you guys are lovely. You're very nice. You're a nice guy. Who's the who's the other weird person that came in? Some woman. Oh yeah? Yeah. What did she uh what did she want to see? She wanted to see she <clears throat> quote unquote the shiniest things we had in the store. Mm. And what are those? Oh, it was some of these um rings over here, I, I suppose, according to her at least. Mm. Are they valuable? Yeah. Uh, would you say what time would you say this uh, this odd woman came in? Oh, uh, maybe around eleven. Hmm. What time is it now? It's a little after one. Like one thirty, two o'clock ish. Hmm. We really need to start getting up early. <laughs> we really do. What time did the antique store blow up? You remember? No nope. <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. This Sometime. is like late afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, while they're talking, I'm scoping out the security cameras. Okay, they they do sense. have security cameras, definitely. Are you like up at its face? <laughs> 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 like you're trying to look through it like a people. <laughs> what I'd like to do is actually take a look at your security cam footage. I'm, I can't do that for you. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. You see, you're gonna have to because actually, I'm an undercover police officer. I need to see a badge. I don't carry a badge on me because I'm undercover. <laughs> but um, but if you call my friend. Uh, Bob has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Officer Brent is at the door. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, hello. Thanks for oh, hello. Yes, I'm a police officer, and he is too. I'm an undercover police officer. And you're from? The police. I know most of the policemen in this town. I don't recognize you. He's a county officer. Yes, county police. Like a state trooper? Yeah. Like a state yeah, trooper. Yeah, county trooper. That's... It's new. Can I see your badge? Yes. I, I pull out a crumb <laughs> from the burrito place <laughs> behind my back, morph it into a badge. Okay. <laughs> show it to her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> county police. Yeah. It just says county police, serial number one. <laughs> <laughs> you just flash it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. We just want to take a look at your surveillance tapes from the last couple of hours. Okay, can you run? Uh, can you give me persuasion? Yeah. Why not? Can you persuade? Nope. I kind of said it. <laughs> Plus. Plus. I think it's presence. Presence. Four. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. All right. You saw the badge. <laughs> all right. Yes. All right. Great. So he takes you into the back. Mm -hmm. He locks the front door because he won't be present there anymore. He goes into the back, puts the he pulls the tape out, and mm -hmm. puts it into the thing for you to watch. Okay. 
Let's take a look. And by tape, I mean he pulls up the digital the file. The <laughs> file. <laughs> not tapes the anymore. Actual tape. He pulls yeah. the file up and he plays it's it for a circular you. thing right. and he puts it on yeah. the reel and he connects it to yeah. the uh -huh. side and he winds it up. Okay. All right, let's it. have a look at it. All right, watch it. What are you what are you looking for? We're looking for a strange looking woman. Okay, a woman walks in. Oh, okay. Well, you see him come in. You see him set up. You, yep. you see a whole bunch of random folk coming in and mm -hmm. out. Um, you're scrubbing through the video. Yep. Um, around 11 o'clock, you see a woman enter with um, white hair. Mm -hmm. and she's wearing all black. And she comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, she takes a look around. She looks at the things that he indicated. She um, seems to be like, like a little agitated, as though she desperately wants them. And then she leaves without them. OK. This is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. White hair. White hair, black outfit. Anything else distinct about her visage? It's hard to tell. Like she keeps her head kind of down, but okay. she may be wearing some sort of glasses. Gotcha. Uh, we take a picture of it using our phone, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Click. Yeah, you got a phone. <laughs> Post I got my phone. Yeah. Post it on Facebook. No! Anybody know this woman? <laughs> All right, fine. Um, not a bad idea. Um, we. Uh, and I'm like, all right, we're looking for this lady. She came in at 11. The attacks took place a couple hours later. So this is the place to be. Do you think that I'm a target? You are a person of interest, absolutely. What I need you to do is actually put your staff on alert and keep them away from the displays and the windows. OK. So he will do that. Great. <laughs> Do we no did we notice anything when she came in the store, like, that she's doing with her hands? Mm. Like, just in general? Yeah. Like, Did she, she interact with anything, touch anything? She didn't touch much, no. She kind of kept to herself. She, she did wring her hands a lot. Mm. All right. Mm. Yes, yeah, thank you for the security footage. All right. So what, what are you guys doing now? Okay. Uh, we got to get this guy out of the wherever the hell he is. He's at the cafe. The cafe. Just <laughs> drinking coffee. Yeah. He's taking up a like table, a, drinking Like a normal only, person. Yeah. Only coffee. All right. He's not walking uh, fish. <laughs> yeah, no. Officer Brent. He's actually doing the most normal thing he's done <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Brent, would you... What you call him? We <laughs> <laughs> broke hey. him. Rory. Yeah, Bob? Hello. Is it a CB radio? <laughs> <laughs> That's me picking it up. Oh, Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's a goal for Rory. <laughs> Ten four over now. Copy. Alpha Bravo. Uh, yeah, Bob, what's up? We're in the store next to your store. Yeah, I, I, yes, I, I know. <laughs> get, get get the hell over here. What? We figured it out. We've we've got, we've got everything covered. Come on, you gotta get over here. Okay, why don't you come over here? I'm, no, I'm it out. no, you're not staking anything out. They're, they're gonna be here. Okay, I ordered a coffee. Which means I get to keep drinking my coffee. If I don't, he's still talking. If I stand up, <laughs> I lose my chair. Then I have to come back and order another coffee if I want to hang out here. Okay. I'm already one coffee in. Hey, hang on. All right. All right. So you're gonna wait. Yeah. All right. So the store inevitably is going to close. Hmm. It's been hours. Yes. Are you still at the cafe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he really has to pee. <laughs> All right. The guy's like. Thanks for hanging out here all day. Sure, yeah. Well, we'll keep an eye out and uh, we'll let you know if it is. Let us know if up. the store blows up. But your police. Well, yeah. This is really our jurisdiction. All right, let's go. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my county. Terrorizing this town. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, we we leave, but not far. We go to the we go to the cafe to work to collect Rory. Okay. Rory. That's where the person who's blowing up these places has been. They're going to come back. Yeah. Do you want to be inside when it blows up? I have a protection spell on my body. That's good for you. <laughs> Do I? We've been outside of burning buildings Does multiple times. He's really tough. I'm pretty tough. All I'm saying is, like, I'm going to be next door. Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep an eye out. What are we looking for? We're looking for a woman who looks like this. Is that Mrs. Hoffman? No, it's not Mrs. Hoffman. So we uh, <laughs> we just sit in the coffee shop and wait. Okay. And, and watch it's a cafe. The... Okay. Okay. Well, the jewelry store closes. They okay. lock up. What time is it? 
Uh, it's probably about uh, seven. Oh shit. Uh, maybe about six. Still Let's late. see six. Okay. That's six okay. o'clock. Hmm. As you're sitting there, um, Beatrice comes by. Oh, hey, Beatrice. Hey, Tom. Hello. How are you? Well, how are you? Uh, I've been better. Oh, no? Oh, yeah, because dealing, of your... Yeah, I'm dealing with insurance hell right now. But, oh. you know, we're hope, hopeful we'll get it opened up by the end of the year. Oh, okay. I'm not sorry gonna, to hear about your troubles. Not going to be stopping with my antiques. Good. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have the best stuff in town. <gasps> Thank you. You've had the best stuff in town. <laughs> Oh, we'll have we'll <laughs> again though. <laughs> yeah, he has a he has a morbid sense of humor. Right? Oh, Rory, well. how are you? You haven't been to my store in, since the first time. I don't think I stopped by. I think that was Tom. It was both of you. Was it? Yes. Oh yeah, it was. You made fun of my albums. I did. They were weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you as much. <laughs> Rory, friend to old people. Yeah. <laughs> They were weird. You're a weird old lady. <laughs> you have a weird old lady smell. Oh, by the way, I think you were right about that whole maybe not having a mistress. As oh, much yeah? As I thought. What makes you, that, what makes you say that? Oh, well, you know, Mrs. Hoffman really laid into me about my spreading of apparently rumors. Oh, yeah. And that, like, you know, originally when he had left the house prior to his yelling fit, when I had thought that he'd been meeting people elsewhere, he was actually doing house calls because he's a doctor. Hmm. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Yeah, one of them was uh, a guy down at the docks. He had to go and help out. Really? A guy named Hammond? I didn't get the name. I just was told to but stop talking down. about things. <laughs> <laughs> but he worked down by the docks. I mean, I guess I'm talking about them right now. <laughs> well, we won't. We won't. Talk well, I mean, we don't want to curb your nature. I yeah. think you should be you. Yeah, you, yeah, you I'm do just, you. We'll I can't help it that the information just comes to me. It's true. So and I, say, maybe I don't get every single thing right. So but who saying, does? <laughs> So you're so saying Hoffman that... Hoffman was uh, doing a house call down at the docks when he went out. One of the times, yeah, prior to them yelling. Hmm. All right, so... Is she still there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said so and trailed so, off and hoped she would leave? <laughs> well, Beatrice, we want to thank you for stopping in. We, we I'm, 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 I'm going to go eat here. Oh, well, then... Can I join you? Well, really, we're, 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 we're having a... a, a a very difficult conversation. About what? Um, <laughs> we're going to put down his fish. <laughs> it's a very difficult decision to make. Oh. He's, he's going through a really hard time. Wait, he has a fish? Yeah, he just recently No, I it heard too. that he tried to return it to the store. Yeah. And he got store credit and he, he made a big stink about it. it. Yeah, no, we're talking about another fish of his. Oh. Yeah, much older fish. And he's going to put it down? He's going to murder his fish? No, he's going to mercy kill the fish. We're, we're still discussing it. It's a very sensitive discussion. Okay. So, if you wouldn't mind. You want me to shuffle on then, eh? Just get the old lady out of the way so you can talk about killing a fish. I hear you, Tom. <laughs> Good. Off I go then. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> the interest goes inside. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. <laughs> Thanks for making me a fish murderer. <laughs> Aren't you? You hear a cackling laughter of joy <gasps> coming from the jewelry store nearby. Oh, nearby. Uh, I'm going to use my auditory senses to try and determine the direction. Uh huh. Um, this is going to be perception. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, that's only a eight. It's nearby. <laughs> you hear that? It's nearby. I definitely heard that. It's close. All right, we'll run out of the store. Out of the store? The cafe. Out of the cafe. Okay. Throw a couple bucks down for the coffee. All right. All right. That waitress is yeah. really upset with me. Yeah. So you're in, you're in the street? Yeah, we're on the street. Okay. I take a look across the street at the jewelry store, see if I can see anything. Investigate. All right. <laughs> yes. Twelve. You see a silhouette retreating into the back. Into the back! Use your jet boots and go to the back of the store! It's on the demo, man. Come on. <laughs> there, are it is a, there is a cafe. People are, like, it's, it's not right. empty in the right. streets. All right, run around the corner and then go into the back of the store. <sighs> Fine. Thank you. Run. What do you, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to chase the shadow. All right, chase the shadow. All right. Yeah. 
So they're going to go chase the shadows. Right, so you're going around the, the building? Yeah. Aren't we? Am I the one chasing the shadow? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're both chasing the shadow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm staying around the front. I want to like make sure that they like everything's okay. Okay. Um. She cackled, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm counting down to like 40 seconds, and then I'm just going to cover my ears as much as possible. Okay. And I'm waiting. Where are you waiting? In the alley. You're in the alley? All right, in the alley. Okay, you're in the alley. Look around back. I'm looking around. Okay. She throws a flashbang down. <laughs> I am blind. <laughs> I'm going to try and dodge. And she just throws it into the alleyway. Yeah. Okay. I don't really hear it, but maybe I can see it when she throws it before it explodes. Uh, 23. Okay, you dodge it. It still goes off. Right. And uh, she uses that as the opportunity to get away. She makes a run for it. He was also there. Yeah. He got, like, they're all flashbanged. Ah. Uh, so right. you're dazzled. I'm dazzled. You guys are dazzled. You're just dazzled by what's going on. Wow. Out front, there's yeah. an explosion. Okay. <laughs> I'm protected, so I yeah, you're head fine. towards it. What? <laughs> That's not how that works. It's a toughness protection. It's not like a protection against life. Oh, I thought it was like a like a like no a no 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 no. It's yeah. literally like. All right, it then would I help. just I'm I'm fine. Yeah. So the front of the jewelry store explodes outwards. Boom. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Um, how dazzled am I if I dodged it? I. Mean, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to get off of the ground. Oh, like. And hover. The hover. Okay. Yeah, you could hover. Okay. Cool. I mean, you're like. Wonky. <laughs> Because, like, here's the thing. You would be able to, in my opinion, activate the boots, but maybe not know where you were going. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you're still, like, aware of yourself, but you can't write necessarily where you are. Okay. In space. So, yeah, you can you can put the boots on. Yeah. I want to be, like, just a good, like, seven, eight feet off the ground. Yep. And just, like, not be there. No, you're good. You're good. Um, I probably took my hands off of my ears uh -huh. when she threw the flashbang and that exploded. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the explosion out front... Uh, it's got, got me. Yeah. Pretty loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does that do to you? Uh, I have a weakness to it. Okay. So um, it's a very loud explosion. It probably hurts me. I am at a deficit. Okay. Yeah. And I would say maybe not. Uh, it could be not strength or game. in like like your ability to dodge. You know what I mean? Like you're just not, you're not right. Okay. Because yeah. cool. it's going to get worse when the fire truck shows up. Yeah. <laughs> I haul ass around the back. Okay. Uh, well, I look As you I... haul ass around the back, you see them like kind of reeling from the dazzle. Yeah. You also see a white van peeling out oh. of the back alleyway. Okay. Uh, I use my Mystic Blast and I try to to hit the van. Okay. To pop one of the tires. Okay. That's pretty precise. Well, I have precise on it. Wait. That's a magic hand. <laughs> <laughs> I use my ma I use my mage hand to try to grab the van. I don't think you have enough strength in your no, magic hand right. to. Uh, all right, all right, no. I'll, I'm gonna grab and stuff that way. I will shoot Mystic Blast at the van. How far away are you? I am wherever I, I've caught up the to wherever the they alley, are. So yeah, the front of the alley, and they're at the other of the alley. So how yeah, long I think the that there's is. a there's a penalty that the further you get away from something okay. for rage. I would assume correct. I'm probably if there, if there is a penalty. It depends on. Uh, I would guess twelve feet distance. Away. Yeah. Um, what's your skill level with magic? Attack. What was it? Magic blast. Expert, expertise magic, or oh, mystic blast. <laughs> is mystic blast. Sixteen points, eight damage. <laughs> two. <It's> two. <coughs> well, you do, you do, do it. Great. And it just, it hits it, and it just kind of like Boink. buffers it Boink. a little bit. Damn it. And off they go. Cops are coming. We gotta go. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Uh, Let's go. Uh, ah. Let's go. We got a whole ass. Can't move fast. All right. So you guys are heading out the other side yeah. of the thing. As you guys are heading out the other side, you see a bunch of like dock workers coming up the street. <gasps> this is probably not good for us. And they no, look, and they no, look pretty not. angry. What's happening? Hi guys. Give us your money. Oh jeez. Okay. I use my mage hand. It's in the jewelry I store. Try to push. It's them all in the out jewelry the store. Okay. <laughs> it's in the jewelry store. You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they took everything in the jewelry store. No, they, they didn't. did. No. All our money's in the jewelry store. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. Quick, get in there and get it. Seventeen plus whatever persuasion is. I don't have persuasion, so I guess it's just a straight up seventeen. Yeah. All right. They start heading towards the jewelry store. Okay. 
Um, as you guys are leaving, you hear them hit the jewelry store. The cops are there. They're starting to yell. Yeah. The guys are starting to yell, and you hear like a fight break out. Well, how many dock workers were there? Probably like there's probably like four, five, six of them. It's not a lot of cops. We may need to help them. Let's help them. All right. You've got to tell me where to punch. I know, I know. Uh, how many cops are there, you think? Right now there's two, which is the chief of police and the deputy showed up. The All other right. guy is stuck at the hospital watching Hoffman. Bato, I need you to be Bob. Brent? Brent. No, Bob. Bob? Oh, just regular Bob. Yeah, because otherwise he'll have too much explaining to do if he's a cop. Oh, mm. right. So I was thinking you just be Bob, just a good Samaritan Bob they know. Okay? Morph. Yeah. All right. Come on, grab my grab my shoulder and I'll lead you. Let's uh, go. We, we all right. As you guys way. are heading over there, you see the sheriff and the or the the chief of police and the deputy trying to like subdue them without yeah. hurting them, but the guys are wildly punching <clears throat> at them. Right. One of the guys jumps in one of the cars, like one of the cop cars, and a bunch of them pile on it and they take <laughs> off. Ah, oh, jeez. And they leave with the cop car. What Rocket you, boots. What a mess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> I talked to the chief, like uh -huh. I addressed the chief with Batu, uh, Bob He's down. on, the chief is on the, on his the radio, radio and he's calling in for additional help mm -hmm. and um, possibly the CDC. Center for Disease Control? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Because they're messed up. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to distract the cops, Batu and I, uh, Bob now, mm -hmm. uh, while uh, Rory engages his rocket boots, hopefully without anybody noticing. I mean, if we were running up there and they just split, I'm jumping back in the alley and Oh, I see. Up All right, cool. Yeah, go for him. Yeah, do chase after them and I'll, we'll call you when we... Can you see? Here. I can see. Good. I'm just, you know, mm. not feeling great. <laughs> All right. Officer, is everything okay? No, nothing's okay. Oh, no yeah, that's right. No, it wouldn't be. <laughs> well, anyway. Why are you always here? It's just a bad penny, I guess. Listen. <laughs> what does that mean? It's an old expression. What do you... I always turn up. Oh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> can we do anything? You're a little short-handed. You look like you could use a hand. Yeah, no, we're heading towards the docks. We're closing it down. Like, something's wrong. Yeah, I could say that. Uh, so if somebody took off with the car, uh, are you just going to chase after them, or what, what's going to happen now? Well, yeah, I'm waiting for backup. Oh, backup. All right. They'll well, be here quickly. Good, good. All right. Uh, is there anything we can do? I just get out of my way. Will do. All right. Where are we Time. going? We're going. We're becoming Officer Brent. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> so let's let's get out of here. So we chase after them. So you're but you're on foot. So you are on foot. Ooh, become Officer Brent and steal their car. He's in the car talking on it. That's mad. Kid. Officer Brent, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, never mind. Right, let's get out of we here. We need your car, Grant. <laughs> All right, so you're flying. Yes. Okay. Chasing the over. stolen cop car, apparently. Uh huh. They go to the docks. Oh, I forgot to tell the officer the other thing. All right. I'll follow them to the docks. Okay. Do they get out? Yeah. Where do they go? They they park the car and they get out and head towards one of the buildings. Is it one of the dock buildings? Mm -hmm. Okay, like a warehouse kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll land on a nearby roof. Okay. And just you scope it out. Things? Okay. And I'll call Bob Batu. Yeah. Before we left, I told the officer about the white van. Okay. <laughs> Great. Sure you did. Great. That was my plan. That was what okay. my plan was to talk about. Okay, totally, okay. I totally blanked. Rory's calling me. It's oh, a good. special ringtone for just for him. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Uh, hello. I'm over I'm over by the docks. Um, they parked the car here. There's a bunch of them. They all went into one of the one of the dock buildings. Oh. What do you say? He said that he's at the dock and they're all there. Great. All right. Let's let's get over. Here we come. All right. I'll keep an eye out. Where, where should block. we meet you? Oh, you hung up. What? I right, hung cool. up. Let's go. Okay. Well, let's go. All right. Let's go. We run over there. How okay. long does that? It'll take? take you longer than it took him to get there. <laughs> yeah. And in that time, cops have arrived. Coast Guard has arrived. There was like a little tent outside the like entryway to the dock where they're going in. They're like, you know, in their regular civilian clothes. They're getting changed and putting on face masks just in case anything is going on. And they're okay. like, like one of those like full ones though. So you like, so they're like, like protected from kind of viral agents. So one yeah. could wear them and no one would know who they were behind them. Maybe? There's also that <laughs> happening. Yes. Okay. Tinted. Um, there's like four of them. They're heading into the tent. Okay. Um, there you go. All right. I so mean... you're on the roof. You guys yep. just. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you guys made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like we have some convenient disguises available to us. I think uh, if we want to go in there. I just don't like the punching part. That's well, I'm saying. since when did you become a pacifist? No, 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 not pacifist. Just not this hand-to-hand -hand shit. Oh, yeah. Well, I will punch. Yeah. You will throw things. That sounds good. And I'll magic them. All right. Okay. So we need disguises. Uh, how many guys are in the tent? There's uh, four. Mm, three of us. Three of us. All right. Should we? Do you want to kick all their asses, or should we? <laughs> Here, wait. Let me wait. try something. You're asking if we want to kick the Coast Guard's ass. Yeah, we're gonna take their disguises. We're gonna knock them up, you know, and then take their stuff. Otherwise, they're gonna come in. They're gonna be like, "Look at all these. I'm tripping over all these Coast Guard guys." <laughs> I'm just saying, like, maybe we could distract them, and get them out of the tent. Then where are they gonna go? They're not gonna go for ice cream. They're gonna, they're gonna keep coming in. We gotta like, we gotta get them away. While they're debating, I look around for an improvised weapon. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you need? Does it roll with that, or you just you just look? You just, you yeah, just look. What's around? Um, what's around? There. Uh, well, there's a there's a, a rusty metal pipe on the side of the road for some reason. Oh. Because um, you're, <laughs> oh, you're, you're local by us. Um, <laughs> there's a a bit of wood, a couple of paper bags, and a cinder block, and a brick. Ooh. I choose the brick. Okay. Nice. Nice. Brick's a good weapon. Well, was, well, like I said, give I, I, me five minutes. Okay. I go to the tent. Okay. I um, sneak up on the first guy. Okay. And I brick him in the back of the head. Okay. As gently as possible. Yeah. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> no, he's right. I'm not going to make you roll for this because <laughs> they are completely unaware that this is happening. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's fine. You, you, the first guy, trust me, I know he's down. Okay. <laughs> Okay. We'll have to check his pulse later, but he's down. <laughs> oh, sorry. I go up to the second guy. Uh huh. Brick him in the back of the head. Okay. All right. He goes, ugh. And one of the guys is like, what? I say, shh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you look like when you're doing this, by the way? <laughs> I'm just myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, one of the guys does, like, look. He's just it's like, the claw. he's like, <gasps> <gasps> okay. Um, I, all right, I... You don't he, know he's in there. No. Yeah, you guys are still yapping. Yeah. Um, I guess I could scoop him up with my mystic hand and drop him in the harbor. Drop them in the harbor? Just pick him up and drop right. him in the water. The guy, the guy who has gas... doesn't have yeah. to swim back. I, uh, point behind him. Yeah. I brick him in the back of the head. Okay. <laughs> he falls for it, too. He's... Don't want to put any buddy's tooth out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other guy's like, I, man, I can't believe we got to come down here today. I mean, like, what are we going to do out there? We're the Coast Guard. I mean, seriously. Like, you know, what are we going to... Guys? Hi. Hello. Would you like to leave? Yeah. Okay, go away. I'm going to go away. <laughs> we see him run away. <laughs> just, what the hell? <laughs> he just gets in his car and he yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Help me get the clothes off of these things. That'll work. I go in. I grab some of the clothes. What did you do? I put them on. I made them asleep. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Are you holding a brick? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Let him roam. Because <laughs> he got the mask on. He's already, he's already ready to go. <laughs> I try to pull on one of the uh, suits. Okay. It tears. Just morph. You might want to just morph. Yeah, at least oh, you yeah. tried. Morph. Morph. <laughs> One day, we are going to sneak up on a giant guy, <laughs> and then you won't have to flex your morph muscle anymore. <laughs> Can I bring the brick? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Just don't use it on any more cops. I will name it Bricky. Okay. You dressed yet? <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> well, put your clothes on. Let's go. <sighs> When I said I was a thrill seeker, this is not what I had in mind. You go up to the cops? Yeah. Because there's a bunch of cops there <clears throat> waiting. Um, they're just kind of milling about right now. They clearly don't know what to do. This is a little out of most of their leagues, sure. like having to shut down the dock, which is why they were happy to pass it off to any other department who wanted to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you give them the back. You got the brick. Don't, you know, we don't want to scare anybody. Okay, you go first. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, where are you going? We're going. Blah, 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 blah. We're going in. Uh, who, who, who are you guys? Um, we're the Harbor Patrol. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, no, you guys are supposed to go in. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
you head on in. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Let's move on. Ooh, there's Ooh. water. A warehouse Horse eagles. on the dock. So Docks. which door do you guys come in? Oh, I, I don't know. I guess this one. Whatever the tent is near. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, we could say it's this side. Cool. All right, this is probably what you guys can see. OK. Uh, what do we see? This is an open area uh. here. This here is a, a little like catwalky area yeah. on, outside of this building. That's another one of them here. This is the building. You can't access it from this area. This is the white van. Oh. <laughs> and then these are the two docks. It's the white van. <laughs> see? It's a good thing we went in. Yeah. Maybe we would like to be quiet about this. There's a ladder here and there's a ladder here. There is a door that goes into this building here. Right. There are windows here, 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 and then another door to the building here. Cool. Is that also a catwalk? <clears throat> yes. Okay. With seemingly no ladder because I forgot to put it in. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. That's where I come in, <laughs> <laughs> my specialty. Well, how did that guy get up there? He He's a really good jumper. <laughs> He has rocket boots too. Boom. <laughs> yeah, he's, okay. he's your cousin. <laughs> I was just like, <clears throat> oops. There's no way up there. Okay. That guy's stuck forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got the ladder now. Shut up. All right, so we got, what, two guys? Well, this shouldn't be hard. Um, let's sneak under them. Good idea. All right. So you're going to sneak? Yeah. Yeah, we're good at that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> you got the clod with you. <laughs> I am not a good sneaker. Um, <laughs> here's a question. Yeah? Do these guys look familiar? Like that guy does. Normal dog Does he look like Ron Hammond? Yeah. <gasps> it's our old friend Ron. This guy does not. All right. But like a local, I would assume? That guy's not a local. OK. Oh. Never seen it before. And we don't see the woman from the surveillance tapes? No. Interesting. Mm. All right. Time to stealth this up. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Punch. You got a 16. Woohoo! And I got a 9. So I got a 14. What's your rate yours against? Uh, agility. 17. I have rolled a 2. <laughs> <laughs> What's your agility? Two. Hey. What? Four. So you got four? Yeah. yeah. Woo, Claude. That's the stealthiest you've ever been. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> that guy notices something's up. Here we go. It's on now. It's on. There's only two of them. We got this. We we roll initiative. Yeah, we should roll initiative. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I will like run at him. Cool. So how much is 15 feet? So each square is actually one inch. So that's five feet. Okay. Or attack the van. Hmm. With a brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's called vandalism. <laughs> vandalism? That is You're... the funniest thing you've ever said. All right. Life. Let I me... Was, I wish it was intentional. <laughs> like I, know, I know this guy sees me. Uh -huh. This yeah. guy hasn't seen me That's yet. True. Yeah. Right? So I don't think I actually want to attack him. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm going to chuck the brick with my super strength. Okay. Nice. So dexterity is zero. So what did you roll? 16. Okay. It's not bad. That's still good. It's better than yeah. you just... I smash a window across yeah. the building. I'm just trying to get things started here. I'm just like, exactly. You first. <laughs> okay. He actually... Wow. Good for him. He dodged out of the way. Damn. He was like... Ooh. But he knows the clods here. He does. That's right. And he's <laughs> so throwing bricks. His day he's like... He's here. He's, he's over here like... He's like <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Okay. That brick is probably... I got just. intense. You threw a brick at me. <laughs> what? It lodges in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like... I could have died. <laughs> I could have died just then. Maybe I should rethink I'm my out. life. Yeah. <laughs> Later. I'm leaving. All right. I use yeah. Mage Hand to pull him off the scaffolding. No more life of crime for him. I'm going to grab him, just yank Wait, him down. Wait, how, how high is your Mage Hand? <clears throat> uh, my Mage Hand is six points in rank three. Yeah, you probably can do that then. That's what I'm saying. I think you have enough strength to do that. There we go. I'd have to look that up, but I don't want to. I mean, <laughs> you can at least try and it makes grab it fun. him and pull. Yeah. Ooh. Four. Um. Uh, Plus, it's a ranged uh, attack, so it's your yep. ranged stuff. It's two. And your dex. So and that's my five. dex is five. Okay. So, nine. All right. Well, he's going to try to dodge that then. And with a base 10. Ooh, and I'm precise, which means I have an extra point. Mm. 
We, that means you can no. That's not. A, it's a point you spent on it. Oh. It means you can do little things. Oh, cool. So I can like pick up like jewelry. Yeah, or like them. untie something. Cool. Ooh. Um, he does or dodge. Or tie it. their shoelaces. Damn it. He this does. Guy dodge. is the like. It's like a spider monkey. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay, he's dodged two attacks. <laughs> Shoot him with your with your with your guns. <laughs> so he is going to use his pistol. What? Yeah. So thirteen minus two. So I think you're okay. I'm good. Okay. You nice. dodge it. Yep. Now it's my turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Freaking rocket boots on. Okay. Boop. I'm gonna fly at him a bit. <laughs> get myself a little closer. Okay. So I'm probably ten feet in the air. I will shoot a blaster pistol at him. Okay. Nice. Go for it. You got, you got a nineteen. Ooh. So you're definitely gonna hit him. Yay! Five damage. Damage plus fifteen versus my one d twenty. Yes. To so see how 20. I fail. Oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ron can probably see me hovering in the air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ron's actually going to get down. Oh. Just go over here. Hmm. Hmm. And Ron ends his turn. Okay. And now the clod is up. Oh. You shot it, my friend. Okay. Now he's angry. All right. All right. Um, here's what he's going to do going to run in the direction of this van. I guess he'll do two moves instead of an attack. Cool. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Here I am. Come at me, bro. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, it's not I, your turn yet. Because all this commotion, you're shooting and his yelling. The van was kind of leaning down a little bit in the back, and all of a sudden it just went... Oh, no! <laughs> and a big... Hulking thing comes oh, out no. the back of it. His no. name is Lunkhead. Lunkhead. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's bald. <laughs> I know Lunkhead. He has a uh, his head. His neck is basically the same width as his head. <laughs> his arms are a little longer than they should be, and he's pretty stupid. Oh no. Lunkhead was Where in a Dan Slot book called Arkham Asylum: Living Hell. Oh. Cool. So Lunkhead's here. Nice. Mm -hmm. well, at least it's not Bibbo. Bibbo. Bibbo's a good guy. Nope. This I is, would love that Bibbo on our team. This is Lunkhead. So Lunkhead comes out, and he's going to take two moves as well and start heading towards the biggest thing he can see. Mm -hmm. uh oh So much to do, so I'll, I'll move as well. Okay. Uh, now I'm mm -hmm. in the action. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're good. I'm not like over here going like, let's buy. <laughs> you can do it. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun, guys. I, got, I want my deposit back in the apartment. <laughs> 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 I'm going to yell. <laughs> at uh, Batu. Huh. To your left! <laughs> I'm just going to shoot at this guy again. Okay. And I'm going to... I'm going to strafe back and land on... That? The scaffolding. Okay. So I'm not flying. And uh, I'll fire. Oh. Uh, yeah, you hit gonna him. That's going to be a 24. Yeah, you hit him. Okay. Sweet. So that's 20 again. Okay, right. Damage. And I don't like these paragraph versions of things. Yep, you hit him again. Okay. So he is, so he's staggered. Oh, uh, now it's Ron's turn. Where the hell uh -oh. are you going, Ron? <laughs> oh, wait, he's going in here. I like so you can't see him. Crap. Wait, those doors are uh, below us? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were on the scaffolding. No, the doors are. Oh. So I was like, they're I can't tell you the transparency. Those these doors, doors are. Yeah. Okay. The, okay. That, this is a door here. This and is this, a window. These are windows. Yeah. That is a um, this is a door that is on the scaffolding gotcha. that goes in, and that's a door on the ground. Ground door, <clears throat> ground door, scaffold door. Cool. Okay. The clod. <laughs> this is okay. Soft. The clod is here. <laughs> he is uh, concerned about Lunkhead over here. Um, he's gonna run up to him. Okay. He's gonna give him a good clunk. Okay. In the stomach, and then attempt to fast grab his face. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he rolled really well. Not, not that it was gonna really help. Yeah. Twenty-four. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Oh my god! You got him. My fist of brickishness just yeah. connects. With okay. His belly. So now you threw your brick. Now you gotta roll. Well, I am a brick. Get him, Claude. Uh, I feel really bad yelling that in the middle of a fight. Like, I'm just making fun of you. Wow, he's yeah. already staggered. 
Whoa. Nice. I'm pretty strong. So I, I, I resist, the, resist grab. the grab. Okay, so uh, he gets that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's staggered. And Logan's yeah. like, why did he do that? Oh. How creepy. Why? <laughs> mm. He tried to grab my face. <laughs> he tried to grab my face. <laughs> he's trying to take my face. <laughs> so he's going to attack you. Because he doesn't know any better. It's 21. Yep. 20. Okay. Oh, so then, oh, he hit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he hit you. Roll well. 15 plus 10, 25. Okay, that's that's great, because it's 30. Yay! <laughs> wow, all right. We almost took out the claw. It's a fight. Mm-hmm. Lunkhead mm. is, yeah. He's mad. He's mad. Yeah. Um, so you are dazed. I am dazed. So you can only do one standard action. It's Tom's turn. Yay. Yay. I go in here. You're going in? Yep. He's going in. Ooh. I'm in. Where's that guy? There he is. No. Oh. Uh-huh. There. oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right. When you get in there, you see a um, warehouse office style thing. There's a couple of desks there, some big wooden box crate looking things, some shelves, and three people are there. One of which is a woman in all black with white hair. Hmm. Hello. Hello! I wouldn't move any forward if I were you. Oh, why's that? You never know if this place is gonna blow. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> well, Sitting next to her, by the way, are crystal chandelier pieces, big metallic shiny ball things, mm-hmm. like one might find in a yard someplace. Yeah. Yep. And a couple of costume jewelry rings that she's wearing. Magpie, I presume. You've heard of me! Yeah, I have a copy of the Gotham Gazette like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Gotham. Magpie? Magpie. What the hell's a magpie? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm afraid the jig is up. My team is here, and your nefarious schemes are at an end. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to intimidate you. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Unintimidate? Yeah. For Miss Magpie? Plus two. I got ten. That's against her will, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nine and three? <laughs> it's twelve. Yeah. I've lost. <laughs> My intimidation game. Yeah. I'm going to hit her with, <laughs> with the Mystic Blast. <laughs> How far away are you? Forty feet. That's within your range. Yeah, you're good. Here we go. Shoot her up. Eight. Plus dex. Plus dex, which is three, so twelve, so eleven. Yeah. Okay. Plus ranged combat, right? Yes, and I do have ranged combat. Well, plus she, two. Yep, two. She rolled ten. Okay. So you gonna hit her? Yeah, I do. Ha ha. Ha ha. Whoa! And uh, my mystic blast is an eight damage. Okay. Eat it, you silly bird. <laughs> <laughs> So she's rolling against an 18. She's just two. No, I guess she's dazed. Yeah, dazed yeah, is yeah two, okay. She's yeah. dazed. This guy. Uh oh. He's still going for it. He's going to shoot Ben. <laughs> He's still going for it. Because he doesn't know what else to do. He's like, I'm on a scaffolding with no ladder. Oh, one was just appeared. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm safe. Oh, he didn't hit you. He got it, too. I might as well shoot at him one more time. Okay. And try and take him out. So he has to hit Staggered twice, and I guess he hasn't fixed himself yet, which I don't know how you do that. You have to use an a round or an action to recover. To recover. Okay. Yeah. This guy just doesn't I, know what I bring him. It's here. actually Magpie's turn now. Oh, oh crap. Ooh. Um, so standard action she can take to undaze herself correctly. Yeah. But she can also move though still. Yes. Crap. <laughs> Whoa. And she'll take that to make herself not yeah. dazed. I hope she doesn't pull a happy birthday. Okay, I'm going to use a hero point to okay. recover without having to use an action. Nice. I am no longer dazed. Okay. Ooh. And I am going to lift the van. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Go Claude. Yeah. Grr. If I could see that happening, I'd be very excited. <laughs> Uh, Do I see that happening? It's awesome. <laughs> you don't even see that. You're in the Tom! Room. Tom, you're missing it! Oh! <laughs> it's Magpie, by the way. She's the main bad guy. Who? Yeah, exactly. Oh! No. <laughs> 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 oh, no. So I can lift up to 400 tons. Okay. So I'm just like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and I'm going to drop it on Lunkhead. His strength is 14. Well... <laughs> so is mine because I have the 12 plus an additional two for lifting oh, in my super strength power. Oh, oh. 
He just has enhanced strength. Yeah. He's just a big guy. Yep. It's a big, stupid, stupid guy. guy. <laughs> <All right>. uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I rolled a nine, so what did he roll? A seven. Woohoo! It's this lady. Oh, great. She's coming for you. <laughs> She's coming for you. She's coming All for right. you, Tom. Uh, and now I believe it is your turn, Tom. Great. Uh, I attack her. Okay. With my... Mystic Blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have two actions, right? Yes. I'm going to standard and a move. I'm going to hit her with birds. No, you have a standard action and a move action. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, then I'll just do the Mystic Blast. <laughs> I'll just stick with the blast. That seems to be working. That seems to, that seems to work out okay. Here we go! And it's like point blank range, too. Yeah. Oh my god, you I took, took out Magpie! <laughs> you took out Magpie! I win! What? No! Game's over. No, she's down. No! Happy birthday to herself. <laughs> 15. It's a pretty good roll. Uh, yeah. Feeling good about Plus that. Plus your dex and your range, which is 20. Yep. They're all no. 20. I don't know if she's going to be able to beat that. Ooh. Mm. So that's uh, that's Perry, right? No, Dodge. 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 Wait, she's attacking me, right? Or is it my? No, you're oh, no, attacking her. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it happened so quickly. Eight. Uh, no, you hit her. All right. Huzzah! So now you have to actually. Um, what's your damage again? Uh, eight. eight. So twenty-three. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's not good for her. Gotcha, lady who literally didn't do anything to me. <laughs> she was going to. And she Probably. was running at you. And she's going to. She was about to yell, help. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you saved me. I was in the clutches of Magpie. Oh. oh. No, no, no. Running at me, it was dark. Uh, this guy is going to take a standard action to remove one level. Oh. At least one toughness level. All right, Rory, you're up. You could move. Or... I could. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, uh, I don't like the fact that if I leave Clyde out here alone, he's got to deal with both Lunkhead and this guy with a gun. What's going down down there? I got this white woman. The the main bad guy and one of her henchmen went out the back. I got this one on the ropes, though. I'll fly. Yeah, get him. Go catch up with him. All right. He abandoned you. Don't forget that. <laughs> Clyde, Clyde will remember this. <laughs> so... I'm just going to zip over here real quick. Okay. That's my move action. Oh. What the hell? It's party time. <laughs> oh, that's the docks. These are those guys from the cop car? Sweet Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them! Guys, guys. There's a lot of guys! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll hit him by one. <laughs> 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 You're doing good. Thanks! Shoot them, I will punch Lunkhead. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly back. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Magpie's turn. All right. Mm. Oh, jeez. And, oh, sorry, now it's Claude's turn. <gasps> I forgot I'm the only person who has that information. I'm like, wait. Wait, did Lunkhead go? Lunkhead goes after you. Oh. Well, but I smashed him with the van. And what did he do? Oh, he never did anything. He never did. Yeah. He just sat there. It's okay. He's an idiot. Look, I just never did his turn. <laughs> he's just like, mm. All right, hang on. We'll make Look yeah. do his turn. What's so his he's turn? underneath the van. He, he caught the van. He's just like, no. <laughs> he didn't catch it. Yeah, no, it hit him. It hit yeah. him. He tried to. He it went, hit him, but it didn't hurt him. Blur. Yeah. I guess he has he to like lift. He had to, he had to lift the van off of him. Yes. Yeah. So that's a third. I guess he moved the van I, off of him his last turn. Yeah. So now Ugh. it's your turn. <clears> okay. That's funny. I just left. I was like, yeah, Look, it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, um, I am going to punch him in the jaw. Okay. He has one, so yes. you can do that. Oh. <laughs> I will. So 22. Okay, and he got a 20, which isn't bad for Lunkhead. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he had a 26. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. Even with the negatives to yeah. him. <clears throat> He's just, I don't know, man, like. He's a brick house. He's a brick house. Um, all right, so he's another negative one on him. Um, he's gonna attack. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know when to stop. No. Yeah. <laughs> Lunkhead's like, you hurt me. You put white van on me. I'm sorry, you hurt me. <laughs> you hurt it's me first. Fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't play me, he hurt me first. <laughs> It's just two giant men just beating each other. You were just the yard. slugging <laughs> it out. 
We're maybe gonna be best friends. Maybe like, yeah, exactly. At the end of this thing, it's Lunkhead, gonna be. are you on Facebook? <laughs> oh, like me. Lunkhead on Facebook. Me. We'll grab beer. Yeah. All right. So the lo- the white woman. Yes. The white woman. She's gonna she's gonna hit you. Okay. Bring it on. Uh, sixteen, and you have to parry her. Will do. Nineteen plus three is twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, you parried her. Ha <laughs> ha. So now it is Tom's turn. Yep. And I'll hit her with another Mystic Blast, because that seems to be working pretty well. Okay. Go for it. (laughs) Ten. Plus five. Five. So, fifteen. She rolled a sixteen. I didn't get her then. Okay. Oof. Why is your Mystic Ways? You were close to her. She was like, hey. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, I saw that. Huh. This dude's turn. Who has, oh, who has nothing to do now? <laughs> He's gonna attack you. Twelve? Mm. So just give him a dodge. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> wow, just one under. All right. Eighteen? Jeez. Six plus nine. Alright, so he will do 18. damage. 15. But it's only five damage, so it's only again. So I ignore it. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So it doesn't do anything to you. Whew. So nicely done. Welcome to the team. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so now it is. Uh, Rory's turn. I guess I'm gonna yell and be like, uh, I think everyone out back is escaping. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna shoot at Lunkhead. Lunkhead's an actual problem. Yeah. Apparently. Mm. I didn't think he was at first. <laughs> 14. He's taking all I've got. I don't think that's gonna hit. Uh, Lunkhead? <clears throat> yeah, it's a dodge. They might. Do- Lunkhead's not fast, man. He's yeah, it's only 14. He's, and he's a big target. Oh, he rolled a 20. <laughs> I picked a different die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you missed Lunkhead. Yep. Ron's just hanging out back there. Yeah. So it's Magpie's turn. Making their way. Making their there. way downtown. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. There you go. Um, Claude, you're back, man. Hey. All right. So I want to do like an all-out attack. Okay. Twenty-seven is my. <laughs> I think. Damage. I think Lunkhead's getting out of this one this time. Folks. Plus the two. Yeah. Oh, he rolled a one. So. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh the two was to the attack. So, so I, yeah. I would have hit him anyway. So basically, one or two more hits and he's down. Yeah. Because his. Because yeah. he already has uh, minus seven to his toughness check. So it, right. it'll be really easy to. Right. Break through that. What the hell are we going to do about these guys? <laughs> I, I told you that there's a lot of them on the dock. Yeah, it's very helpful. That is. I mean. All right, Lunkhead's going to attack. I'm having trouble of my own here. 29? Um, yep. So, so he, 14 plus 6, 20. Okay, so he hits you. He does hit you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really just two big dudes just, just, just going boom. for it. Just slugging. Just like gross. Slugging. Yeah. No music. If anyone just was watching it, they'd just oh, be uncomfortable. Okay. So he's, um, he's going to... He's, <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. That's just terrible. Yeah, so it's only one... You're not dazed or anything. Okay. It's okay. just a negative one to your, to your, to your toughness. Got it. Cool. Lunkhead's like, why you not go down? <laughs> why you not go down? I am the biggest and the strongest. We'll see about that. I am Claude. <laughs> well, I am Lunkhead. Hello. Friend <laughs> me on Facebook. <laughs> what is Book of Faces? It's where I punch you. <sighs> <laughs> I gotta get on that. Is it white lady? It is the white lady. <laughs> She's gonna try and hit you. You guys are fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> You're just watching these two. She missed. Nice. <laughs> I think. She rolled a five plus. Oh, you have to roll. 18. Yeah, okay. Five plus. Never mind. Yeah, five plus nope. Nope. Cool. <laughs> so cool. that's you. You just want to get to your turn. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with my mage hand. That's not a thing to hit somebody with. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap her with yeah. mage hand. Well, man. <laughs> magic. Ah! Your magic mage hand? No, just my regular mage hand. Fine. Mystic blast. 14. You Almost could, a twenty. You could you could so hit her with birds. Yeah, I don't care. Birds don't do damage, <laughs> but they do daze or or stun. Uh, what did you get? Nineteen. Oh, she has eighteen. Oh, I'm sorry. They razzle them. Oh, she yeah. still has minus two to her toughness. Great. Our, our ragtag group of heroes is really really their cleaning match. up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are we are on par with Magpie's loyal army of brainwashed <laughs> shipmen <laughs> and the albinos. They're just albino because of the game. Because they're actually Plastic albino. Like, no, but they're also like they're they're like actual like soldiers of some sort. Like oh, they're not. They actually, actually have some work. skills. They are yeah. they are 
voluntarily. Yeah, you're, oh, you guys have just been hitting these people, not like thinking that they might actually be townsfolk. Well, we we want to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> I assume those guys are townsfolk. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Juan was. Yeah. That's why I asked. I was like, do I recognize that guy? Yeah. yeah. He's shoot gonna him. shoot at um, Claude. Oh no. Claude can take it. It's uh, it's not good. Oh dear. It's a no, no, no. It's not good for this guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's an eleven. Fourteen. Oh, then yeah, you're good. Nice. You're fine. Yeah. He's still a little messed hey. up. Hey. Hey. Meanwhile, Longhead's like, hey, <laughs> don't shoot me. <laughs> hey. Shoot him. I feel like me and this ranger guy are just doing the same thing. <laughs> well, shoot, 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 shoot the big guy. Let's shoot those shoot, guys. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> I missed. Me too. <laughs> hey, you want to grab a beer after this? Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna hover over here and present a target and shoot at the uh, ranged guy. Okay. Good. Shooting at my friend Claude. <laughs> oh, freaking Four. ten. Yeah, he parried that. Yeah. Oh. Or dodged it, or whatever it D20 was. D20 got rid of it. Smiling he moved easily. He was just like... Handily. He's like, he turned it into steam. <laughs> I thought we had an agreement. We're shooting the big guys. You were shooting the big guys. So were you. Yeah, once. It didn't work. You did I don't know what we had. But it is over. This group out here is just going to start making its way down the dock. They're getting away. They're getting away. Oops. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. Yeah, just pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's good there. She's over there somewhere. All right. It is Claude's turn. All right, so I'm going to try another hit and grab. All right, let's do it. That worked out well last time. Yeah. Going to sock him. <sighs> oh. That is a nine plus eight. Well, I'm a three 17. plus six, so I'm a nine. All right. All right. Bam. Okay. It's a damage on that one. 27. Holy crap. Okay. Whoa, oh, shit. Lord. He rolled a three. Finally rolling better than 16. this guy. Jeez. <laughs> He's incapacitated. Yes! Yeah. All right, Claude. Finally. I guess I don't need to grab oh. him, man. Nah. Down! <laughs> Stop Oosh. punching me. Ow! <laughs> Oh, so Lunkhead like goes <laughs> now down. Grab his phone and make him like you on Facebook. <laughs> Lunkhead goes Ugh. down like a sack of potatoes. Like you punch him and he just kind of stands there and then he just falls straight down like onto his butt. Nice. And then he just kind of plops Long. backwards with his arms out. Yeah. I'm a little sad about my success. <laughs> 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 I just wanted him to like me. Oh. oh. <laughs> I got sad. Oh. Go outside and beat them up too. <laughs> so she's gonna try to hit you again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 11? 15. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> You're up. I mean, you haven't done much to her either, so. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's about to change with my two. <laughs> so, you know. Plus five, seven. seven. Uh, she rolled a nine. Nope. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm going to die in this room. <laughs> no, you're not. She can't hit you. Oh, yeah, well. No, you won't. <laughs> All right. Everyone else have fun. Yeah, it's impossible. You can't die. 23? Yeah, it hits. Wait, don't you have to roll? No, I'm taking straight to oh, right. my... 20? Fuck. Ooh. Nine. Well, yeah, plus your toughness. Nine. Oh. Well, that's... Uh, you're dazed. Yeah. <laughs> Is he still hovering, or does that... That's a good question. You're dazed, so no, I, I think you're okay because that just that only makes you take a uh, right, like, single standard whoa. action. So you're kind of like, whoa. well, yeah. I can take a standard action, which yeah. means I could move. Yes, okay, or that heal. is it. Claude, get him! I'm gonna, ow! <laughs> oh my God, seven! <sighs> well, he rolled a two. Mm. All right. Uh, and what's his dodge? His dodge, he has a seven. So I don't hit him. Dude. Okay. Wait. No, you have an attack to that. You have an extra. You do hit him. What's your ranged attack? It's dex and range. It was nine. Ah, I only had it on four. Whoop. Sorry. <laughs> yes, you hit him. You hit him. All right. I'm like, what are you talking there. about? There. So he has to beat toughness with against a 20. Yeah. Oh, he just missed it by one. So he has a minus one. When you come around the corner, mm. you see Magpie down the docks. You see these guys around here. 
and this dude in the middle, and they're all kind of moving together, but not in any sort of hurry. And like the guy in the middle, the guy in the middle is on like uh, some sort of like communication device, whether it be a cell phone or, or some other mm. device. And he is wearing all like an all yellow jumpsuit with like a helmet or a hood on with like orange goggles and like various orange like belts and other such things that like accoutrement him <laughs> or accessorize him. Okay. Um, and he appears to have a gun. I see all that. Yeah. Do they see me? Oh yeah, they, everybody knows you're there. Oh. oh, and the guys around him are all the townsfolk. Hmm. Right. It's Mag Magpie's just gonna keep walking down the dock. And then these guys will also shuffle down there. Is this the guy with the yellow suit? The, the middle. The guy. The guy with the pointy hat. The pointy hat, hat guy. Okay. Yep. Okay. It is uh, Claude's turn. Okay. Okay. What's he going to do? What you going to do? Okay. So I see all these... Towns folks surrounding this guy. It's <laughs> very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. I mean, they see me, and can, it's light enough or whatever. They know it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's lights here. There's lights here. Yeah. So I'm not deceiving anybody. All right, I'm gonna call to Roy and say they're getting away. I guess I'll just I'll just head in that direction. I guess I'll not much else like, I can do. Yeah. Be like, they can't escape. It's a dock. It ends at the water. I called to the wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I am. All right. It is now the white woman's turn. Okay. This this, this fighter. This yeah. fighter woman. Uh, 14 plus five, 19. 20. What, what is the matter with you? 23. If it's over an 18, it's going to hit. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't have to roll anything. Yeah, it's damage. I did just crit. 20? Yeah, it's 20, which is what I rolled. So That's I wasted my crit. One, so three, seven. I hit you. Yeah. <laughs> you hit me, you hit me, you hit me real bad. You dazed me again. Yeah. I am dazed twice? You're just dazed. Minus two now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you're in trouble. Now this guy's coming for you. I am going to recover. Okay. So I get rid of a hero point. He's, he's calling you names. <laughs> he's done. He's like, nice space boots. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think I'm actually going to fly out with Claude. Okay. Yeah. He's going to leave him. Oh, yeah. sure. You're going to run. He's, Shut he's up. Gonna Stop cut. calling me names. <laughs> wow, that's, think, this is character growth for uh, Satellite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's really, he's really learning. He's moving on. What's your hero <laughs> name? Cut and run. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get blaze on me. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything out at the end of the docks? Not that you can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll fire a warning shot ahead of, at the head of Magpie out mm -hmm. here. Okay. She doesn't have to dodge for that, right? No, it's a warning shot. Ba -doing! Ba -doing! Oh, it's, wait, it's it, badoosh. It's ba whatever kind of thing. It's just sizzling. Yeah. Be like, stop! Stop there! Don't run! <laughs> She's like, did you just shoot at me? Yeah. Well, I mean, not at you, just around you. You missed. <laughs> no, no, I hit because I didn't hit you. If you I missed, I would have hit you. I'm pretty sure you, no, you wouldn't have. It's, if you <laughs> missed, you would have... No. I don't, I don't think you understand how shooting works. No, you don't understand how... I wasn't trying to hit you. <laughs> it's called a warning. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, release the townsfolk. It's not my problem. What? That's the yellow guy. They're in cahoots. <gasps> <laughs> she just wants the shiny stuff. Wait, how do you know that? You don't know that. You can't I, tell me that. I, I didn't. <laughs> Your little voice told you Your that. Your brain told you that. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Damn it. Oh. Yeah, I guess when I come around, I see the yellow guy with his gun. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's Magpie's turn. Can you turn her around? She's going to shoot at Ben. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she has guns. She has guns. She's got guns. 
She's pretty good at them too. Oh shit, she's real good at them. Oh no! <laughs> Is it over an 18? Uh, it's an eight, I rolled an 18. Then she hits me. <laughs> <laughs> it's 19. That's what you oh, have okay. to, to beat with your toughness. Minus two. Six. So, you know. No. That's bad. Yeah. Uh, you're staggered. She's like, that's how you shoot someone. Yeah, that's Idiot. right. If you want to shoot somebody, you shoot them. You don't just shoot at the ground around them like an idiot. Nice boots. <laughs> <laughs> They're ragging on your boots. I can fly. I don't care. <laughs> well, you're more secure than I would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Claude, you're up, my man. Okay, so here's what I want to do, and let's see if <laughs> it works. Let's do it. I'm going to move over here. Okay. Where I can reach whatever supporting beam is holding up this side of the dock. Okay. I'm going to use my super strength to lift it up and knock everyone into the water. Okay. <laughs> That's my plan. So the first part of that was you want to grab the support, mm -hmm. which I think you can just do. That is that the bulk. That's of it? it. I'm just lifting it, and unless they're really good at grappling or something, they're falling in the okay. water. Okay. I'm also going to use extra effort. Okay. All right. Plus one to my strength. All right. For a total of 15. Four. <laughs> yep. What does that equal? 19. 19? Okay. So you're picking that up with your strength <laughs> and your extra effort. Yep. I feel, ah, uh, I don't want you to, like, because mm, I was going to say that's probably at least a challenging difficulty class, right? Mm. Which would be a 20. Mm. That, that's fair. I mean, I could also spend a hero point to reroll. It's up to you if you'd like to do that. Totally leave that up to you because mm. I, I feel like that, that's a, a challenging task to do. Yeah. Not just destroy this dock entirely. Well, I mean, if I destroy it, I destroy it. I, my goal is to knock everybody. Okay. And not let them escape. Because I was going to say what might happen then is you only knock down part of the dock with this roll. That's fair. You know what I mean? Because there technically are other beams right, right. like along the way. Yeah. So I'm going to say these guys definitely fall in. Let me see mm -hmm. this guy's sheet. Let me see this, <laughs> let me see, let me see this dude's sheet. <laughs> he's like a zombie. He's like a little, he's a physician. Oh, I see. He's like a little dude. Hello. He's just, hello. Hello, I'm making a house call. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, at least three it's of the dudes minute. are going to fall in. This guy is on the edge of it. I'd say at least this area totally just busted off. Sweet. And this cool. guy stepped back because he's a jerk like that. Right. He's like, oh. Like yeah. Like, he probably pushed one of them in <clears throat> in order to save himself. Mm. Well, yeah, he's wearing a yellow suit. Yeah. He was mm. just like, oh. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Ah. So, you, you, you completely removed his human shielding, basically. Mm, he's yeah. got one guy left. And that's not quite enough. And those are townsfolk, so we're okay. Yeah, so those guys are just in the water, yeah. splashing around. So You'll well, be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as long as they can swim. Right. Which they can. Which they can. <laughs> they can. <laughs> town. I would hope. Yeah, exactly. The white woman. Okay. This endless, this epic battle. You can leave the battle, you know. That's true. <laughs> okay, she rolled a two, so it's a seven. <clears throat> what? 18. Okay, you're good. Yay. So you're up now. All right. I'm just going to leave her in this room. Okay. That guy's turn. That's guy. That dude. That dude right there. Dudicus. Dudicus. Yelicus. Yelicus, exactly. Is he shooting at me? Yes. It's 29. Oh, jeez. 18. Okay, so he's going to hit you. However... What I need you to roll for me mm. is a will check. Oh, 20. That's pretty good, because he's 22. I believe you are currently, you're dazed by him. What he hit you with was his mind control ray. Mm. All right, it is now Magpie's turn. Great. She is going to try and shoot Ben again. You really pissed her off. <laughs> oh, yeah. 18? She used her light pistol this time, as opposed to her heavy pistol. So Sweet. I only get this plus a one. Five. I keep rolling a four. Five? Are you staggered twice? Yep. Uh-oh. 
<gasps> Flunk. You're incapacitated. Yep. I just fall to the ground. Yep. Dunk. Oh crap. What All right. Oh crap! Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am gonna back away from the water. And this big hole in the deck that I've created. Yeah. So the hole's probably like yeah. I am also going to use my standard action to recover. Okay. All right. So I'm toughening up, mm -hmm. backing away from the salt water. That's right. Getting yeah. my getting my footing. Team is assembling, sort of. He's yeah. he's kind of messed up right now. Yep. As far as I can tell, I crumpled to the ground like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Much like. Much uh, like Lunkhead. Yeah. Yeah. Your thing just went. <laughs> well, like Thump. if I'm not. Constantly controlling them, like then yeah, yeah. It's like mm. bunk. Oh no, crumble. Yeah. Uh, I come out, and you see all this. One, two, <laughs> what a three, mess. Four. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Um, what, what, what's with Rory? What's with everything? He fell down. That yellow guy is shooting at me. Get him. Yellow guy got him. I shoot him with my mystic glass. Okay. Eight plus five. Okay. Oh, okay. He rolled an eight. Mm. All right. He did 22. So you give him, him a minus one toughness. Nice. It is now this guy's turn. And he is going to go check on Lunkhead. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lunky. <laughs> and then it is um, Rory's turn. I'm on the ground. I'm reeling in pain. Okay. It's like, she shot me. <laughs> so I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it. You feel it. Yeah. Oh, I know it. Okay. And it hurts only about an eight. Okay. <laughs> this guy well, is actually going to gonna start heading down towards Magpie. Oh, Be crap. Are they getting away? I also really don't want to go out on that dock. Yeah, I don't want you to die. <laughs> that would be bad. It's not going to kill me, but it's going to make things a lot harder for me if I get wet with the spray. Yeah. And I'm assuming this dock is kind of high up. Yeah, it's it's right? pretty high. But, up. I mean, if I get knocked in, then I'm like useless. Right. All right. Well, I'm also moving a little slower because of my extra effort. So I am going to. Jeez. I don't have any clever ideas. I'm just gonna move twice over okay. here. Okay. I'm shooting magpie. Okay. Go for it. 16. Okay. Plus 5. Yeah, so that's 21. So 21. It's pretty good. Oh, shit. She, rolled a seven, she got a 17 total. Okay. All right, so now what um, is your damage? Uh, 8. Okay. <laughs> what is, what is your damage? damage? 23. Okay. Oh, 23, right. Oh, well, she rolled a 14. So you hit her. She's dazed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. And. Oh, I didn't move. Can I move? Yeah, if you. Well, you didn't you? Oh, yeah, no, you can move. I go like here. Okay. He's going to go to the end of the dock and he's going to shout, Magpie, hold them off. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, What? He's like, You heard me. Mm -hmm. So she now turns around. Don't rip okay. up the other end of the deck. I really want to, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just use Rory as a, as a projectile and throw him. <laughs> Fastball special his yeah. limp, like, <laughs> lifeless we body. Up. You were great. <laughs> How'd I do? <laughs> you were amazing. You were a star. Why am I hurting all over? You just wrap all her right. or wrap him around Magpie like a bandolier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, De desperate attempt. I grab a broken piece of dock, which okay. I assume is there's yeah, they're all over wherever, and I uh, chuck it at magpie. At magpie. All right, go for it. Which and blue. So what do we say? Ranged was agility, dexterity, dexterity. dexterity. So Give it a shot. nothing. We'll see what happens. I'm just <laughs> desperate at this point. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all right. She rolled a 10, and yeah, she only got an 18. Ha! Yes! So you Clunk. nail her with that. Clunked her with some wood. With my super strength wood chucking. All right, that, that, cl that clearly needs Doc to do her. something to her, though. Yeah. Um, 
Y yellow hat guy um, turns around and is going to shoot at you. Okay. Uh, that's a. F I'm pretty sure he's going to hit you, but roll. 14. Plus your. What am I looking dodge, for? Parry? Dodge. dodge. Yeah, 16. He, he hit you. Okay. All right, I need you to give me a will. Okay. Check. So it's 18. 18. Okay. Okay, you are dazed. Oh. But no damaged. No, no damaged. <laughs> no damaged. Oh, crap. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. What? What? Why? Why? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Come on, we both he have goes, pith helmets on. He goes, -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> Makes that sound, I guess. <laughs> oh. He says, just, just back off. Or face the wrath of the puppeteer. Who? <laughs> I'm the puppeteer. Come on, you know the puppeteer. I can control your mind. Clearly. I like that you know Magpie, but you don't know the puppeteer. He's no. like, oh, come on. Magpie, what, Batman? What? Oh, what? What, what, what? Who's your who's your arch nemesis? Uh... I fought the Teen Titans once. The Teen Titans. Oh. I was. Yay. So you're I doing was pretty well, huh? Quite a threat against them. I'm sure. Yeah, no. Bring it. <laughs> Puppeteer. <laughs> yeah, of course, against children. What's wrong with you? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Um, What's the matter with you? All right, Mag. Let's just ignore him and yeah. start fighting Magpie. Oh, all right. All right, Magpie's going to take a shot at you. Okay. I think she's gonna hit. Yeah. Eleven and. Five. You're. I still get hit. Minus one toughness. Okay. That's it. Don't forget to use your skills, people. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the white woman is also going over here, almost like they're trying to lift him up. Oh, that's a bad move. <laughs> cool, I get that. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the, yeah, both the, those two are trying desperately to be like. It's a little like sub pops up. Oh. Is it also yellow? No, it's it's black. <laughs> and the, the puppeteer jumps on the side of it. <laughs> yeah. What? The puppeteer has a submarine? No one's here. He I says, I'm talking to myself. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, farewell, you fools. No one running. We'll meet again. I hope not. You just wait and see. We'll be waiting for you. Yes, well, the Supreme One has many plans for you. Farewell! And he hops in, and he just abandons Magpie, who's like, what? Do so you want to give up, or...? No. So the puppeteer has exited the game. Thank you. Two, 20. Okay, so she hit you. Okay. Um, I activate my magic shield. Okay, yeah, that was... <laughs> we've, yeah. we've established that. The shield is on. Um, so it's... Oh, you, can, you have to roll. Yeah. Was it good? No. Nope. <laughs> nine. Okay. Nope, six. Six plus... Plus what? Plus nine. Uh, Fifteen. So fifteen, and she does nineteen, so that's four. So you just one minus one toughness, but that's it. So that's two toughness then. Yeah. All right. It's just magpie now. What about this doctor? Oh, when the, um, when the puppeteer left, they're fine. Oh, right. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. Hey, we don't have to deal with that. Get out of here, Dr. Hoffman. Yeah, like, he's like, <laughs> what? No, that's not the doctor. That's just a random dude. Yeah. The doctor is actually in the water. Oh, okay. So, like, they all come out, and they all look really confused. And Dr. Hoffman actually comes over and checks you out while the fight is still going on. Oh, cool. Ooh, <clears throat> okay. Somehow he knows I saved his fish. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that it's hard. Like, I feel it. <laughs> I need to help you. She's Atlantean. These guys, she looks over and she realizes the other guy's gone. Or that the yeah. puppeteer's gone. And she starts <clears throat> going this way. She just abandons them? Yeah. She, she's not moving. She wow. can't move him. Wow. This guy is still trying desperately to get lung head, lung head up for some reason. Um, <clears throat> Rory. The bros. The doctor is tending to you. Cool. So maybe in a turn or so, you might be back up in action. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know this, though. No, 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 no. Magpie is a little unstable, and so she's going to take a shot into the um, crowd of 
doctors. Okay. Or not doctors, but like folk. Yeah. All right. She's going to hit them. She's going to hit the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to roll the doctors. <clears throat> or, or not the doctor, the uh, the guy. Okay. So one of them is, um, this guy, is, is staggered. Oh. He's hit pretty bad. He's bleeding out. He's yeah. it's not good. Claude, He's it's, going it's your turn. Oh no, back on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud. Sharks. He just she like she like wings him in the back. Like it just like yeah. right. He's like, oh You psycho. What's wrong with you? <laughs> She's like, I'm taking somebody with me. Oh, that makes me really mad. I'm gonna chuck another piece of duck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she does dodge that one this time. Yeah. Bruh. This time she's Just a little she's a little us. like you know crazy when she's she's yeah. doing it. Yeah. She's just like ah. I'll get you. Um. Okay. Um. She's probably gone. She's heading for the door, which is hilarious. Yep. Because the cops are out there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about her. Um. Man, I can't wait until the coast guard gets. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> I bricked him on the head. <laughs> We're going to have to go out the waterway. <laughs> he is going to just be a hero. Okay. And, uh, I don't know, do something crazy here. Do it. He can't move very fast, but he is going to... One, two, three, four. Okay. Try and join the fight out on the dock. Sure. Get over his His fear. fear. Of death. Nice, I love it. Getting really hurt. I love it. I'll hit her with a mystic blast. Mystic blast and activate my shield. Right. Eighteen and five is twenty-three. Okay. You hit her. Hooray! Take All that. All right. So she rolled a four because toughness doesn't count anymore. Right. Toughness <laughs> is dead to her, and you rolled a what? Or you have a what? Twenty-three. Yeah. So it's only nine <clears throat> above. Yeah, that's yeah. three. So you staggered her once. All right. I'm staggered, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm dazed and I'm hindered. Yeah. All right, so I, c I can move minus one my speed rank, mm -hmm. and I can only take one action. Yeah. Which, if you fly, your speed rank's still pretty hot. I'm just going to fly at this guy and try and <laughs> tackle him. Just bleh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, do it. Uh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, so that's gonna work. Uh, <laughs> uh, speed rank in a straight line and then attack. Uh, cool. My fighting is a zero, uh -huh. so I'm just gonna roll. Fourteen. Okay. All right. He has to parry me. Okay, thank you. Me. Your whole body. <laughs> How heavy are you, Rory? Only 180 pounds. Not bad. Okay, well, he rolled a four. Oh my god. So, and he has a four parry, so it's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle. How much damage do I do to myself? <laughs> I think you're okay, because he took the brunt of the, yeah, he did, of yeah. the fall. Yeah. Where was he? Like, What's yeah. amazing, too, is, like, really what fall. happens is, like, this guy's, like, running away. He's, like, giving up on yeah. Lunkhead, and he's just running away. You just slammed into him and then scraped his face along the ground because <laughs> oh. you had the rocket boots oh, going. Oh, not again! <laughs> so it's just like, oh. <laughs> It's just... Oh, no. It's just scabby and terrible. Oh. Yeah. I'll just... I'll just grab him. Okay. Where yeah. you're going? No, he's like, regardless of like staggered or whatever, that guy's down for the count. Yes. He's had a rough time, so he's down. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Success. Nice. Okay, nice. I'm just going to lay here for a while. <laughs> You've earned it, Rory. All right. It is Magpie's turn, and she's going to shoot at the other guy. Oh, my God. I hate her. This woman. Oh, actually, that's not a great hit on her. Uh, she still hits them. Um,. And then I'm going to roll their defense. All right, they're also dazed. Okay. I attack her. Okay. And I activate my shield just in case. You never know. 14 and 5? Yes. Okay. 19. I rolled a different die just to see what would happen, and I rolled a 4 again. So you definitely... Um, wait, what did you roll? Uh, 19. 19. Oh, that was the damage. Wait, was that... No, that was, no, that was the just the rate of success. Attack. Was oh, 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 oh. Against okay. her yeah. dodge? Yeah. 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 So my so, damage is 23. No, you hit her. All right. Then. Got 
What happens when you do it? I blast her with it. Uh, it's not a particularly like epic blast, so okay. I don't think I knock her into the water with it or anything. Or at least I'm not trying to. Okay. But I am trying to hit her as hard as I can. Do you say anything? I say... Uh, as my old friend Chaucer would say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something about vaginas. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, there we go. All right, so you yell that <laughs> yeah. at her, and as you're as you're shooting it, she's like, "What?" what? Bam! And you just, you hit her so hard that she does fall like backwards, not into the water. Her pistol goes flying out of her hand, and she's incapacitated. All right, nice. and she yells, "My shinies!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't shiny no more. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> immediately arrested. <laughs> like immediately arrested. Yeah. I made it. You're I made it. I'm click, 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 click. Oh. They're crazy in there. I made it out with my life. You did. Handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I win. All right. So these guys are all like hobbling back <laughs> this way. They don't really know what to do. Yeah. What are you guys gonna do now? Yeah, Combat is now here. over. We gotta get out of here, you guys. We don't wanna, we don't wanna go out that way. The structural integrity of this dock is questionable. Good call. For some Leave. Reason. Are you I'm gonna bring here. her with you? Yes. No. <laughs> I'm not. We bring her with us, but we put her with Lunkhead and okay. tell these guys. And what about this guy? Oh, yeah, put him in the pile. Pile them! <laughs> like cordwood. No, they're not leaving me down. <laughs> oh. And tell these guys, stay with them, <laughs> make sure the police wrap these guys up. Okay. Is uh, Magpie still, like, is she unconscious? Um, she's like, she's, she's incapacitated, but she, I, I think you could probably yell at her enough to get some information out of her if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, why? Yeah. What, what is the puppeteer's plan? Who does he work for? Oh, you'll find out. I had a feeling that was going to be <laughs> Who is the supremest? So the, what Lord, did he say? The, the supreme, supreme one. Supreme one. one. Who's the supreme one? Who are the supremes? They're a band. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> Who's the supreme one? Oh, he's the one behind it all. I had a feeling that was going to be your answer for that one, too. If only you guys weren't so worried about what we were doing and paying attention to something else. Something oh. else. Oh, and then she passes man. out. <gasps> it's chipper, isn't it? <laughs> he's the supreme one. He's the supreme one. <laughs> should, we, should we take a look around this place? Like, just a quick, like, cursory yeah, yeah, before absolutely. we have to bail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can. Uh, you can. Mm -hmm. Let's all roll a, like, finding Where stuff. Where are you? Are you just check. outside? Yeah. yeah. We're out here. Okay. Uh, I guess if we're not doing anything, I'm going to recover. I rolled a three. <laughs> yeah, you can recover it. You're good. Five. God. We're real tired. We didn't look very hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ten. Okay. Where are you looking? There's like three different perception? places you could be looking right I'm now. I'm looking in the water. I was looking in the warehouse. I'll look. No, this in is the, the warehouse. I was looking yeah, in the, the warehouse. You're looking door. in the warehouse. Yeah. Okay. I'll look in the van. Okay. Okay. What's left of it? Okay. <laughs> in the from the dock point, what you can see is that like. Like other than like the dock being busted up, like you see way off in the distance, like a, almost like a blinking light just before it like resubmerges <laughs> under the water and it's gone. Mm -hmm. um, in here, you see all of Magpie's like things that she stole from other people. Her, yeah, her ridiculous, her gains. yeah, her ill-gotten gains, her ridiculous trinkets, um, as well as um, like dynamite that she utilized yep. for her <clears throat> her crimes. Yep. Um, and you also see um, in here a uh, like a little scrap of fabric. Oh, I pick it up and put it in my pocket. Okay, in the van you find um, various tools used to do their their their, their crimes. You know what I mean? Um, it, it honestly seems to you like by looking at the van that there was almost no plan necessarily, and you're not really sure like what it was they were honestly doing. You know, like this yeah. just seems like just seems weird. Weird and almost uh, like uh, entirely arbitrary. Yes. Like it was all just a distraction. Yes. Not really a plan. Damn exactly. Mm. Um, does anyone else want to look in here? Yeah, because I rolled a three. So before you have to, before you have to run away. Bum, bum, yeah, we bum. gotta get out of here. Bum. All right. And if not, <clears> that's okay. Here. 
Let's look as a team. Does that do anything? Oh. I think you can all look together. Let's do I it. Here one. we go. I would just roll again. Now you're looking as a team. <laughs> I rolled a 20. Yay, I rolled a 15. All right. There's a floor in here. Okay, you guys did real, really, really well. Yay. Um, you see, like, on this desk, there's a whole bunch of papers that seem recent with a lot of, like, large lettering on it that you might want to take a closer look at. All right, we take a closer look. All right, what you see is that it's, um, it's a ship manifest and that it looks like a ship was diverted hmm. from Gotham and meant to go to New York instead of Gotham, and, but it had to make a stop Here. in our harbor. Huh. Before it moved on. A ship. I'm going to take these with us. What is the ship's name? The Tanker Ship Escapade. <laughs> oh. My man. <laughs> there we go. I take at least huh? one of these it's sheets with me. This. Okay. All right, look, we got to get the hell out of here. Uh, can we go this way? Just. Duck out the back? Yeah. Let's go. No, well, Let's there's go obviously back. another exit off of this pier yeah. someplace. Yeah. Humming, humming, humming. Is Let's there another submarine, maybe? Uh, Let's get burritos. Yay! Yay! So you guys return home. The townsfolk, the dock workers, are picked up. Because of their experience with the, the mind ray, they don't quite remember everything that happened, and they certainly don't remember any of your faces. Cool, <laughs> especially not with our... All they know is that somebody helped them, and they are truly thankful for that. Cool. That's um, nice. Especially with our gear on. Yeah. I know, yeah. Our this... Coast Guard. Here. Yeah. Yes. These two were arrested and sent to jail. These two were arrested and are awaiting um, extradition to Gotham. Gotham right. will be taking over on, on that one. Good. Um, so Magpie and Lunkhead will be shipped off. Yeah. Host taste. Excellent. Um, I guess you guys go home? Yeah, we go home. Right? We just what time? Collapse. Sleep. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> typhoon still up? Ooh. I don't think so. Wasn't it attacked? The typhoon? Yeah, the bar. No. The, bar. Oh, the salty right. spoon was. Salty spoon, yeah. All right. All right, you guys walk in. The bartender looks at you and is like, I was going to say it's last call, but you guys look like you had a rough night. Say that again. I won't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys, what do you, what do you want? Beers? Beers all around! <laughs> hey! She, she, she gives you guys some drinks. Huzzah! Well, gang, this uh, this was one hell of a caper, I gotta tell you. We, uh, what? What? <laughs> Let's go in the corner and talk. Fair enough, all right. <laughs> well, team, we really pulled together on this one. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. We really we really worked together really well, I gotta say. Like, yeah. proud of all of us. For the most part. <laughs> yeah, agreed. We defeated a real supervillain. I mean, not, Did the, we? not the best supervillain, but she was technically a real supervillain. <laughs> and that's kind of cool. <laughs> In all my travels, I've never defeated a supervillain. I've never fought a supervillain. Yeah, exactly. That too. I've never even met a supervillain. <laughs> Batu wants to post this on Facebook. Don't. That's oh. a bad idea. But you can post a picture of all of us enjoying, enjoying a good beer together. That's even better. Yay. <laughs> Clink. Click. <laughs> Hooray. A future uh, version of the um, Stone Crab Gazette will report on the happenings at the dock and be thankful to the heroes of Stone Crab Harbor, only known as the Harbor Patrol. <laughs> But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a good time as the Harbor Patrol went on its first adventure in the DC Universe. Who knows what's to come for them next? Yeah, we don't. I have an idea. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, God, in a minute, something's going to blow up. <laughs>